Opie and Anthony, Rich Voss, and now Nick DiPaolo as well. I got to start with uh, Rich Voss, who's playing Poughkeepsie's. Poughkeepsie's? Well, Bananas in Poughkeepsie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that would be a good club. Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie's. Well, that's why I'm bringing this up, because I'm all confused, because I'm, I'm reading the Rich Voss plug. Yeah. And it says Bananas in Poughkeepsie. That's where Rich Voss is going to be tonight and tomorrow. Rich Voss spelled Poughkeepsie, uh -huh. P, which is good. That's a start. O, Q, U, I, P, S, E. Ooh. Poughkeepsie. It's a black girl's name. If you, if Yo, Poughkeepsie. For the people uh, all over America, just trust me, it's not even close. No. But if you break it down phonetically... It's still a Holiday Inn. It's still a Holiday Inn. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it still means your your career is stagnant. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Rich. That's okay. My, I'm very. No, one, happy no one's, with my no one's funny. People have no idea that we're actually really good friends because <laughs> we we just don't play it that way on the air. That's all right. <laughs> my my chick goes. You actually you actually shared a room with him when you played Doral. I'm like, yes. yeah, we were both. Lonely man. It was three oh. nights we stayed in a hotel in a resort. Was it three nights? Yeah, it was like yeah, definitely. In like the same nights. room? <laughs> yeah. What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> well, I wanted a roommate. <laughs> and I didn't want, are you kidding me? You know, I didn't want sex or any of that crap. I just wanted a roommate. I was well, I was lonely. I was I was just wandering around. Lonely. I was wandering around the country. Rich Voss calls me up. He's like, "Hey, I got this great deal. We could go down to Doral and play where Tiger Woods plays and the PGA plays." And South Beach is what a mere half hour, forty sure, minutes away. Bed. Not even. It was twenty minutes over the bridge. Over whatever. the bridge, like twenty minutes, and uh, and we're and we both decide what the hell. We'll just share a room. What am I going to do? Go back to like a room by myself and just sit yes. there and stare at the wall? Well, see, here's the thing. I would never. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. Like we were one night we're laying in bed, not not together. Uh, <laughs> yeah, after that crack story, I doubt it. <laughs> nice pair of hot pants on, phoning with them. All right. <laughs> I had a wetsuit, and we're laying in a separate bed. And then we it starts off with, like, one depressing story about your childhood. Uh -huh. And it goes from my oh, stories no. to his stories. And his are starting to really bum me out. Right? It's I hard to I, do how after you grow up. I, I, I thought I had some depressing bad story. Wait, which story bumped you out? Do you I don't, remember? I don't, I don't remember, but, you know, may, I don't know. Maybe your mother up in the attic or something? Did you oh, yeah, that? we used to find her in the attic every once in a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just worked she needed a timeout. Nice. Yeah. Last name, Frank? Yeah, that's what, my, my mom needed timeouts. We would have to go search for her, and we found her in the attic a couple times. That's actually a true story. Really? Oh, yeah. Why was she up there? She's, you know, got Dust, issues there. Dusting? <laughs> so, Haven't you been around long enough? You don't need to ask why. Just look at me. What no, do you think? No, this, I haven't, actually. Look at the look at the one side of me, and then you can figure it all out. But that was, was the one a, that depressed you. I don't you. know. It just it was, a, uh, you know. A, but then it was like, can you know? Then we were playing top this basically. And then Rich is uh, telling his horrible stories, and we're sitting there. We're almost like just, it was, we're almost ready to start cuddling and and and, uh, and on each other's shoulder. Almost. And huh? then, it was, then it was time to sleep, <laughs> and then this idiot <laughs> has to wake up in the middle of the night to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> Jesus. Still on that health kick, Rich? That was, that was. Well, he stopped smoking finally, but the, the, he was so addicted to the nicotine that he would wake up in the middle of the night to have smokes, and he's half asleep, just drooling, having a cigarette. The it cigarette is like falling horrible. out of his mouth as he's falling back he's gonna asleep. It's going to burn you and, up. Right. We play golf, and, this, and you've heard the story. This jackass breaks his hand in the sand trap, <laughs> so now I have a crippled, depressed guy in my room that I can play <laughs> golf with. Okay. All right. Oh, and, so that's what led you to making out with the grandma? <laughs> <laughs> what? I almost said these hot chicks. We met these girls. Oh, now. Shit. I almost said the mom, the grandma. Yeah, like They're not six girls. The yeah. grandma was Johnny Winter's mother, basically. She <laughs> was an albino. You this this woman was an albino hippie with the the weird oh. blue eyes. Not yeah. the not the cool blue eyes. Like the, almost like albino the, eyes. Like yeah. yeah, they're like uh, faded faded jean eyes. Yeah. Okay, so this one both <laughs> one both single at the time, but the daughter was hot. And he had a nice... She show. had some awful Indian name, I Who remember. Did, Hiawatha. Hiawatha. Uh, Hiawatha. 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 He was like some uh, hippie kid. You know, the mom name was, it, yeah. it was between that or Granola. That means you know what I mean? Or Sunshine. Yeah. And and uh, so I, the girl, was the hot one, was going towards Opie, you know? Because maybe, uh, whatever. She uh, was... He's going to try to rationalize <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, maybe it was a cast on his hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a mother-daughter 
combo. So to say she was hot compared she to the exactly. compared to the mother, she was hot. Yes, and Obi had no. I don't think he had a rap, but I tried to take one on the team. You know, take one for the team. Wait, I didn't have a, the team. <laughs> I didn't we have a rap just... because I didn't want her. Oh. Well, you, you were desperate for sex, so you're like, you you go walking off at the, where were we, the we were Delano? The, some hotel. Some in, really uh, fancy, like, trendy <laughs> hotel. We decided to go to the pool a area. pool area where you sit in these cabanas. these cabanas. And we're all sitting, having a drink. The rich doesn't drink, so he's drink whatever. And they're, the mom is an alcoholic. And like, we're in this cabana just hanging out, having a nice night. It's it's a, it's a beautiful night in uh, South Beach. All of a sudden, Rich th th gives some kind of look to the mom and walks off with her to another cabana and starts she, making out with her. Uh, because, what you tell her is a teepee? And that's, when, <laughs> and that's like, when Hiawatha, whatever the hell her name was, said that, uh, you know, that she's actually a grandma. She looked like, I knew her. Right. She looked like the blonde in Billy Jack that was tied to the stakes. Wow, she had white hair. Way back. Wow, What's 1971. That? Billy Rich, Jack Rich, movie. We're not all 60 here. Oh, right, wow. Right. All right, that's a trial, Billy Jack. Billy Jack, where the guy dinner on the you look beach. Like Richard Widmark and uh, <laughs> and you know what the worst is though when you're making out with a six year old lady. It's not that she wasn't. I bet you in her day she was hot. You yeah, know, well, it would have been a good story if I would have closed the deal. That's right? wonderful. A lot of chicks would no. be hot if you could get a time machine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but her breast uh... stunk too. <laughs> her breast stunk. Oh, yeah. God, what a winner! What the hell is that about? I don't know. Maybe because when you're sixty or something, maybe, I don't know. Your maybe... breast starts like rotting away. Oh, her breath. I think you said her breast. No, her breath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they probably did I too. You said breast. No, her breast. Oh, gonna like say, an old lady baby powder. <laughs> <laughs> her breath stunk. Well, she's an Indian. Her liver's probably rotten. Her, uh, okay. you know, we laughed. We laughed pretty hard, though. We had some. We had some good times. Good times. So yeah, when they be the, can I tell this quick story about going to the doctor yesterday? Should I tell? Can I tell it with that? Yeah, thing? since that one went by so fast. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh that, this is what you wrote down before the yeah. break. I don't know why that came up, but yeah, we shared a room. Yeah, what's the big deal? Two that two guys. You know what it was? I didn't realize that I would make a little money. Two guys, I... one bed. <laughs> what? I I just wouldn't uh, I wouldn't share a room like that. We did, that? and I shared a room once. We but, had to. But we were both really poor at the time, and they flew us out to L.A. and we had to share a room. They they that made was, us. That was very awkward. Sounds yes. like a Barry Katz gig. I know. I got I got uh, be bumped up to a first class too on my gold. Then you didn't have freaking flyer miles. Oh or yeah, something. yeah, appreciate. I got them bumped up. Mm, wow. I took I, you know I Thanks, took him under my wings. Then you know, well, I said the guy you know he's little bouncing hummingbird around. wings you call <laughs> <his> hands. <laughs> <laughs> not not under his wing, under his wing. Yeah, his wings, <laughs> both of them. <laughs> what are you, a pilot for Delta? I have a, <laughs> when you were spooning, yeah, you took him under your wings. I think I think Rich Voss secretly wants to date me because then we went. <laughs> that last summer was it last summer that I decided to go play golf with you and you showed up with a nice little lunch for me. Well, I yeah, that's I, a sad story that's too. That's sad. I'm that's not gonna, kissing. <laughs> no, we was, show up to play golf. It's like you know, at the halfway house, you can get a lunch. hot dog and a beer, or whatever the hell you want. All of a sudden, Rich goes, "I packed this lunch," and he pulls out a nice little little like cooler. It had a nice juicy, I think he got me a juice box or something. We were just sitting in the middle of the fairway on a checkered blanket <laughs> right. with the old time basket. What what did you make me? Bread. It was like egg salad and what was it again? Old time basket. Yeah. I'm not. What I was I brought, Wait, what was the lunch? Seriously. It was egg salad. Did you right. cut the crust off it for him, honey? Yes, I cut the egg salad. I'm not gonna. It was an egg salad sandwich. I think it was an, like an apple, it's a piece of fruit, and I'm, like a juice oh, box. Yeah. I, I take my portion and I go, I'm and gonna, I threw it in the garbage <laughs> in front of him. I'm not gonna make myself lunch and eat in front of somebody. So I, really, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. do you get manners? No that, kidding. Well, Bonnie, and there's other places to buy stuff to eat at a golf course. Yeah, yeah that's a, so you didn't have to. You could have packed your own lunch and and been you know the cheapo that you are, and then let oh, Opie. I'm, I'm far from cheap. I'll spend some money. Oh, okay. Sure. I just like a good deal, too, yeah. though. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> no, Voss, What's with the territory? Voss is all about the good deal, man. <laughs> I like a good deal. He he likes a good oh, I'm deal. sure when you guys split that room, it was just like, oh, oh this is great. Oh, half the price. <laughs> I sublet the couch to another person we didn't even know. <laughs> I was lonely. I was lonely. So, uh, yeah, you packed me a nice That's little lunch not, that okay. I I'm sorry. That's that I threw in the garbage. Because I honestly, you know, I that was shirt, creepy. Too. 
Yeah. Not, a sharing a room wasn't creepy to me, but making me a lunch that now you're now you're going over the line. Now you're getting a little weird. <laughs> you two are creeps. We're all just a bunch of messes. Together. Who are you kidding, man? Anthony, it reminds me I have an omelet in the green room. Right. Right. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Join you for breakfast. We'll do brunch. And then this, and then the famous story where this ass is more concerned about how well he hit his uh, his uh, his wedge from ninety yards out that he's he doesn't bother to yell four as I'm standing there on the green wondering where the shot's going. <laughs> And, and he was this, trying to bargain it down to two. And to this day, to this day, I got a lump on my hand. Well, well you know, because I'm, I'm holding. You know how you play you golf, you? Nick? No, I don't. Okay, well, I know enough about it. Though. A lot of guys. A gay. lot of guys. If you're, if you're on the, if Thank you're on the green, you got your putter. You kind of, you kind of almost use it as a cane. You're leaning on your putter. Your hands uh, fully exposed. Yes, and I'm I've right behind the pin because I'm like. I, uh, Voss is 90 yards out. I'm like, he's not gonna, he's not gonna stick this. So I'll, I'll stand right near the pin. That's usually a safe bet, yeah. right? So I'm, I'm watching Voss hit, and he's not saying anything, and I'm trying to figure out where the ball is. He's not oh, saying anything, boy. not saying anything. Next thing I know, I got excruciating pain because the freaking wedge shot hits me perfect right on the top. Look at the lump. It's still there. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Two years later, it's still there. Hold on a minute. <laughs> First I go down like I got shot. Like and, a and Kennedy. I, I, got, I, I really went down like I got shot. Immediately start bleeding because it, it was one of those deep bruises that brought blood right to the surface. Really? Listen, yes. That's the Irish in you. Yes. <laughs> you know the what? Bleeder. I, I said you don't even have to. I, I not, said don't putt. Don't worry. I'll give you the putt. Okay. Right before that, he was crying because he had a tick on him. Okay, yeah. he had a little tick on his. A little tick. <laughs> yeah, well, tick. Did you remove that in the room for him? <laughs> After the egg salad sandwich, he, he did <laughs> suck out the poison for me, which I appreciated. <laughs> Thank you, Rich. And where was that tick? Oh uh, yeah. Well, you know what? Kelly all had another oh, parasite with you called Rich oh. Voss. <laughs> I'll tell you why I had a tick. Because this this ass doesn't know how to lose a golf ball. We all lose golf balls, not Rich Voss. What, he's a good golfer, Rich. No, no, no. He's a, he hits. <laughs> he's not, and you're saying nothing. He'll no. spend forever looking for it. Th thank you. Uh, so I don't he hits bad shots like anyone, but what he has to do is find every single no. ball that he hits well, into you know the, why the, that the is, deep right? weeds. No, no it's right. where, where the ticks freaking live. For, only really the ticks stop at the woods. They don't head out to the fairway. It's, it's sort of like a little tick rate, you know, an electrical tick fence. Guys, this is it. We can't head out there. there was, I hit the ball a little to the left, and I went to look for my ball because I didn't want to take a stroke. No, you didn't want to and buy I, another one. No, yeah. please. Yep. Are you he, starts, it. he starts with a Nike ball. He starts with a Nike ball. By the time we're on the green putting, it's like a top flight XL. The only way you know that you is because there was an, an imprint of top flight on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way you would know something like, like that. A ball that was lost no. in like 1988, he finds and goes, I found my ball and, and hits that one. It doesn't does no. take a stroke. <laughs> anyway. I can't play golf with him anymore. Someone's going to get hurt. Yeah. Someone or pregnant. <laughs> Let's share a bed at Durrell. All right, I'll be right down. Yeah, that I mean, sounds I even exciting. Bring my I got, I I got a couple of drunk squaws at the pool. I, I didn't even bring my clubs. <laughs> he does. He does. Uh, we were just hanging out. What were the news cafe? Whatever it was uh, down there on South Beach. Oh, and, I've been there. And yeah, yeah. it's a it's a hip little place yeah. to, to be seen. You're hanging. You're having some coffee and drinks. Whatever. And he decides to, to to go after the two ugliest people in the joint. When it's was South it? Beach. It's a good strategy, it's, though. It's, it's, it's South Beach, though. The, the place is like just dripping yeah, with yeah, models, models. Okay, yeah. desperate models, yeah. and 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 you you decide the grandma looks good. First of all, they are models, and so are the guys. Okay, we're like. Threes <laughs> and there's nothing but tens walking by that are you know from then, you know, then again can you imagine just, well he's sitting there with his guest shirt and I have this ugly diesel <laughs> this diesel shirt that looks where? like a doily a paisley we're where? sitting here like two the odd uh, couple it's just horrible and all these guys are walking by they can tell we're from out out of like, we're we're, we're dressing like people like we like you're we think you're supposed to dress in South Beach so we're so out of place. And can you imagine if we did end up picking up those two girls and explain that we're sharing a room? <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, we're sharing a room. Could you guys not pay attention to... I know it's kind of awkward <laughs> being in here with your mother. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> like we're back in high school. You're, you're doing a uh, makeout I, session right I, next to your butt. <laughs> but it's kind of weird being in here with the out of work DJ and the guy that took third place this year on, on last comic. 
Because <laughs> we don't have money See, for not our Not only was she a grandma, oh. she was an albino. People don't understand this. She had, like, transparent eyes, basically. Uh, a hippie albino. Yes. Jeez, a... I always liked Edgar Winter, so I figured, what the heck? Yeah, Maybe yeah. I could bang her. And yeah. you, you say the site's low, which is kind of good. Yeah. For South Beach. Oh, these girls are so... Because you feel... You know you have no rap in there. What am I going to do down there? That's what South cocaine Beach. is for. So I know. That's right. You're right. It makes you a nine. <laughs> it does. Pull the right. drugs out. You're right. Uh, <laughs> Donna Trucker is asking if uh, Voss dressed extra sexy, hoping that I would pick up the room tab. <laughs> Linger longer. <laughs> All right, so uh, you went to the doctor yesterday, Rich, because you okay, wrote this well, note before break. Part of this, part of this pilot, just one little thing that happened in the pilot is, I got my my ass smacked, and the handprint. They took a magic marker and outlined the handprint. Right? Okay. Okay, and we Who's did so they? much stuff that day. Well, one person well, want, smacked, we're, we're, smacked. Yeah, we're trying head. to keep it a little vague. Okay, so little vague. okay. So, so much went but on that, that happened, day. Yeah. That happened. Okay, and I have a handprint on my, uh, a magic marker, <laughs> outline of the handprint on my butt. <laughs> so I go home, I shower, or whatever. You know, when you shower, you just hit your butt. You don't, you know, scrub it down with sandpaper. You don't realize, you don't remember. So yesterday, I had to go to the doctor, and I had my prostate. And <laughs> oh, so I, I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm What is he like? Is that the handprint of the last doctor? <laughs> I know. I, 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 I got... <laughs> Your ass looks like just, man's Chinese theater. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm How many guys have in. have done you that they're leaving their handprint? I know. In I know. So John you, Wayne. Right, right, right. Right. <laughs> There's nothing worse than sitting there. You're sitting naked on the, on the metal table with a piece of paper over you. That's not your doctor. Stronger. It's a butcher shop. It's, it, I know. I was strong. <laughs> and so the doctor, he goes, he, you know, why do you have a handprint? And and then he said, oh, I guess it was a Comedy Central pilot, right? He knew it. But it was just embarrassing getting his finger next to the handprint. Then they took a telescope to size probably a little thicker than this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's radio. Stuck it's it good. in. What are you pointing at? Oh, than this. It could be a cinder than... block. It could be a pin. A basic. It's radio. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They stuck right. it in. Are you allowed to say penis? Oh, you can say that. Whoa. That's not. What you're trying to say? You could say the word, but you can't say yeah, yeah. it. I'm don't don't even. Medical I got a great prostate bait. You want me to do mine instead? <laughs> no, this is true. Yesterday. Wait, so it was the it was the size of what? Like, like, like a, a a Miller Lite can? No, like a, a <laughs> cable. It's it's thicker than Hillary's ankle. <laughs> Just help us out here. Yeah, yeah, how big is this? Trades? Come on. A pencil. They took. A pencil? They About shot a as gel, thick as a pencil. A gel I know. I know. Into I had it here. Done. You've done that? And they, oh, no. In the front. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Whoa. The Whoa. Whoa. Oh, hold on. No. Hold on. No. Hold on. We got a yield sign here. Wait, yeah. so it was as thick as a pencil, and let's just no, say... Than, yeah, about a little thicker than a pencil. And let's just say, instead of going... uh talking about his neck? What are we <laughs> instead of going back, they went front. Just yes. say that. Really? At first, they took a tube and shot uh, gel down there, like lubricant and... Whoa! Right? And then, oh, okay, God, now, this is killing the, every guy whoa, out listening. And, listen to me. and then the, doc, the nurse comes in, too, right. right? And they got a clamp on it. They got this metal <laughs> clamp. Right. What did you say the nurse? <laughs> Tight, huh? <laughs> How are you, Jiffy Loop? What's going on? Like, I'm telling And then they took, they took this. Uh, are we good? Tube. Let me know if they're dumping, because this is. They can't uh, dump it. It's a metal. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So. They stick it down in through my unit. Okay, and the doctor's got a telescope. That's on a the better way of doing it now, actually. I he's got well to look at your bladder, and he has oh, the oh. other end of a tube, and he's looking through it through like a microscope with this tube into my. All right, and he right, sees right. a guy looking the other way, right back at him, <laughs> and, he, and he goes, "Did you share a room at Doral with him?" <laughs> it was the most. At, now, whenever I go to bed, still it, it's wow. unbelievable pain. Of What's the matter with your bladder? Nothing. They were oh. checking it out because I got a big cyst on my kidney, so they were checking my whole. You know, because there's uh, blood in my urine, right? Oh my God, are you a mess? What? <laughs> Why don't? Wait, wait, wait! I got under. I got to get this. You've what? talked about the the, the, the growth on your kidney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't they cut you open and look at it and say, "All right, we'll, we're taking it out." Uh, I am in a week and a half. They're going to drain it. Will you bring it in here in a jar? Drain yeah. it. Could, I got to could do something with that. No, it's just full of liquid. It. It's a cyst. What do you think? It's full of confetti. You idiot! <laughs> 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 it's a pinata on his kidney. <laughs> a bunch of know. baby Snickers bars. Like, yeah. See a bunch of little Mexicans hit you with a bat. <laughs> yeah. So it's a cyst. You're going to drain it in two weeks. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Gonna, they stick, you know. I go to. I guess they stick a needle through, like in your back, 
whatever. Yeah, whatever. Well, you the sighed right and, and, and they pulled drain the cyst. That's got to be. I saw the CAT scan. It, I was going to bring it in, but I I'll bring it in after I use it at the uh, at the what do you call it at the hospital. <laughs> but I saw the CAT scan yesterday, and I'm looking at it. And they, he goes, "This is your kidney." And plus, I have a kidney stone here this too. Is your kidney on drugs. Yeah. And then he showed, and this is the cyst, and it's just a big black round. Oh my god! That's why they want to play like, Keith. Did, like he <laughs> <laughs> Did he say no, what it's some? Did he say what it's full working. of? Huh? What is it full of? V8 juice. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's full of water. What's water. that from? Now, is that from drinking and stuff when no, you're no. young? See, Did you damage people, your kidneys? I'm hoping. Right I mean, now, most a lot of people have cysts on their kidneys. You probably you don't even know. It. It's not a problem. Oh, don't, don't bring don't us into it. your yeah, world. Yeah, we're fine. I'm we're fine. fine. You're die. Everyone does. You and Shimmel ought to get a room together. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody has AIDS. <laughs> it's uh, it's just what everybody has. And then some people you get it worse than others. And yeah, thanks. It's man. not what? What is that? My kidneys are fine. That's right. Every everyone out there has a brain tumor. When's what, the last time you you went in for a cat scan? For a cat scan? Yeah, you know, like yeah, they they look on the inside a cat scan. I know what a cat scan is. Stupid. All right. What's the last time? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Probably I I probably didn't need one. Yeah, you, you don't you don't just go in and go. Yeah. Could you have a full like cat scan of my body? Something has to hurt. Something has to. Yeah. So you probably had a pain I in had your some kidney. Stomach pains. So they they did a cat scan, found this friggin' yes. conjoined twin on yeah. your uh, so the, kidney. So the doctor says, you know, a lot of people get cysts, but it's just that yours is the size oh. of a baseball. That's why we got to. Wow. It's about good for, good for you. I know. Why don't you have somebody sign that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get Jeter to sign it. <laughs> You should throw out the uh, first tumor at Chase Stadium this year. <laughs> no one ever takes a baseball and goes, this is about the size of a cyst. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, it's filled wow. with you who. <laughs> Jesus. My God, man. You got a lot of... But he looks pretty good for an ex-crack addict. What are you, 50 or 50? Going to be 51 in 51. Oh, I'm That's still uh, doing wow. well with the grandmas. <laughs> up, yeah, albino grandmother. Uh, I don't know. Type. We've told that story many times, I know, but I, yeah. I, I still don't think we did that whole uh, story justice. But you get new listeners, and it's always no. I know. Tell I the know. whole. We get more into it. Like we in the beginning, we just said, yeah, we shared a room at Darrell. Yeah. You know, I got well, then the on, but. and then uh, Hiawatha, whatever. She lived in Orlando, and I was heading back that way after I met up with you. Uh oh, did you give her a ride? No, she wanted me to no, call she was her on a pony. She wanted me to call her when I got to Orlando. I'm like. Uh, 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 you know what it is when you're sitting on yourself. Looking? Huh? Good looking over. She was all right. She was all right. She, she doesn't even come close to his. Dragging a little travoy behind her all the way to Orlando. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. Help she her may, she may not sell the beaver it. pelts back to, <laughs> on the way back to Orlando. Uh, huh? Uh, you know what? It's when you're on South Beach, you want to feel like you're part of. And Dude. you want to walk away with something, kind of. You know what I mean? Yeah, like just on your ovaries. You know? <laughs> Dude, if you're if you're uh, a person, <laughs> that's, if you're a person that suffers from depression, don't go to South Beach. You'll kill yourself. Yeah. So what do you mean? Oh, my, I fit right in there. I'm ripped. Like you <laughs> get a big unit. I, I can't wait it to is. If you think you're some man with some pride, if finally, you think you're somebody. And you walk around uh, South Beach, you realize you're you're just you 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 are just you know what it is though. Here, you're here a genetic it is. disaster. I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you though. You gotta use what you got a little bit. Who? Oh. You. If you were in that situation, if I'm hanging out with a rich Voss down in South Beach, yeah, and and he's picking up grandmas, yeah. I am gonna be flashing cash, drugs, booze, <laughs> whatever it takes to get one of those hot, long-legged girls down there and not have to get Voss's friggin' throwaway daughters from from the old bag he's making out with. <laughs> oh. What you need is a handful of date rape drugs. <laughs> there you go. You know what, though, in a way... Hey, hey look at real. that. Doink. <laughs> you know what? Plop, plop. In a way, though, it was... Uh, it was I don't know. It was... It was it was entertaining that it went down that way. He had no. a he, you know left I mean? with, he left with a broken hand, and I went and got a tooth pulled too. Oh, I forgot. In between rounds, what happened. In Would between she give rounds, you gingivitis. <laughs> in between, like, like instant pyorrhea. In between playing Doral, I forgot about that. He had to go to a dentist one day. I'm sitting there in the freaking room waiting for Rich because he's getting a tooth removed. You're on a three day little jaunt, and he's getting surgery. Jesus, you might as well have went with Jack Clutchman. <laughs> oh my 
stroke insect that looks like another sex <laughs> I forgot about that. That he's like miserable because he can't talk. And he teeth pulled. His so appendix kind of... is coming out. He's getting corrective surgery on his eyes. He looks healthy, too. <laughs> He's got a broken hand. I got a tooth pulled. I got to go to Alabama. I was rejected by a six-year-old lady. I'm sharing a room. It wasn't a bad trip. It sounds like a real blast, guys. What a mess. From, from some bootleg dentist in a strip mall. I just said dentist on it. I, oh, great. I, I, oh. I need a tooth pulled. It was it so my whole face was swollen and it was. Oh, it was just bad. Anyway, oh, I, 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 I also smell a cocologic animation. This one needs to be animated. Oh, yeah. All right, we got to take a break. Nick DiPaolo is here. Uh, Nick, uh, this is the tease when we get back. Remember remember yesterday when you were here with this Larry Sinclair guy, Gurney yeah. and all that? Yeah. We got an update. Oh, you do? Well, we really thought we had a massive exclusive for the Opie and Anthony show. Turns out what? He was on Jerry Springer two weeks ago? <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll explain next. It's Opie and Anthony. Go check it out, Opie and Anthony. Rich Voss filling in for Jim Norton. Also invited Nick DiPaolo back today. Uh, Nick killed for us yesterday. Nick should be on the radio. He Thank got it. you all. Oh, yeah. Nick got effed. <laughs> we were doing like a like a free <laughs> FM here in New York, and he was one of the guys, and uh, he was building a fine little audience for himself, and then uh, the company said, ah, that's not working, so let's move on to the next format. Who's and the when program that, director? Oh. And when that happens, Oof. you know... Good broadcasters get kicked to the side, and Nick yeah. is one of the good broadcasters that got kicked to the side. I don't know who the programmer was at that point. No, now who is it? It's a woman, right? No, she's gone now, too. Oh, really? Jesus. Yeah. And I think they just named somebody that, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's a new program director. We went back. Alan Seuss. We, uh, we came back to regular radio almost two years ago, just under two years, and we've been through, I think, four PDs. Yeah. Three GMs. They keep I don't getting know. fragged by the staff. And three wow. different formats. This is what radio has become. It's I would just... take the job as a program director. I'm open. I'm open. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you're doing blog TV. Yeah. So you went from, you know, broadcasting in New York that City. That's for fun. To... That's not what my career is. I do that, uh, you know, I can sit home and make a few bucks. But that's for fun. It's like yeah. a thing. But I was just, <laughs> it's kind of pathetic, though. You went from broadcasting in New York City. Don't to say us. it. To Don't say pathetic. it like that. To, to, to doing something in your basement. Basement. I'm uh, trying to help you out here, Nick. Oh, well, yeah, how is that helping? helping? Well, you're, like, you're like my manager, for Christ's sake. How is that helping? Pushing him in front of a bus isn't really helping him in any possible <laughs> I way. want him to be pissed. I want to be You honest. went from broadcast radio in New York City to your basement, and that's not uh, fair. To talking to a walkie-talkie to a friend <laughs> down the block. Well, I don't know. I'm just doing it to keep my chops up. You never know when WRKO may come calling. <laughs> With Dale Dorman. Uh, no, I, I want to wow, be back on the went, radio. I love went, it. You just went local for Boston. Very nice. I, I know. Listen. Isn't that stupid? No, oh, but that's I, right. You're in Boston. I hear yeah. the I hear the block TV things are is doing well. That's well, that's yeah. And, it's just fun. I mean, it's fun to be. I'm sitting there with a camera. And people are watching me in my basement, and I'm talking to people in Tel Aviv and South Africa, and they know my stuff from Comedy Central. That's nice. And of See? course, my manager had nothing to do with this. I found it on my own. A dick. Are you really? Talk, are you really <laughs> See, there's the anger I want. In, in, what are you saying to them in Africa? What am I saying? I like your policies over there. <laughs> oh, there Again, it's South Africa. Um, do you have to do a lot of clicking? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I got actually. I'm leaving here today. I'm going to Voss's doctor to have a lip plate put in. Uh, How does your sister move at the same time? How does your but, comedy translate when they have to? You know, it's no. There's only a few bits. Mostly, <laughs> my fans. I'll make it sound like there's a. <laughs> you know, all of Zimbabwe is yeah. just right. loving Nick. But this He's is now so a cool. king in Zimbabwe. Yeah. Hey, if you go to nickdip.com right. or, or go to blog TV, you can find me. But go to nick.com and you and if you register in my forum, when I do the blog TV show, you're automatically in the chat room. Uh -huh. I didn't know how to control the chat room at first. You have to like, a, and, and all people come pouring in and they just say mean stuff. Yeah, of even to me. Yeah I, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, just getting deluged by like, effing you, dirty, stupid, guinea, just yeah. vicious stuff, you <laughs> yeah. know? Yeah. Finally, I, I learned how to control the chat room. So just the people that go to my website and register are in there. Okay. But it's like a couple hundred fans. I got a website, so I got a webcam. If you have a webcam, I can click on your name and you become my co-host. But it's really hilarious. I mean, yeah. I'm getting paid. He could just pick a co-host like that. Let me, yes. let me tell you what Nick yes. is doing, and it's brilliant. Uh, Nick is a married man, and he has figured out how to go on Pal Talk and see hot chicks. 
<laughs> and you know, are you I, helping him out I again? Get, <laughs> and get paid for it. And his wife is like, all right, you go down in the basement and do your, your, your blog TV. I'll be up here. And Nick's down there, and he's checking out hot chicks. No, believe me. She taps into the show at any time. All right. All of a sudden, I see her face in the chat room. I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> what did you say about? But, yeah, the girl's real cute. The girl who's a... Uh, the girl in Tel Aviv who worked for this company, she's a Jewish girl. She went to NYU. Her name's Kara, and she's like 23, and she's really cute and smart, and she's got like a filthy mouth. Wow. She's a great co-host. Perfect co-host. <laughs> and she knows all my stuff from Comedy Central. She's reciting jokes to me. She lives in Tel Aviv. Oh, uh, you're going you're gonna to uh, hook up at some point. It, no, I can't. <laughs> no. I love my wife. She's no. Terrific. Is it refreshing to be un <laughs> uncensored, knowing you've that, got it really people is. breathing down your neck? Exactly. I mean, I'm, you say yeah. anything. You know, anything I mean, goes. anything. It's probably, here's steak, I record some of the segments. Oh. And once I do that, you can, like, anybody can watch them. And, and yeah. my wife's like, what are you, <laughs> you <gonna> trash <laughs> your career over a basement show, you idiot? <laughs> I got to check this out. Now you got my interest. <laughs> NickDip.com, that's one word, NickDip.com. Mm -hmm. And and register on the forum and then go to Blog TV and you can find me. And I'm doing um April 2nd at 9 p.m. I'm like the featured comedian on Blog TV. I usually do it in the afternoon at like 3 right. or 4. But, uh, yeah, April 2nd, I'm right. doing it 9 at night. April 4th, I'm doing it at 4 p.m. But it's hilarious. You can see, you can see my finished basement. People are making fun of my house. <laughs> First of all, you're the feature comedian, but it's your show. So aren't you every day the feature comedian when you... No, there's a few, there's a few people. You know, this? there's only like three, me and Joe Rogan, like two other people are doing this. I swear to God. That's it. It's, it's like brand new, you know? It's the future. Jesus, I'm on, uh, stupid pal talk all night. Yeah, but you I ought to do that. How about you? I do that. You guys are getting deals at com I'm sitting in the green room listening to you guys doing pilots at Comedy Central. Oh, sorry. I got a relationship with you guys. I have a relationship <laughs> with Comedy Central 15 years, and I don't even know about this. Where's the, yeah. And my dink manager goes, yeah, Rich Voss did, I think he just did some deal with it. And I'm like, you stupid, I'm sitting here learning all my friends, <laughs> all my friends at Opie and Anthony in a Comedy Central doing crap, and I'm sitting up at my house. You know how that goes. I don't even <laughs> know if they're going to pick it up. I do know how it goes. Honestly. If I'm not involved, it's going to be a huge hit, Opie. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. You don't have a black cloud. You guys, everything no. you touch is gold. Unfortunately, we have Voss on it, so <laughs> yeah. that balances it out. <laughs> It's well, like a to me. fist. Who said that once? You've killed more pilots than Al Qaeda. Oh God! Oh, <laughs> I had that in a row. Oh. Yeah. It's yeah. unbelievable how the money they put into these things, and they just eh, nah, we're not using. You know what? Don't give me the pilot. Just give me half the money for now on. Yeah, we'll see. And, well, this oh, you one, just they, want this half the money. They gave you that much money? For, no, my pilot. The last you one. Are you I and gave. the wife? Three and, million. Uh, three yeah. what? Not not mil No, no yeah. three. Three. three no. Yeah, three hundred thousand. It was, they put out so much money for this pilot. It's funny, I got it. And you did it with your wife? Yeah. Well, uh -huh. we it, it, two, I did two with her and I did the one with Patrice. Yeah, yeah. It's, you just, and you know what it is? I, the one you guys did, I'm not just saying this because it's you two, because you got, but I think, no, yes, I'm, you, are. I, you know why I think it's gonna go? Because it fits their demographics. Ah, we'll see. It's, yeah, a, it's just, a pretty good idea. We'll see. You know, I just uh, hey, we got to move on though, Rich. We'll, uh, we'll talk about not, pilots later not on. What? I'm not what? Plug like in my website like it's a legit thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what happened? You're right. Oh, not. I'm thinking about it. I just want to get you <laughs> mad because. Go to Nick the Pilot dot com. <laughs> uh, we we uh, were we were on this Larry Sinclair story yesterday. We were very excited. We thought we really were on to something. Well, this is the gentleman that uh, came up with this story that years ago, back in 1999. He had, uh, had done drugs and uh, had certain sexual favors that he gave to uh, Obama. Right. And he made a YouTube video. He made a YouTube video. And the video is very convincing. Like it, mm, is it? <laughs> Jimmy and I really believe that the guy is believes what he's saying on, oh, this, oh, okay. on this video. So you think it's a kook now then? He believes it. I'm mm. not saying it's true. Maybe it was some, and then we, we were speculating that maybe it was some guy that said he was Obama. And the guy just decides. Yeah, but back in 1999, no one would say I'm Obama well, because no one really knew Obama. Locally, they did. Yeah, I guess. You're you right. know, locally. And here's the video. Gurney. Here's the audio. Gurney. Gurney. This Gurney made us Illinois. laugh all day yesterday. Uh, here's the Gurney. audio of the video, just in case you, you missed it. I think the video was linked to onaradio.com yesterday. Hi, my name is Larry Sinclair. I'm making this video and posting it on YouTube because of an incident involving myself and Senator Barack Obama between November 3rd and November 8th of 1999 in the Chicago, Illinois area. The mainstream media and Obama himself has done 
greatly to prevent this story from becoming public. And greatly. During those time periods in 1999, I met Obama at an upscale lounge in Chicago, Illinois. After having a few drinks, Obama and I left in my limo, began to drink. Mr. Obama acquired powder cocaine for my use, crack cocaine for his use. Mm. I performed <laughs> sex on Senate. That's my favorite part. I got yeah. to take yeah. the fact that he got coke for him and crack for himself. I need some powdered coke and some crack. <laughs> right. You hook like me up. Tested on Project Runway. <laughs> <laughs> What? And he it's obtained real, it? Real, huh? Like, wouldn't you send the limo driver out? Right. Him a few bucks and what, go, hey. Wouldn't you know, he know where to politics, get the drugs? Maybe you don't want to go searching around for coke and crack. Right. And also, if you're driving around in a limo, do you need somebody to buy your coke for you? I think you have that kind of money, right? If you're, if you're in a yeah, limo. Yeah, but like, you don't want to, you don't want to do it yourself. Yes, you do. Why? You want to isolate, you want to do as much as you can, and you don't want to have to talk. You just want to sit, do coke, and I'd have to and, and drink and smoke. Yeah, but what if what happens if you get caught in some kind of a sting operation? You're a politician. <laughs> you you buying your own coke? No, I'm it's crazy. No, I'm saying the other guy. Why would he hook up with Obama? If he it was his limo, it wasn't Obama's limo, was it? Well, he was the limo driver. Yeah, I am really dumb. All right, we're going back to the tape. <laughs> Began to drink. <laughs> oh. Mr. Obama. Acquired powder cocaine for my use, crack cocaine like for his drugs. use. I'm sorry. I performed sex on Senator Obama, who at the time was a state representative for the state of Illinois. <laughs> Mr. Obama knows these allegations to be true. I'm challenging Mr. Obama to come forth, be honest, stop claiming that his drug use is limited to his teenage years. 1999, you weren't a teenager. 1999, you were a state representative for the people of the state of Illinois. 1999, I performed sex on you in the back of my limo, as well as in my hotel room in Gurney, Illinois, two days later. <laughs> if you challenge this, the authenticity of this allegation, I challenge you to take a polygraph test, as I will submit to as well. These allegations are true and need to be told to the public that the public dis decide whether Mr. Obama is being forthright and honest. Thank you. Now, it sounds like he's uh, telling the truth, right? Or at least he believes what he's sounds saying. Like a nut. I say they should yeah, absolutely sounds like a nut on top of that. His unit in a lineup and have the guy pick it out. Do wow. you honestly think, too, that Obama would even entertain this guy? Like, okay, exactly. uh, well, right, get that polygraph. Let me legitimize this guy. Yeah, he's looking at his schedule. Oh, we got to fit the Larry Sinclair controversy yeah. into my day today. Two days later, like it was in the back of the limo, and then two days later, Obama's like, I just got to get some more of that guy. Yeah, that was some good stuff. I got to get more great. of that. <laughs> how right much here is in Gurney. This, how much does this guy hate Obama? Is he yeah. like a hardcore racist? Yeah. Or yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he, he doesn't sound white. What? He, he is got, white. Got he's a, white. doesn't sound white. He sounds he very white. white. Sounds like a white girl. He's white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds and like he is, he's being a real martyr for the cause. He's also <laughs> going over okay. going, hey, I, I performed this on, you know, this gentleman. Yeah, I, I would imagine that some uh, guys in black suits and some, like, black sunglasses <laughs> knocked on Larry Sinclair's door is like, you're going to have to take one for the team, my friend. <laughs> this is, yes, uh, this is, is the equivalent of, uh, this is like an American suicide bombing. Yeah. <laughs> you're pretty much killing yourself yeah. <laughs> right. for, the, for the greater good of your cause, so I guess. How much is the Hillary campaign paying this guy yeah. to do this? Oof. Look, look <laughs> sit down. We're gonna have, you're going to have to admit that you, you do some drugs and that, you, you know. Take one for the team. <laughs> you're taking this for the cause, my friend. So mm. we looked up Larry Sinclair, very excited. He called us back. Yeah, and we were going to have our exclusive interview me? with Larry Sinclair today, yeah. but uh, what do we got, Steve? Well, he called back, very eager to be on the program, <laughs> and I'm night. dating him this weekend. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we're taking the limo out with my assless chaps. Thank you so much, which, Anthony. Which, funny enough, all chaps are assless <laughs> when you really think about it. Why do I even bother coming in? <laughs> Anthony already knows the answer. <laughs> I love how Steve tries to deflect by doing... By doing the impression of Steve. <laughs> right. It's, it's really... you just got to jump in with both feet on these. Yes. Um, both feet, please. <laughs> Tight, huh? <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, segment over. <laughs> no. No, no, uh, no. So you get Larry Sinclair on Larry, the phone. Well, Larry Sinclair did submit to a polygraph. Uh, mm. Two, actually, back in February of 2008. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and both experts indicated that uh, his results uh, indicated deception in regards to his uh, sex. Life. Ah. Now, what color were the guys who gave the polygraph? Yeah. yeah. Uh, both Caucasian. Back in February, oh, loves my it would have been oh, last finished. month. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you, Red. <laughs> I know. <laughs> two weeks ago. Back in two <laughs> weeks ago. Yeah, you don't have to sound that official, Steve. <laughs> a month ago, two. he took a test well, and he almost, failed. It's almost April. Uh, yeah, in February 2008, which is a month ago, uh, he took a he took a polygraph. He was offered ten thousand dollars to take the polygraph. He accepted and he failed. Yeah. Oh, so he got money. He got paid. Yeah, he got paid. Well, what kind of deal is this? Uh, Whitehouse dot com, which used to be a porn site. Oh, right. Uh, paid him uh, paid him ten thousand uh, dollars, which was going to be a hundred thousand dollars if he passed the polygraph. He failed. Oh, wow. I like studied. I got a story about me and Hillary and Wacker and El Camino. Yeah. <laughs> How much did I... yeah, no kidding. How much could I guess it for that? Right. Oh, what is you that about? Do one of the folds in her ankles. <laughs> oh, found some popcorn in there. We should we should do a uh, Obama search every day on YouTube because there's some just great stuff coming up now, man. Well, they're getting uh, pretty dirty, both of them. They're they're just picking each other apart until one of them becomes uh, right. the candidate, right. and then right. they will be united, yeah. and it'll be yeah. wonderful, and everyone's great, and then, and then the real be dirt the that they're holding back is going to come and out. And then the Republican filth. The Republicans are right now just sitting back. I know. Oh, oh, this is cute. Yeah. They go, this is so cute. Look at look at look at the little things they're pulling exactly. out. Look at the laundry list we have on uh, Obama. Just wait. Because I don't think you're going to find this kind of dirt on McCain. I think he's just going to, in the debate, he's going to destroy either one of them after all this. I don't think so. I think they're... Uh, really, you think you're going to find crap on McCain? Obama I, could t- talk circles around McCain. I'm not saying that uh, what he's saying is uh, anything of substance. You know what? But, but his public persona is going to kick McCain's ass. Well, that's the thing. You, I mean, you got the young... All right, intelligent, uh, you know, slick talking black guy against the old crusty white. Which, right. I don't know when that became a sin to be an old white guy with yeah. experience. And I'm so sick of this. <laughs> know, it's like, oh, do we, do we just want an old white guy in there? Well, eh, I yeah. don't know. Look around. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. All the, there's uh, buildings and airplanes and stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I did pretty good over the L- last time we checked. Years. Last time I checked, we're still the only superpower left, and we did it with no women or black candidates. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's all old white the, guys. I hope he does win and runs the country into the ground like your neighborhoods. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and you know what? I don't think he's. <laughs> oh, I'm just crazy. teasing. He's Board, a very articulate, nice, com. smelling fella. Boarded up White House. <laughs> You know, oh, I, geez, oh, oh come okay. on, Rich, don't help me. I've already dug myself a hole. Don't no, I don't consider him really black. Like, oh, no, he's whiter than you and I. I know, he, he, he yeah, if Popeyes, Omar, he eats at Boston Market. Right. He's not a Popeyes guy. Wait, if Omar ran for president, that's who I would vote. Oh, from the a wire. With a scar on his face. Who? Who? That? Omar who? Manaya? From the wire. No, Omar from the wire. Look him up. Oh, that's if, the kind of guy you want. Yeah, Wait, right. get a picture Omar. of Omar. Because uh, I think this picture will will scare the hell out of certainly Anthony and and certainly Nick. I've seen him. I wanted like oh, an Edi Amin black guy. I, was, this, this, I didn't oh, even vote wow. for a guy like that. Oh, Imagine that. This yeah. is Omar. Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice. Look, look. <laughs> With his neck hat. really fast. If now if that was your candidate, for, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> See now, I'd vote for that. That's change. Yeah, that's, that's real, change. real change. And he'd work for that. Too. Omar is yeah. a lot darker than uh, Obama. But that's and real change. And he's got change. a scar completely down the front of his face. Now, now, right yeah, down o- the middle. Obama's basically. mother is white, yeah. and his father is African. Yes. Yeah. So that's not really like African American. That's because that's where his family was placed. Like a couple hundred, you know what I mean? Well, uh, well, oh, here what, we go. Kansas City? All right. What? Just... You want to go, Jimmy the Greek, Voss? Go ahead. <laughs> Let her rip. Thank you. I'm glad you said Voss. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> see, this is, see, this is why we can't pay you guys, because when you say something like that, they can just say, just don't have them on the show anymore, and you guys are safe. All right, that's cool. Thank you. Am I getting lumped into this? <laughs> I, I'm not Did I just get lumped into his silly crap? <laughs> Wait, I'm not being a I did it for six months without getting in trouble. Give me some credit, will you? <laughs> All right, listen. We gotta take a break. Oh, speaking of the, uh, the pops are here. Speaking, right. <laughs> speaking of uh, these two taking shots at each other, we did the whole Hillary Clinton uh, Bosnia sniper fire thing yesterday. Remember that? Remember? Sure. Do you remember? Basically, Hillary saying that she landed what in Bosnia and there was sniper. Oh, fire. under sniper fire, she was rushed to the uh, cars and then rushed to a base yeah, because big the story. bullets are flying. Yeah, everyone knows a big story. story. <laughs> well, we took that that lie. It turned out to be a lie, and we yeah. had a little fun with it. 
Hillary Clinton is running for president. Hillary Clinton has a spotty memory. I certainly do remember that trip uh, to Bosnia. These events never happened. And uh, I remember landing under sniper fire. Alzheimer's is a devastating illness that affects millions of people worldwide. Okay, listen up. Did anybody see a sniper? Did anybody see anything? Anybody see a sniper? Including Hillary Clinton. There was supposed to be some kind of a greeting ceremony at the airport. Marvel receiving enemy sniper fire. Eight ball is down. But instead, we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicle. Give generously to the Hillary Clinton Alzheimer's Foundation. It was a moment of great pride for me. This promotional message is complete bull. Oh, good. Rich, good. Listen to you. Opie and Anthony show. Nick DiPaolo in studio. Rich Foss. Nick, uh, you can go to his, uh, whatever that plug is. It's, it's, it's <laughs> what is it? It's uh, Nick, Nick Dip. 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 Com. D-I-P. Dip. Nick Dip. Dot com. One word, folks. Rich Voss, Poughkeepsie this weekend. Uh, and it, this is the main show you want to come see Voss, uh, at, at, the, uh, uh, in Arlington, at, uh, Arlington, Virginia, at, uh, uh, I forget God, the name of the you... place I'm at in Arlington, but it's in April, right. and it's like some kind of uh, bear. Uh, you know, I'll think you of it. You know what it is. It's called no. the Red Roof Inn. No, it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and Nick will be uh, doing his TV show from the room next to me. He travels with it. It's called the TheRedRoof.com. Nick Dip. Uh, <laughs> wow. I could, go. I could actually do it. I could bring my laptop with you. <laughs> Just you do have it from there. <laughs> Just waiting for Jim Morrison to kick in here. Nah, he doesn't come in. When is he going to start singing? Uh, One of my favorite George coming. songs right here. Come on. No? People just come in and go, what a train wreck. I heard he used bosses. to smoke marijuana. Mm. You know how, how drugged out they were? They weren't invited to Woodstock. The doors, they said, you know what? I don't think we can have you guys at Woodstock. Too many drugs? They uh, had Hendrix and Joplin, but did, how yeah. bad a drug Yeah, but they also had sha -na -na. That's right. Ugh. They picked some weird bands for that dumb thing. That dumb thing was the biggest concert. Yeah, I know. I no, understand that. But a few of them. Look at the lineup for Woodstock. There were a lot of <laughs> dumb bands in there. Yeah, and he, he did have the Doors hanging around already. Why? You know, why not the Doors? Besides the, nah. besides the Who, I left early when the Monkees came on. <laughs> That Richie Richie Haven Richie guy Havens. gives a crap. You want to sit and watch that? He you know how many crap? You know how much crap? No, the everyone watched the Woodstock movie yeah. because uh, everyone says they were at Woodstock and, and wasn't really. So they watched the Woodstock movie and it looks like, oh wow, that must have been great. You know how much crappy bands must have been? I mean, it just, <laughs> you, well, just all the. All right, <laughs> I want to see on. the Who. No, wait, wait, go up. This is the actual lineup of Woodstock. We weren't going to go here, but that's fine. This is the beauty of this show. It was Richie Havens, who gives a crap. Freedom! Ugh. Well, and he also just did Beatles songs. Then you had Swami Satchadanada. -na 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 -na. See? You're going to sit through Swami? A Swami? I like his old stuff. Swami Satchadanada. -na -na -na. Say, Swami, you got to fluence these dice. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Bugs Bunny reference. Very nice. I, I, love I, that. I, I actually got that one. Yes, Swami. <laughs> Some of the cartoon ones I don't get from you, but I got that. Ah, love that. Uh, Country Joe McDonald. Country <laughs> Joe and the Fish. Well, no, I don't think the fish were available. I think it was just Country it Joe. It was just Country Joe? <laughs> Who the hell's Country Joe? Country Joe, he wound up doing that song about uh, Vietnam. Yeah, he had that one, two, song. three, what are we fighting for? Oh, I, don't, I don't give a damn. Uh, next yeah. stop is Vietnam. Hippie. Yeah, well, another filthy hippie is what he was. Yeah. Then you had John B. Sebastian. Oh. John Sebastian. Yeah. yeah. Okay. From uh, Love and Spoonful, I right. Think, right? Yes. Sweetwater, who never made it. No. Uh, incredible String Band. What? Who? They never made it. You had Bert Sommer. You're sitting through Bert Som Sommer? This is like Not Last Comic Standing. standing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the lineup for Last Sorry, Comic Standing. Oh, that's very good. He's just getting you back from that red room. <laughs> no, I didn't even. I, 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 I like what's was there. I like, that was just a reference. I, I like what's going on now. <laughs> no, Nick's right. feeling very comfortable. You better bring out your A game. You're going to make fun of Nick. He's coming back strong. No, Nick is quick. Believe uh, me, I just grabbed the reference. I forgot Rich uh, was even the star of that. <laughs> <laughs> so did everyone else, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Let's go back to the All right. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Bert, uh, Bert Sommer. Then you had uh, Tim Harden. Who? 
Then you have these guys, See? the doorman. This is what you're sitting watching. You're right. In a bunch of mud with stinking hippies. But yeah. everyone remembers it as the greatest thing ever. Oh, it was Man. great. The Who played. Yeah. Shut up. Uh, I mean, shut up to the people that say that. Of course. Uh, 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 Ravi or Ravi Shanker. Ravi Shanker. Har. What the hell is that? Then think... you had Melanie. Melanie? Wasn't she? Did the... she do, I got a brand, brand new, new pair of roller oh, skates. Oh, is that Melanie? <laughs> you put them on the Hold top on. of the stairs. Oh. Here's the best part yeah. of Melanie. That's her hit. That most yeah. people, that, that just went over their heads, which is fine. She actually did two songs, Beautiful People and Birthday of the Sun. Oh, Birthday of the Sun. She did a Marilyn Manson cover? What? <laughs> oh, no, not. She wasn't doing the beautiful people. Oh, I got a little confused. <laughs> I don't think that one. I thought there was a time machine involved with Woodstock. Uh, Arlo Guthrie did his dumb crap. Well, Arlo Guthrie. Oh, at least him. that's a name people know. And Joan Baez finished out. Joan day Baez, who's wow. just. Ugh. Couldn't find an ounce of douche at that show. <laughs> 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 she gets up on stage and starts babbling about her. Boyfriend or husband or something, he's in prison on a hunger strike. It was like, <laughs> who was her boyfriend? Ruby uh, King Carter? <laughs> it was probably. But wait a second, that was in nighttime shows too? That was all of day one? All of day one. That's day one. Oh, there was There's my argument. Two more crappy days to go. <laughs> all right, day two. Here you go, day two. By the two. time Hendrix played, no one was there. He was playing a bunch of blowing around garbage sure. and a few passed out hippies. <laughs> So day one, everyone was stuck on the thruway, obviously. They didn't get yeah. trapped. They were trying to find a parking space. Uh, day two, you got Quill. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we're the eighth largest city in the country, man. Shut up. Shut up. Get a job. Jose Feliciano, was he day two? Was he... <laughs> he was there, right? Have... Was he there? I think so. What were they not supposed to do, the brown acid or whatever? Don't take yeah. the brown acid. Brown acid. I, I, I stay off the towers. They should have taken the brown acid. Yeah, take the brown acid. Uh, this this lineup would have looked a lot better if they took the brown acid. The uh, Keith Hartley band. Hmm. Then you had Santana, all right. That Santana can't came out. Can't Which, by the way, Santana. no, you can, because if you've seen that, it's nothing but a two-hour-long, stupid Santana guitar lead. <laughs> Well, a couple bongos in there, too, though. Yeah, of course, bongos. Gotta give it up for the bongos. Oh, enough. And then you had uh, Canned Heat. Canned Heat. That was a good right. band. Yeah. Uh, great. <laughs> See, now it's good, one. good, though. Santana. Can, can and then uh, then you got The Grateful Dead, but they only did four songs. Ah, but P. their you. four songs probably lasted eight hours. Yeah, that's <laughs> all right. The first concert I ever went to was The Grateful Dead. They played for five hours. Yeah. Enough already. All right. I don't like uh, it. Then Mountain got a big set list. 13 songs. Wow. 13, 13 songs. What was their big one, Ope? What was their big one? Uh, Mountain. Ooh. They I, did I know, Mississippi just... Queen. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're Mississippi right. Queen. Yeah. They played that 13 times. Oh, guess they what? Did. <laughs> they played a 13 song set. Uh, no Mississippi Queen. Oh, my God. Ah. They must have came up with that song after Woodstock. Yeah, did man. they do Nantucket Sleigh Ride? Not that either there, Anthony. That, that was their song? only other hit. I don't recognize kinda. I don't recognize any of these songs from Mountain. What band? After and then Mountain, you had, uh, what? What band after Mountain they broke up uh, did they go to? like what, what Small Hill. Oh, I was cursing. <laughs> <What'd you laughs> Sorry. Say? I almost had the F word. <laughs> like, I was like, what the F, F is this, a trivia contest? Yeah, after Mountain. You would know because <laughs> no. you're a... Uh, why, do, why, why would I know that? Mountain? I'm not even a Mountain fan. Uh, after Mountain, <laughs> Rod Gut hit the stage. <laughs> Rod Gut was up there. I, I forgot. I, I yeah. played Woodstock. Oh, That's a uh, great name for him. <laughs> it's Anthony's old band. Oh, the old band. Oh, was it? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, then you had CCR. Uh -huh. Very yeah. good. Can't uh, complain. All right. Out. That's at least a... Sly in the Family Stone. Okay. Right now we're rocking a little They bit. probably didn't even have their biggest hits, though, at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like, all yeah, oh, these Brando. guys kind of in the 70s really... <laughs> Yeah. Took off. Then you got uh, Jazz Joplin, and then you got The Who. Okay. All right. That was so a big day night. Day night two. two. It was a big one. Uh, well, then day three. Now our bit is uh, losing steam because you, you got what a you pretty got? good lineup here. Jose yeah. Feliciano. You got, you got Jefferson Airplane. Uh, okay. You got Joe Cocker. Wow. Right. Doing his uh, okay. They had a his point. Ballsy thing. They had a point. Uh, Country Joe and the Fish. I'll see Country Joe and the Fish now. Yeah. Set change. I guess fish finally arrived. Yeah, the fish showed up. Uh, ten years after. That was the chicks that sing back up with them. Ten years after. Yeah, they, they did that song, but I don't see it on the list. Uh, ten years after. Uh, Eight Miles High? No. I have no idea. That was the birds. Uh, the band. They were the great. The band. And then After Midnight. 
It really kicked these, in. These bands hit the stage. Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Oh, mm-hmm. I love them. Um, the grandma that uh, <laughs> Voss <laughs> made out with. <laughs> really? White albino was it? <laughs> Johnny Winter. I just, got, I just got excited when I saw Johnny Winter's name. I know you did. Uh, and the, and the first song he did, Mama Talk to Your Daughter. So. Oh, oh, <laughs> <my> very <goodness. laughs> Send her off with Opie. Right. <laughs> Cut the irony. Uh, then you got uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Wow. Okay. They did uh, 16 songs start, starting after midnight, after Johnny Winter and uh, the other bands uh, got off. And then Paul Butterfield Blues Band. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, sh- all right. Shana Na. Oh, my God. They, they performed basically at like 4 in the morning. Who gives a crap? And then finally, uh, Jimi Hendrix, when everyone was trying to find their cars. Yeah. What's canceled acts? Are these ones that... Yeah, these were all the acts that said no. The Jeff Beck Group, Iron Butterfly. What was Iron Butterfly doing? Some type of brown ass. Uh, <laughs> stuck at the airport. They were stuck at the airport. Oh, I they there was another the band. band. Oh, I hey, I love know. Stuck at the Airport. Stuck at the Airport. It's, it's a, a great, great band. band. <laughs> Oh, this is really interesting. I've never seen this before. Canceled act. So you had Iron Butterfly. The reason they were canceled, they were stuck at an airport. Their manager demanded helicopters and special arrangements just for them. Uh, were wired Dorfman back management. and told as impolitely as a Western Union would allow to get lost. But in other words, you know, they said, told me to F off. Mm-hmm. Joni Mitchell was supposed to be there, uh, but she was on the Dick Cavett show instead. Oh, that memorable moment. <laughs> just like with Stuck. Uh, Light- a band called Lighthouse. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, there's a, a a current, well, not a current band, a band yeah. from a few years ago that decided to call themselves Lighthouse as well. Feared that it would be a bad scene, man, so they canceled. Like <laughs> Altamont Speedway. Someone's going to die. And then a bad band scene. called uh, Ethan Brown, or maybe a solo artist, I don't know. He was arrested for LSD uh, three days. Uh, you might want to get rid of that box. This is not a good time to be here. Of course he was. Thank you. Thank you. Steve. Uh, stupid Steve is IMing in the middle of this. Thanks, Steve. Arrested for LSD three days before the event. And then decline invitations. These guys had an invite and just said, F you. The Beatles, Zeppelin. Oh, the door said F you. Okay. Oh. Bob Dylan said F you. Turn it down because of his disgust of the hippies hanging around his house. <laughs> wow. Really? Dylan? Wow. Flaming liberal. Uh, what a douche! What the, hell? <laughs> what? the Beatles. Were. The Beatles said no because Lennon said he couldn't get them together. Zeppelin said no. Got a higher paying gig elsewhere. The Doors said no because Morrison hated large outdoor venues. Hmm. Uh, the Birds said no. Tommy James and the Shondells said no. Interesting. The Shondells said no because they were at Bananas in Poughkeepsie. <laughs> 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 Death Row Tull said no. Ready for this one? Turn it down because they thought it wouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, way to go. Yeah, way to go. Way to go, Ian Anderson, your stupid flute. <laughs> so managers were screwing people up all the way back to the 60s. Oh, huh? yeah. <laughs> Honestly, no, you don't want to see no, we got we got a club in Ohio. Bad gig. Exactly. <laughs> oh. You want to open for canned heat? That'll just hurt your reputation. <laughs> really? I, I, I said there was another band called Lighthouse. No, that was Lifehouse. Thank God I didn't know that. Lighthouse. I don't listen to Lifehouse. Lifehouse. <laughs> I didn't get hit by the sword of the gay. <laughs> and then you had a band called Mind Garage. They declined because they thought it wouldn't be a big deal and had a higher paying gig elsewhere. Yeah. Well, a little... Uh, Why did we go there? What's I don't that know, trivia but I enjoyed history. it. That was pretty good. I yeah. a lot. I don't know how we ever get on those little tangents, but, man, what the hell? It's like a bunk of Woodstock 99. I don't think you know that. I know that because you never fail oh, to, to mention that. it. Oh, that's yeah, right, 100,000 people. It was so cool. Look, it was great. And look where it uh, led you. Oh, it led me to other places. <laughs> to the Opie and Anthony show. Ooh. Well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I Shouldn't you I be, did, like, I filling in? Are you sitcom star by I now? I, did, I, really, I got a shot. I think I did a call into Pereno uh, from Woodstock. Did you? <laughs> Was, well, did you? What was he, want to be in studio. Was he doing? Spooning the eight year old? Hi, Rich. Nick knows. <laughs> hey, believe me, a guy, I met him, you know, when I started Wait, comedy. I, in I got a slower one now. Uh, good guy. Pereno is a good guy. That's right. Can we we buried the hatch with him years ago. Oh, did you? Yeah. Buried a few other things. Well, no, no. <laughs> I, I believe he attempted to bury other things. And, and we weren't uh, listening. But uh, he used to do uh, afternoons. At BCN, yes. and I kicked his ass back in the day. and uh, At AAF? At AAF. We, yes, we, I used to listen to you guys. Really? Oh, I loved AAF. Oh, we, uh, Van yeah. Halen, every other song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pretty much it was. I loved it. Guess what? They're still doing the same thing Are 10 years right? later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, uh, Pereno used to like hit on his interns and stuff. Yeah. 
The male ones, right? It's well done. Oh, yeah. Yes. The boys. And he just did a stint. Yes, he did. He got out of prison uh, recently. Did he get out? Yeah. 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 Did a little stint. Uh, there was some allegations that were made. Uh, when he was about, working for XM, by Working the way. for XM of him um, maybe going around with some PlayStations <laughs> uh, to youth centers. Yeah, really? And getting young boys to come over his house and play a little PlayStation. <laughs> he had one, like, hatchet. <laughs> allegedly had one chained to a radiator for about a year and a half. <laughs> yeah. That was the Romer. I don't, I don't know. And it was in D.C. He, uh, he liked little um, little uh, ethnic boys. Yeah. Yes. Uh, does, apparently. In prison, like, now when one was done... Before the next one, do you say commercial break or something? Or now we get a live read? Nothing on that one. No, nah, that one's not bad. Not, one not bad, Rich. Not bad. You're, it's almost eight o'clock. You're doing good. The first bad you really one. are. That was horrible. But I did bring up Pereno to give you the story. I did lead you into it. Okay. <laughs> so maybe I was. Hey, you get an assist. I get an assist, and then I got picked off. Got an assist on his kidney. <laughs> Going back to this. And <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Going back to the Hendrix thing and Woodstock, I, I I didn't know any of these facts until today. But Hendrix insisted on being the final performer, and he was scheduled to perform Sunday night at midnight. Oh, not really? A, not a bad slot for this festival, right? Because all those other bands were taking their sweet old time. He didn't take the stage until Ugh. nine in the morning, Ugh. nine hours after he was supposed to hit the stage, and no one was there. That's because she came late, you know. And he played two there. hours to a dwindling Jeez. audience. All right. Hey, before we take another break, we uh, we got one of the stories of the day. It's kind of a slow news day today, I think. Although they're talking about like uh, uh, young kids getting into ultimate fighting, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty funny to watch. To tell you the truth, little five year old kids just beating the crap at each other. I think most people don't understand that ultimate fighting has become a, a legit sport. When it first, you know, hit our uh, hit our. Uh, I just got so distracted. Sorry. What? When we first started uh, hearing about <laughs> Ultimate Fighting, it was just a blood sport, right? Yeah. Oh, it was great. And you then watching just have elbows in the yeah, face. Yeah, knuckle and, bare, knuckle. Yeah. Broken arms and stuff. And then they kind of like adjusted the, the rules a little bit. And ruined it. it. And it's a legitimate sport <laughs> Wrecked now. It. I, you know? I'd watch them just smash their noses. I, I, it's brutal. It started with a tough man. Remember the tough man competition? Yeah, tough man yeah. competition. The round robin tournament. You had to fight five fights in one night to yeah. win it. Yeah. And I saw that guy, Don Fry. He's like, uh, already people don't even know who he is anymore, but he's like a handsome fireman from like Arizona. He was like six foot, 205. Yeah. And he was, he won the whole thing that night. He beat the last two guys who were like six foot eight. One, one guy was a black guy who's still doing it. He's like a champion. He had like a nine three black belt. Don Fry just beat this guy. <laughs> I go, this is the type of guy you spill a beer on. And you're like, yeah, what up, man? <laughs> just, but talk about a tough. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. He's a real they, badass. They they I, did put a bunch of rules to it and stuff because it did. It used to just be brutal. Yeah, I like uh, I liked watching it. I can't yeah. decide if I like it or not. And a lot of, I, fighting? I put it on a lot of times. Is you know, two guys in a missionary position for a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're on the right channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? They, get, they, uh, they get, have to get up though. Now they even they change that rule. Right? Oh really? They yeah. Get, they make them get up after a while. Yeah. Mm. I, I should call I, Rogan. He knows. I would get I would get bored. Yeah, they would get tied up and and, and forever. Mm -hmm. and you're, just waiting there. Yes, yeah, submission holds. Yeah, it's like being children. at a gay beach watching two guys on a towel. Uh, boy, you want to tell us uh, why you know that, Nick? Well, you want to share today? I'm from the Massachusetts area. So I, got, I had a small home in Provincetown for a couple summers. Shared a room with Darrell. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Link girl. Two hours ago. <laughs> Why can't these kids have ultimate fight? You, you kids take karate class. They That's do, what I'm saying. It's a little different. Well, who says oh, they so can't? So they go to another level. So because someone's going to complain and it's going to ruin it. What, so, well, what, yeah, a soccer mom with a. What's great is the videos they're showing of like kids under the age of ten just beating the crap beating the crap at each other. It's very fun to watch because yeah, that's what the news does. They, kids fighting why, is just why, fun to watch. Why do the Absolutely. research and and sh and tell people that this is a legitimate sport now and there's a lot of safety of bars in place, whatever. Mm -hmm. They'll have a no, lot just show two ten-year-olds kicking the crap out of them. It's probably the, uh, one of the best things to watch on YouTube is just kids yes. getting hurt 
and kids beating each other up. Knocking each other out. They're I always, love it. They always have a couple, like, 12-year-old kids boxing yeah. in the bedroom. Yeah. And one kid and will one play another kid out. It, it really is. Clocks it's them in the beautiful. head. They all start laughing. Yes. <laughs> kids out like a light, and they're all giggling. <laughs> yeah. they might have a broken neck. You could be paralyzed. Oh. They're high-fiving each other. <laughs> That's great. Do you watch the ones on the video where they they have fish fights, like, up in the, uh, in the desert and stuff? What, 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 the what's desert? The, no, I saw these guys, they just fight clubs? Out. Yeah, fight clubs. Yeah. They just completely they do the, beat the crap out of each other. They do it in the parking lot. Last time I played Governors, I go out for a cigarette really? break in between shows, and it's like, this is, this is about a year ago. There's like 10, 10, 15 white kids with their shirts off in a circle with one kid in the middle, and they're wailing on each other. That's Long Island. On a Friday night. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, God. I, I guess you had a bad night, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hand them flies to the right. show. Come on, come on. They're I supposed, to make, them, they're supposed to make them laugh and have them leave the club feeling, oh, wow, my life, I, I'm feeling good about my no, life. They no, that's, they're that's beating a, the crap out of each other in they, between Nick DiPaolo shows. That's the thing. That was even more depressing. They were my demographic. They were kids out of Norman, <laughs> and they weren't even coming to the show. They were fighting out oh, the Oh, they're park. just using the parking yes. lot for their Having a rumble. Club. We're all standing out there. Even the owner, Jimmy, were laughing. They're in a circle <laughs> wailing on each other. I'm like, what is going on in this world? Man? Fights are great to watch. Yeah. They just are. Street I'd fights. Yeah. I love watching them. I'd, ra I'd rather see them doing that than, like, skateboarding on a Friday night. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Beat each other up. What the hell? Prepare We're a violent country. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to take a break. When we get back, a uh, woman forced to remove nipple ring at uh, airport. Big story mm. today. <laughs> Big story today. Obviously, another slow news day, I huh? Get off right yeah. It was White Plains Airport. Yeah, big <laughs> yeah, big story in White Plains. Yeah. And then you got a man claiming he was molested by Bigfoot. Big news day. Today. Come on, big news Seriously? day. It's not true. Uh, Wait a minute. We just talked uh, about. Can I just dogs. make a bet? Yeah. Absolutely. Danny found that story. Of course he did. What? Maybe. Maybe. Of course he did. He <laughs> where where do you stuff. find that stuff? We, we don't, don't want to give away our secrets. But well, we got a story about a man claiming he was molested by Bigfoot. What? Well, what? All right, Opie and Anthony. Back with the Opie and Anthony show. Nick DiPaolo in studio, nickdip.com, Rich Boss in studio, Bananas in Poughkeepsie tonight and tomorrow night. And uh, Anthony was admiring what the radio station here in New York is doing after we get off the air. Is that what I was doing? Oh, boy, were you admiring it. <laughs> What's going on? What are they doing after the show? Well, I was ju I was commenting on uh, March Madness. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't understand why it's so mad, you know, and, and apparently I was told there's so many games and so many uh, college basketball teams. Uh, it's just madness. It's crazy. Uh, so I looked, and I thought what I saw was a March Madness uh, bracket. Well, you know, you got all the teams, and the, it narrows down to just the... Uh, the two that are going head to head after all of them uh, move on. Can I can I stop you for a second? Yes. Uh, this is where we see if the new PD has a sense of humor. Yes. All right. Exactly. Uh, and then I said it says March bracket brawl, and I thought perhaps that there was a problem with saying March Madness like there is with Super Bowl and things like that, and they had to call it something else. Until Opie, I looked a little closer at the brackets and didn't see. Uh, college basketball teams. What I saw were rock bands. And, uh, what they are doing, I guess, March Bracket Brawl. Very clever. Is, is, is putting bands, they're pitting bands against each other. And I believe they are now, uh, down to the Elite Eight. I have canned heat and country Joe in the finals. <laughs> Why don't they? Oh, uh, you're out. <laughs> and they've started off with, uh, wow, how many? Uh, 64? Is that what they start oh, off with sure. March Madness? Yeah, they're following the NCAA they, rules. They certainly are ripping it off. I mean, following those rules. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking at some of the bands. Uh, Led Zeppelin against Judas Priest. Uh, who do you think uh, won that one? Uh, I would have to say Judas. But of course, Zeppelin. It was Zeppelin. Zeppelin's taken it all the way down. They better go They've all the defeated, way. Uh, after uh, Judas Priest, they defeated the Who. Uh, Wiped uh, out Captain uh, and Tennille on the Elite Eight. Pink Floyd, <laughs> who uh, took uh, Aerosmith, 
uh, got wiped out by Led Zeppelin. Oh, boy. Oh. And now I'm looking at Metallica just uh, killing uh, the cult, uh, Def Leppard, Ozzy, uh, Ozzy Osbourne, who beat out Bon Jovi, by the way. Should they go by what band has more members alive right now? <laughs> okay, the Who has a half a member. Okay, <laughs> who's, on, who's looking at kitty porn? <laughs> and how do you go uh, Nirvana against the, the Foo Fighters like that when they share uh, Dave Grohl? See, I wouldn't even show up for that game. That's crazy. No, no. That's no, that's insanity. Now, that's madness. That is crazy. If you ask me. Nirvana against Pearl Jam, it's a battle of the 90s right there. Sure. They're head-to-head -head now. They're going for the next uh, uh, bracket, trying to get into that final four position. See, I'm 46 years old. Everybody on the left side of the chart yes. are my favorites. I, I can't stand any of this crap on the right. You, you don't like uh, the people on the, which is the exact opposite of your political views, which is interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Tool running away with it, uh, beating out uh, uh, a Coldplay and Green Day, Linkin Park. Tool and the Foo Fighters going to square off. Oh boy! On uh, the That's... March bracket brawl. You know, uh, wait, wait, wait. It's good. Tool and the Foo Fighters. That should be a. <laughs> I when when I saw that and realized what it was, I seriously asked if the window opened here uh, on the fourteenth floor because I want to throw that thing out the window. It's like you know, Albany I, I versus in, Syracuse. <laughs> I was in the gym yesterday and I hear this thing going on. I go, "What horrible radio station would do?" This? <laughs> oh my God! He doesn't know how to keep it. He doesn't know how to keep it between the lines. Oh, and I'm 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 with Rich. Be Trust between me. the brass. I was in oh. the, what were you doing in the gym? Oiling the machines? Yes, no, no oiling the man in the in the locker room. We're gonna go play golf this weekend. Hey, how does Cinderella do? <laughs> Cinderella on that list? There. I um, I don't. Who were some of the bands that got knocked out in the first round? There? First round knockout. Uh, REM got knocked out by Bon Jovi in the first round. Uh, Twisted Sister lost to U2. I mean, stop it! Oh my God! Stop <laughs> it. Why, why are you that putting was like, that? That was a it. nail biter, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Who saw that coming? Tom Petty lost to Pink Floyd. Wait, how many points did uh, they give Twisted <laughs> Twisted Sister? Uh, I don't know. Probably not, no, no. Tenacious no, D no, beat Metallica. Good. What? No. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, look at look at Metallica going all the way. <laughs> I uh, now now with the final here here's our elite eight: uh, Zeppelin, Hendrix. They're going to square off. Metallica, Guns N' Roses, Wait Nirvana, Pearl Jam, and Foo Fighters and Tool. Wait a minute. There's no Stones in there. What happened to? Oh, they lost in the first round. Oh, they, no, they lost. beat Van Halen. Oh, they, 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 the and they lost to Hendrix. Okay, they lost to Hendrix. The they Stones beat the Ramones. Lost to Hendrix. They beat the Ramones. Van Halen. What? What? what, what wait a minute. Did Mick Jagger pull a hammy or something? <laughs> How do you lose to Hendrix? Yeah. He's day to day with a heroin infection. <laughs> he pulled David Bowie's hammy. <laughs> what happened? Uh, that I'm old sure gag. Couldn't make it. They're pumping his stomach. <laughs> Uh, Hendrix beat out the Stones. I, I don't know. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to it. That's why it's madness, but it's, it doesn't say it because they'd be Is this sued. like the callers vote? How does this work? Yeah, know. how does it vote? Who, who gets to how choose? How does this work? They play the song and somebody votes? Who gets to choose, and Tim? Now, why is Carlos Mencia in this? <laughs> what? <laughs> As they, they play like three songs from each band. Oh. While they're playing it, you either. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got, uh, Mike, oh, Jesus. we got Mike Berbigley in studio <laughs> joining the madness that is ensuing oh, in studio. Wow. This is a That's morning nice. madhouse. We burned oh, that. Boy, it, is it, uh, oh. we invited Mike back. He was on our show about a month ago. How you doing, What's going on, man? And, and you're doing, uh, the Caroline's thing this weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I'm doing guest sets on, uh, Rich's show at Bananas. Really? I'm commuting up to Poughkeepsie. <laughs> so. I just oh, wanna, for one. I just want to. <laughs> oh, I just, wow. I just want to go. I liked it. Uh, <laughs> I liked it too. I liked it bigly. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. Uh, no, Mike's doing something different though. Friday, uh, yeah, he's well, making he's money. Make <laughs> <laughs> Compared to me and Boss selling crack to kids up in Westchester. <laughs> yeah, but at least we do it. Oh, forget it. Oh, good. Uh, completely lost confidence. Uh, at least we. Uh, oh, wow. All right. The big Liam moves on and Voss is uh, knocked out. <laughs> oh, look, look at the bracket. Voss bracket brawl. This is, this is comedy <laughs> madness. Uh, I remember. Yeah, we're going to do comedy madness on our show. We're going to invite all the guys in. That. When I moved to New York City, Rich was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that so well. Uh, no, I... Uh... Look at Rich. He just looks, he looks, looks so dejected and disgusted. No, it's... it's just Rich is zinging him today. 
Well, you know what? This is going to build his self-esteem. Go, keep going. No, oh, he's, he's I'm done. He's, he's good. Good. That's it. He's not he knows when to take the jump shot. Oh, well, that was good. Yeah. He knows. He sat at the table. What do you hear? Yeah, I know. Practicing for Bob and Tom for next week. What is that? I don't know. What do we have a mean? We have a traitor among us? No, no, no. He kidding me? We don't. We sell out anywhere. Mike is doing. I want to get the plug in tonight at Caroline's. He's doing a different show than tomorrow night at Caroline's, which will be different from his Sunday. Sunday show. Yeah, three different shows, three, different three nights. nights. Yeah, and the Sunday night one, people, uh, the first hundred people who show up have, get the, a free copy of my DVD, which isn't out yet. Called what I should have said was nothing. Wow. So that's a good, good that's thinking. a good feature. So yeah. That's marketing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know what? I gave out Rich Voss keychains. I'm, I'm the uh, I'm the I'm the Dane Cook of comedy. <laughs> 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 It's like Ron Popeil, this guy. Just, <laughs> that, you know what? Just set it and forget it. Marketing. <laughs> you think I should say that? No, the DVD. I can't believe. Yeah, why thing, not? Right? No, they cost like, like nothing. Yeah, I you mean, want people to have them. That's a know, good thing to do. That's smart. Maybe you should make one. He's smart. The Dane Cook of comedy. <laughs> we're trying to come up with a name for this uh, this show if they pick it up for Comedy Central, and we're thinking naming call it, it Seinfeld. Seinfeld. No, we're thinking of naming it Seinfeld. <laughs> Just call it Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Just spell it slightly. Yeah, You're just gonna get some, yeah. Put the I in front of the E. Yeah, right. yeah. There you go. You're going to get some peripheral viewers that, you know, <laughs> they'll, they'll watch a little bit of it and go, where's Seinfeld? Where's the wacky neighbor? Yeah. Yeah. You guys have such a highly rated first ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is it true, Toucher and Rich, we love these guys uh, up there in Boston. They're doing the worst comedian brackets. Mm. Oh, wow. That would be a funny Worst bet. comedian brackets. You get like, yeah, you get 16 of the worst and, and have the them battle it out. Lisa like Lincoln hacks. Lincoln. That's a great <laughs> idea. If they're doing that, that's a great oh, idea. Man. Like Sinbad against, uh, like, uh, Gallagher. Yakov. Yakov Shmirnov. I would have to pick Yakov. What uh, Probably I, one of the worst comics ever. Yeah. To uh, just to make hack it, up a stage. I'll, I'll tell you though, I was in Springfield last week at the airport, and that's yeah. where Branson is. That's yeah, that's oh, where he, yeah. he's got his own. He, house. Got, he has his own theater. He yes. doesn't even perform at the theater. I, it's really? just his name. Oh, is Yakov? that right? That's how rich he is. And now the Yakov Shmirnov theater. theater. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. now what happens if Gallagher had to go against his brother? Because mm. you know, I don't know. Let me go home and mob it over for you. In a mallet match. <laughs> All right, listen, we're going to mail it. We're going to move on. Beat each other. That's what I'd like to see. The citrus <laughs> fight. That's how they should just settle it with, with those, those big yeah. mallets over each other's <laughs> watermelon heads. <laughs> and it was a comic, Ron Gallagher. It was Gallagher 2 that went out, and he said, Gallagher 2, audience nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Hey, we got a woman that was forced to remove a, a, a nipple ring at an airport, and uh, it's mm. becoming a big story. That uh, that uh, what's her name? That Chelsea that, Clinton? No, that um, <laughs> that that uh, that lawyer lady that takes on all women. Gloria Allred. Yeah, she's on this. Um, one. I hope she finds a lump in her armpit the size of a grapefruit tonight. <laughs> oh, well, she put... <laughs> Yeah, I don't like her either, Nick, but I would I, I, Wow. I, I, I didn't say I, think might, no. I mean, just a lump. I think you might hate her a little like, more than me. Just she might just, go away the next day. She might be swollen yeah, from something. I just, yeah, like a clogged <laughs> paw from roll-on. Yeah, I'm not talking about cancer. be anything. Come on, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about things like that when Rich Voss is sitting here okay. with a Why, pretty much a, a little juice box no. on his kidney that oh. <laughs> has to be poked. I know. I think it's it's got a little juice a little box. Straw sticking out. <laughs> straw in there. <laughs> it's, it's got an old sippy cup when, kidney. <laughs> when they when they take the uh, the liquid out, we're giving free Mike Babiglia DVDs away <laughs> for the first five doctors that show up. Rich, I'm only laughing because you're plugging my DVD. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bigly ain't playing. He, no, he knows how to play. I just flew in. I just I came from the airport, literally. Oh, no. Really? Yeah. They Where were you? Actually, that's what I was. I was in Los time. Angeles from shoot. We're shooting a pilot for CBS. And, oh, uh, oh, yeah. oh, which is why. Like, How's that going? Which is why. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, uh, they I, they ma they're making me get skinnier. You know. Oh skinny, really? You know, because I'm, I'm. What are you, Roseanne Barr? You? No, fine. I know. It's re that, that's what I. That's how I feel. Yeah. I mean. I don't have like a weight problem, but I'm like the guy who could put the brakes on an orgy. Yeah. And be like, is he invited? Why is he eating a stuffed crust pizza? That is not hot. But, uh, the, uh, no, but I, 
I do have issues with with I mean because I I Google myself. I'm sure you do that, right? right? I Google well, you if we got all lotion time. handy. I want my free DVD. <laughs> Last year I was someone wrote on their blog that I was pudgy and awkward. <laughs> like that's a bad thing for a lead man on a sitcom. That's yeah. all they have now. Pockward. They said I was pockward. Oh, pockward. And, uh, oh. and uh, that, that I wasn't feeling great about myself already. Like I've reached this point in my life where I don't look in the mirror anymore because I get angry. Like, I feel like I'm complaining about a bad call a ref just made. I'm like, come on. <laughs> You're blind if you're leaving the house like that. And, and the ref is God. And the competing teams are my gut and my receding hairline. <laughs> and it's a close game because my gut is large and my hairline is fast. And I'm all riled up. I'm about to charge the field. And then the guy comes by with fried dough. And I'm like, next time. <laughs> Uh, folks, you somebody's been writing too. <laughs> it's so DVD. It's his, so, that's not on it. That's shut up. That was a great that's bit, Mike. It was that's very, a very good uh, bit, Rich. Stop. Rich you, just hates something called writing. Yeah, you can listen uh, to it. Something Rich is you know so you you unfamiliar with. Showing off his discipline. Bandwagon jackos. Okay, if I came in and did that, you would throw me out the door. Okay, if I if I recited any. Yeah, because we'd say you're not. Rich Voss, get out of here. He's an imposter. Yeah, what you do to the real Rich Voss? Let's go to Mark in Boston listening on BCN. Mark, what's up? Mac. Yeah, yeah they think uh, Jay Leno's going to take it all the way for the, for the worst comedian. Wait, uh, you got info on the Touch and Rich thing? Yeah, they, they expect Jay Leno to take it the whole way. Wow. wow. But the, but this has been pretty <laughs> successful. There's a discrepancy there because he, I, mean, I think you were going to say the same thing. He was supposedly an amazing He's an comedian. Excellent. Yeah. I saw him, man, in the 80s. I mean, all these young yeah. kids know him from The Tonight Show. They're like, you're not funny. You should have seen him in the 80s. This guy could yeah. own a room. And he could I do mean, hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, and crush with, you know. He's funny on The Tonight Show. No, we can go to him. Talks about how UFOs landed in the middle of the country and Bob Buki and his cousin Weenie would find. <laughs> I remember some of the old uh, Cliff Martin Leno bits. I writes that uh, Touch and Rich yesterday they had Dave Couille. Oh, or, there you go. Beating out Margaret Cho and oh, Robin, Williams. Oh, God. <laughs> Robin Williams beating out Jeff Foxworthy for now worst comedian. The, now Today it's uh, Jimmy Fallon versus Adam Sandler. Oh. <laughs> now they're on the right track. I got to give it. Right. I got to give it. Once again, I got to give it to Touch and Rich. That's a great idea. Make, Make sure you good one. tune them in today on BCN. Do they have a catchy name for it? I'd like to know what their little <laughs> catchy name Dave is. Couillet. See, this is like. See, that's that's thinking. Everyone's doing this dumb band versus band thing across America. Yeah, we're not the only station uh, doing this here in New York. And we've just been, you know, so lazy we didn't even come up with anything. Well, good point. <laughs> we, good didn't, point. we didn't do anything. We're looking at a, a board that was made up and drawn up. Someone had to make that. You don't stupid have to. Thing. You have the worst comics live every day in here. <laughs> <laughs> no need for a competition. It's playing out right before your eyes. Good point. <laughs> We're courtside. I right, hear that's great. <laughs> and then when we run out of Spike Lee seats over here, and then when we run out of uh, things to, to do, we just play uh, audio clips of. News stories. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, we suck. We should have a radio show bracket. O and A win. You guys should be in the room next to him in his basement doing. We're uh, we should be the final bore. <laughs> right. I think we're taking on Mason and Kolinsky. Lingy <laughs> lingy. Beep 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 beep. Uh, you want the nipple story or what? Who doesn't? I did set it up. So, a woman uh, forced to remove nipple ring at airport. There, Mike. Want to include you? Nipple here. ring. It's a big yeah. story. Wow. I, <laughs> I don't have much to add. Well, but, uh, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, you might, though. Listen to the audio. This Texas woman says transportation security administration agents put her through something she wouldn't wish on anyone. Mandy Hamlin oh, says the the news at this douche. Lubbock airport told her if she wanted to board her flight, she'd have to remove her nipple ring. Her nipple ring. A nipple ring. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look, she was at the airport. <laughs> That's a phony voice. After she ate sushi. 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 Uh, she had to remove the nipple ring from her, uh, the piercing. <laughs> uh, she had sushi on it. Sushi. Sushi. That guy annoyed me all night long. I couldn't think I of could anything do call but back sushi. sushi. Yeah, yeah. We did some yesterday, and the guy said sushi really weird. English some guy. English, some English guy who had the delivery that every English newsman has, uh. where they have to talk like this. 
And then she drowned in the Thames. <laughs> what is that whole thing Liverpool. at the end? Yeah. Liverpoolian. Oh. <laughs> That's I get a, annoyed with news where they they treat every story with the same level of importance, and they'll have like the laser sounds. It'll be like, "Pachu!" Oh, your kid's having sex at the mall. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have kids. I'm like, "Are they?" I gotta, make sure not sex at the mall. I gotta get down to the mall. The question is, can I watch from one of those benches? <laughs> <laughs> I say sushi, kind of weird. Sushi. No, this and guy, that's what he says. This guy's got your beat, right? He's like, "Yes, sushi." I, I don't even remember the the story, but it was We're trying sushi. To find it. We, we 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 don't have half our staff because this dopey station here in New York uh, figured it you know the Opie and Anthony don't need their staff will send uh, most of their staff down to WrestleMania for three days. Jimmy Norton's uh, out uh, doing gigs on the West Coast. We lost E Rock. Uh, we, we lost E Rock Sam, and Sam and other guys you don't uh, know about. Uh, you know, but they're all down there yeah. in Florida for three days for WrestleMania. The station in New York thought it was very important for them to fly yeah, out because very early Vegas for WrestleMania. About the casino we, business, but you 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 picked up. You, <laughs> You picked up Boss. You got the Apollo. You got oh, yeah. you got Berbiglia. Uh, I know we're same, set. It's we're the same crew. Uh, seriously, this it's place is dripping with talent. <laughs> <laughs> dripping with something. I hear the uh, I hear the kidney. banana with sunglasses is going to come by from the. Uh... <laughs> Dare to dream. Oh, how do we have to play the whole clip just to get to the? Just to get to sushi. This is from yesterday. <laughs> I want to hear this idiot say sushi. You're most likely to have come across it as the powerful paste wasabi that's eaten with sushi. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb lying. It really is funny no matter how many times you hear it. Eaten with sushi. <laughs> Wait, I gotta hear it again now. Yeah, of course I'm, we do. I'm so glad that it's early in the clip. I like it's horseradish. You're most likely to have come across it as the powerful paste wasabi that's eaten with sushi. <laughs> sushi. <laughs> powerful paste. Powerful, powerful paste. paste. What a dink. Yeah. Exactly. Powerful paste is their complexion. <laughs> English. <laughs> uh, let's go back to Boston. We love Boston. Uh, teeth. Big <laughs> yeah, hello teeth to everyone like listening on BCN. Rick, what's up? Hi. Uh, you're talking about the uh, comic knockoff? I don't think they actually have a name for it. No. Uh, they already did the rock and roll one. All right. Oh, they did? <laughs> So they just decided to go with the uh, comics. That's a good yeah, idea. And the uh, comic wins, like the. Um, hey Rick. Williams hey Rick. It says on the phone here. Uh, more info on Toucher and Rich comedian uh, <laughs> contest. <laughs> Remember the good old days. How about the more info part? <laughs> Remember. Remember the good old days when people were nervous about calling the radio show? <laughs> yeah, like, what like, I better have something interesting to say. Exactly. Now they just call up, hey, how you doing? You know that thing you talked about? Yeah. I, I, uh, what? yeah, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about, so I figured I'd call. <laughs> I listened to, to that. They don't good. even ask for gifts from this station either. They just no. call. They don't expect no. anything. No, no prizes. What, what do you, we have no prizes. All right, back to Nipple Lady. Told her if she wanted to board her flight, <laughs> she'd have to remove her nipple rings. Pause. Oh, he knew he had something good. Her, her nipple rings. Nipple <laughs> rings. Play that up. Twelve minute dramatic, dramatic pause. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Her rings. Something she says she has never had to do in order to clear airport security. It was just total humiliation. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Uh, of... How is it humiliation? You got a nipple ring. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How humiliating Could they lay you on Come the... on. You have to do it on the conveyor belt laying right. on the back, <laughs> you dumb whore. <laughs> take the metal out of you. All <laughs> right, I feel safer. Just take your metal out of you. Yeah. Out. Her piercing was at 38, which is a little <laughs> odd. <laughs> How does a girl with a nipple ring get feel humiliated? humiliated? She got it at the mall a week ago with people watching right. in front of the Orange Julius. <laughs> Some guy with a rusty pair of pliers. And <laughs> her father stood next to her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> humiliated. <laughs> humiliated. Oh, God. Shut up. She's what on the nose. Dirty. It was just total humiliation. Yeah. In what front of people, I have no earthly idea who they were. You going to cry what? now, bitch? Who did the piercing? Wow. That that I felt like DePaulo crossed the line there. Uh oh, what happened? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was in your tone, but it felt so real. Oh, when he called her a whore. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, that was good. That was real emotion. Well, I, this touches home would be this story. It happened to me once. I had to take my nipple ring out at Westchester Airport. <laughs> And she was flying to do another dollhouse in Florida or something, you know? Yeah, exactly. She's on the dollhouse tour. She's being humiliated in an airport. 
demanded. Now, the 37 year old woman is demanding oh. an apology and a civil rights investigation. Oh, for Christ's incident. sake. High profile attorney Gloria Allred <laughs> has taken up her cause. The conduct of TSA was cruel and unnecessary. You. The last time that I checked, a nipple was not a dangerous weapon. The ring is stupid. It's the ri First of all, yeah, it's not the, the nipple. First Pull it off like odd job and <laughs> wing it and take someone's head off. What are you going to do? They didn't cut her nipple off. It's not a third world country. They yeah. got the ring out. It, it went off. I mean, the TSA, they, they stripped me down last week. Uh, they're the worst. Did they? They, it was unbelievable what they made me go through. And I was yelling at them. He goes, supervisor, you know. Strip you down, really? Yell at him. What do you think? You know, the people don't understand certain things. You're not going to win yeah. with the police and with airport security. Yeah. You, you can't argue yourself and call them names and they're going to go, all right, you're free to go. It doesn't work. Airport security, if you say things to them and start arguing, you go into the back room, they'll put a glove on, and then they'll really, you know. Do they really? Inspect you. I th remember, didn't Kevin Meany get arrested? Yeah, Kevin Meany got arrested. His, yeah. Oh, yeah. His kid ran away. <laughs> Here's a kid, and he's scared. That's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> that's, like, that's like a kid ran away. <laughs> now, it's making, now it's making sense, this whole story. Forget about what I said. <laughs> But that, that he, yeah, he told me right after it happened. Yeah, his, his yeah. kid ran away behind the security. He went to chase his own kid, uh -huh. and they stopped him and like yeah. tackled him. He's... Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> well, he also there was some threats of firearms and stuff. He had talked about yes. like, having a rifle, and uh, yeah. Yeah, they they arrested him, took him in. Stephen S. from Bayshore, I hope you were right. Nick is very bitter. It's fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> from, from where? Long Island? Yeah, Stephen S. He's a regular. They enjoy that down there. Uh, uh, yeah. Here's more of the Trash. nipple story. Hamlin's <laughs> ordeal all started when an officer waved a metal detector wand in front of Hamlin's chest, and it went off. Mm. I offered to show him, and no one would look at it. I even offered to show the gentleman, the last guy that came over, and he was, you know, pretty much demanded me to take him out. And, okay. uh, now it's making went, more sense. Yeah. Okay, it's making more sense now. She says it, it goes off. She was willing to show and say, look, I have a nipple ring. They said, no, we don't want to look. Take it out right. and put it in the little right. thing, whatever, because they probably can't be looking at girls' cans. Right. How, well, that is a fine line between a nipple ring and pulling the pin on a grenade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a grenade in there. <laughs> a grenade instead of a breast implant. Yeah, yeah, he's a ring. terrorist we're you talking better about. better start running. He could have been out oh, of this bitch. You know, they did stuff with the, the shoot bomber guy, you know, came yeah. up. Maybe this is the new thing. That's what I'm saying. Grenades in the, in the boobs. Pull the pins. Wait, so she was humiliated, but she was willing to show... Exactly. Oh, shut up. She's willing exactly. to show the the, up. the the inspector, yeah, the nipple ring in her, her nipple. I love... But yeah. she, since they said no... Maybe because it Just was maybe out. because it was the first two weeks, and with piercings, you got to keep them in so that they they <laughs> stick. <laughs> I'm just speaking technically. I about hear piercings. you. Yeah, Rich was thinking he was doing a joke there. Maybe he was just giving us some knowledge. I was listening to him. He was talking. I was giving him the. Uh, You're on the edge of your seat, waiting for deserves. him to mess up. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, <laughs> you really are just. You're like a, one of those sucker fish he's with got, sharks, just he's, waiting for some little tidbit to come your way. There's got to be something wrong with what he's going to say. There's got to be some flaw in logic. <laughs> Track four. <laughs> Uh, I was listening to it. It was just talking. how you were looking at it. Uh, maybe if you're you like, I think he's finally going to bomb. This look, is going to be the one. This is going to be the one I could eye. jump on. You're supposed to look like at me. Kevin Meany looking at a Cub Scout. Kevin, you know I'm kidding out there. <laughs> we are the world. Yeah, Who's this black magic woman? <laughs> <laughs> Don't run with that penis in your hand. You'll knock your eye out. We're gonna lose the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's dead on. Look, Kevin, we're gonna you lose know, the house. Yeah, Anthony does everybody. The goddamn house. All I ask, he's got us. He's just got to drop the We Are the World bit. That's the signature bit. That's, what are you kidding? It's 2008. Is it really? He's still doing it? I saw him a couple of years ago. Oh, he yeah, was still yeah. doing the We Are the World bit. He he you got to stop. He dropped Kills. a couple of the singers because they're dead. <laughs> you guys, no are, you guys, speaking of, are you guys going to come to my show this weekend? I know you've oh, no. you. Oh, well. 
And I mean, where is that? I'm, Sorry. Right, I'm going to tell the sleepwalking story that I was telling you guys last time. Which I have there. to go to the oh. I'm doing the sound. <laughs> <laughs> you should come Saturday, though, to the sleepwalk show. That's probably the most interesting one. Ah, It's uh, three nights at Caroline's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three different shows with Mike Berbiglia. I have a, I don't know if you know this, Rich, I have like a, an actual sleepwalking Issue like I get, I take pills for it and all really? this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you like jumped I, out of a window. I literally, get out of here. I jumped out of a window, yeah. second He's story kidding. window. Landed on Eric Clapton's kid. This is what we're gonna do. Not funny. Oh. Yeah. Not funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm attempting to build uh, what, what's called TSL. Mm-hmm. So that that's a fine tease. We're gonna have you retell the story after the break, there, Mike. Sounds good. But, but first, we're gonna get to the end of this nipple thing too. The the end of the nipple oh. story. Oh. And uh, he said that uh, he he couldn't look at him. Hamlin says she was told to remove the jewelry. <laughs> But when she tried to do that, she had trouble taking one of the piercings out. Mm. During the news conference Thursday, Hamlin demonstrated how she had to use a pair of pliers to get one of the rings off. As Ms. Hamlin struggled to remove the piercing behind the curtain, she could hear a growing number of predominantly male TSA Oh, here we go. She's a dyke. Snickering in the background. Snickering. Allred says if her client doesn't get an apology, snickering. they may consider legal action. Yeah. Well, TSA of course, officials say they are reviewing the case to make sure the agency's policies I can't take were followed. I can't take it no more. TNA officials? What? I can't take it. <laughs> the TNA officials. She's a whore with morals. <laughs> <laughs> the guy doing the announcing is a phony with his fake pauses. I can't take the world I'm living no. in no more. Take them all and shoot them. Gloria Allred and the dirty Ugh. dyke lawyer. There's no way off of this planet. Pliers. There is. It's, it's, it really I, bugs me that could, I can't just leave. I, exactly. I, if we could just get Nick to shoot all these people, and then we could just have <laughs> mostly Nick DiPaolo, it would be such a great world. We'd be living. I, you know, I, Mike, I wouldn't I've been mind you up to this point, but I didn't appreciate that type of sucker. I'm the only guy on your side in this no, room. It's a, re- okay? it's a respectful thing. I'll... <laughs> I'll right. take the leash off Voss and let him loose on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Voss is sitting. Hold on. we got to take a break. We really do. We could continue, certainly. This show is terrific. I, I love it. <laughs> I actually love this one today. Voss at uh, Bananas in Poughkeepsie uh, tonight and tomorrow. More with everybody after the break. Opie and Anthony. I loved your observation just now, Nick. What? Nick DiPaolo in studio. It's the Opie and Anthony show. You notice that Anthony likes to do a little of that multitasking. <laughs> what? I, uh, I've been away over there. A text text type he's like i'm saying hi to my fans like do you have to do that to get popular <laughs> occasionally hmm. i'm even <laughs> i send out like a mass message in my myspace <laughs> you know hey no. quit bothering me that's my message I like the personal touch you know individual attention <laughs> that's we give people on what yeah that's what you're doing i was on uh yeah right. on, on what pal is it Wait, uh, pal, uh, chat? Pal, t- pal talk pal talk i was on pal talk uh, last night uh-huh and uh, Why? because you wanted, fun. you wanted what? To be in touch with the fans? Uh, yeah, a little bit. That's what uh, that's what Pal Talk is is all about. Yeah. Actually, uh, we we were having a gun show. There was a little gun show going on on uh, Pal Talk last night. A couple of the other Just people the had, fans, had, right? had guns. Is that like PayPal? Uh, I confused the two. <laughs> <laughs> Cost me forty five hundred dollars to say hello to some girl in South Africa. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, so, and, you know, and loves the fans. Nice he community. Wants to, wants to be in contact you? with them twenty four hours a day. That's, that's, that's what he does. You let them see you at home. Um, yeah, why not? I don't know. It just it seems weird that strangers are looking at you in your home Much, with all your Nazi paraphernalia. How else are they Nazi gonna... paraphernalia on display? Of course he lets them. What are you talking about, Vosh? Your wife does it. I don't... <laughs> She's got a webcam in the shower. <laughs> uh, she just gave birth. That's really nice. Another one? No, don't. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. She bounced well, back well, though. They were like, they were like twins six months apart. <laughs> <laughs> She just uh, pretty Stretched much out. gave up on you now. Is that Today's is her that birthday? It? I gotta get her something. Today? Yes. You, you forgot? Who are you kidding? It's already you picked it out a week ago. No, you shake it in your shoes. Come on. No, I didn't get. It. I'll get her something at the uh, at the outlets on the way to Poughkeepsie. My, us, my, get... my girlfriend and I were hanging out with Rich and and Bonnie at uh, where was it at the 
It's one of these tapings. And, I don't even remember. And and Rich looks at my girlfriend. <laughs> does and so goes, many. She's way out of your league. And I look over at Bonnie. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what leg do you have to stand on? And and Boss goes, yeah, she's damaged goods. <laughs> oh, so God damn. <laughs> oh, you are a bastard. <laughs> I love it. That's a good line. Oh, she's oh. damaged goods. She's got to the V's. Here's the thing. Also, she's Canadian, so she's got to stick around. I got to tell she's you. She's got to stay in this marriage for a while. I got a, I got a, a resume of the girls I've been with. I mean, some of them, pictures of it. Some of the hottest girls that I don't know. I mean, they're all, they cry during sex or they, you know. Yeah, because they don't know what you do. Or they you. were cutters. Well, I'm banging a whatever. strong middle. <laughs> <laughs> Co-middle, okay? <laughs> uh, Co-middle. All right? I'm, to get people on my show, I'm giving free Mike Babiglia DVDs away. <laughs> I bought them from him. As Will that be the one. what I should have uh, part of a said was nothing DVD, right? That's Did the, I get that right? The one, yeah. Okay. Catchy. Hey, let's do a uh, little Bigfoot news. Now, this is the guy that said he was sexually assaulted by Bigfoot. Yeah. If we could have uh, either done this story Not the or one. the man charged with having sex with pic picnic table. Excuse me. Is that really a story today? Yeah. God, that we should we got to save that one for Bob <coughs> Kelly because he well, ha has sex with the sinks. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Picnic table. Good. I hope it was naughty pine. <laughs> <laughs> 57 year old Gene Morrill will serve. T same guy. You got a new source. Is this the same guy from the last story? Uh, it is. It is possible. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, possible. <laughs> Not probable. Why does he insist on you know be staying in the the news uh, voice? Uh, yes, persona with these wacky stories. Fifty-seven year old Gene Morrill will serve twenty years in prison for molestation charges. He pleaded guilty in a Virginia court. Does everyone have to sound like Rush Limbaugh? Do you hear the Rush <laughs> Limbaugh? Yeah, on that? absolutely. Yes. Excellence in broadcasting. Bigfoot. 57-year-old Gene Morrill will serve 20 years in prison for molestation charges. He pleaded guilty in a Virginia court for his attempts to solicit 13-year-old boys over the Internet. But Morrill is making molestation charges of his own. He reportedly is telling an investigator that he had been sexually assaulted by the legendary Bigfoot <laughs> in New Hampshire. Here, the creature is... Wait, in New Hampshire? New Hampshire. What was Shaq doing what? in New Hampshire? <laughs> Like water skiing. <laughs> Patrick Ewing bangs him in New Hampshire. He's touched by Big Pappy at a rest area in Durham. <laughs> New Hampshire? I believe. There's no Bigfoot's in New Hampshire. No, I, Bigfoot's no. in the I've Pacific been, Northwest, I've right? Been, I've, I've been all around New no, Hampshire. He takes Jet Blue now. You haven't heard? <laughs> oh, is that it? Yeah, he's got a summer home on Lake Winnipesaukee. <laughs> Why is this news guy calling this dope out? There's no Bigfoot in New Hampshire. Just a Greek chick that I dated. <laughs> in New Hampshire. Here, the creature is supposedly caught on film over the years. The Bigfoot claim brought some Snickers. Are you serious? I think he's an idiot. I take him very seriously because I know that Mr. Morrill has uh, issues. The Fredericksburg Freelance Thank Star you. newspaper reports Morrill's mental health became an issue that his defense used to seek leniency from the judge. I've had a few that claimed abuse, but never by uh, a, a mythical creature. This is Stafford County undercover <laughs> detective Daryl Wells, who built the case against Morrill. He is a sexual predator that, char that targets children. But there was no leniency from the judge. He declared Morrill competent to stand trial, then sentenced him to 20 years. Who's your Bigfoot? <laughs> <laughs> I was touched by the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Why would you say it was Bigfoot. Well, because everybody that does that does look at the person's feet to see if it's going to be worthwhile. You know? Yeah. <laughs> or the hands. That's why no one ever oh. approaches me. Oh, big feet, big hands, big... Yeah. Oh, okay. So Quite yeah. a leap. Then you assume if Bigfoot molested you, you really got molested. <laughs> yeah, well... That's the stuff. Ah, story kind of just stands on its own, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really not. What do you want there. from us? Fifteen minutes on this? <laughs> yeah, come the on. story itself is good enough. I was molested by Bigfoot. Right, exactly. And, yeah, and scene, the scene, and cut. Oh, what's the matter, Voss? Voss had a point to make. I had Voss. Yeah, nothing. The finger went up. I forget it. Yeah. yeah. How could he tell? Couldn't see. <laughs> <laughs> So you're raising a fist. How can Those you tell there's little, a finger in there somewhere? Little fingers. <laughs> wow, they are tiny, man. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Hand. I know. You look like a guy who cut half his fingers off on a chainsaw. You know the stubs are left. 
<laughs> you got stubs with nails on. I got small. I got small hands. Not too, smaller though. than this. I play. I play baseball with golf balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small. Hand. It's like a Bobby doll. <laughs> yeah, you really do have tiny hands. Have like a hamburger helper hand. <laughs> Just a little Pillsbury. Pillsbury. Yeah, whatever. Right. You can sh- shake hands comfortably with a squirrel. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Ow! It's getting light. Ow! Yeah. Hey, we started a bit yesterday with uh, Nick DiPaolo, and I think I think we could continue today. It's a slow news day, obviously, if we're talking about you know claims of Bigfoot molesting people. Uh, we got more slow news stories. <laughs> people are dying in Iraq. We're talking about Bigfoot. Oh, I know. I'm paying attention. Over four thousand, my friend. I know. Wow, that's not bad. Uh, here's more slow news. Five years. Seymour, a rare white camel is much better after being treated at the UW Vet Hospital. His owners took him there because he was very weak. He was given llama plasma and looked after. After a few days, he got stronger and was able to be fed with a bottle. Seymour's owners were happy to bring him home on Wednesday morning. They named him Seymour because, as they put it, he'll see more. Than an average camel. Oh man, oh. you get ovary cancer. Oh, <laughs> Seymour. Just for a pun, huh, Nick? Unbelievable. <laughs> cancer, cancer for a pun. That's not going to kill her, Mike. They can take it out again. <laughs> just got benign. another hump. Just get her into radiation immediately. No, he's all. <laughs> but Bigley is part of that new generation. Oh, he's made too a hum- mean and angry. She made a homonym joke, so Nick is furious. I'm going to get a bumper sticker. <laughs> Save the camel. Who cares? Nick is all about the benign cancer. Yeah, I don't wish real cancer on anyone. <laughs> benign cancer. I just like Wait to scare them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just so they have to wonder for about two months, you know? <laughs> Look, I wished on uh, Shemal. Look, he's fine. Oh, I had a, got, I had a, got a book deal out of I had, I had, I had cancer. I don't know. It's, I was telling a story, but yeah. I, I told, I, I had cancer when I was 19, but for like a week. They found a tumor. <laughs> So I swear to God, I'm not. I'm not making this up. I took. I took it out. It, it went away. I go in every six months for a cystoscopy. You know, yeah, they well. they literally stick like a rod with a camera through your head. Uh, mm-hmm. You sure uh, they didn't take uh, your funny bone out? No, no, nothing that, on wow. that one. That was kind of good. Wow. <laughs> Sharing with funny us. Bo- had cancer funny at bone. Please didn't have cancer. I didn't think he was going show. for a joke. What kind yeah. of cancer? Really, just for a week? It was a bladder. Well, it was this weird situation where I was driving home for Christmas break from uh, that seven-day cancer plan. It, that's what it was, short term. And uh, I was driving home from Christmas break. I stop at a rest stop from D.C. to Boston. I'm peeing. There's blood in my pee. Ugh. Yeah, oh, my uh, yeah, I know. Sake. How do you think you I saw felt? the bumpy road? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. It was a little droplets, like poof, you know. And I and I knew it could mean like five things, and three of them mean I die, and the other two aren't like a trip to the Bahamas either, you know. And so I drove faster. I got home at like two thirty in the morning. I woke up my dad. He's a doctor. He's looked very grave because you know he knows about the Bahamas. And so he <laughs> took me to see a urologist. And like I didn't know what urologists do at the time. I was, I was naive. Oh yeah, yeah. So he, I walk in. He's like, put your hands on the table. And I was like, all right, I can put my hands on the table. And then he stuck his finger in the, in the hand. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't know it was going to happen, so I shouted. I go, oh, my God! And he got mad at me. He was like, cut the theatrics. Rookie. Rookie, that's why. <laughs> cut the theatrics. Was, was felt, it Bob Fosse? <laughs> <laughs> I was, but I felt off. I was like, sorry about the theatrics. Like, as though I'd intended it. But like, this will be my big moment. When he sticks his finger up my ass, I'll prove I should be the star of our town. <laughs> what kind of cancer was it? It though? was um, what well, was a malignant tumor uh, oh, in my bladder that nervous. it didn't spread. All right, I, I'm not going to wish yeah. cancer again on anybody. Right. Oh, it gets me so nervous hearing yeah. these stories, man. Yeah, he's crazy. Boss has uh, cancer right now. He just doesn't know it yet. Yeah, yeah. I love cancer. Uh, more, <laughs> more. It's just my act. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> That cyst is just filled with Brian Piccolo's sweat. (laughs) (laughs) We're all going to go visit you in a few months. You're going to be all pale. I I feel a little punk. I feel good. Today, today's a good day. It's a good day. I have my good days and my bad days. Today's one of those good days. Hold on, I just lost a tooth. Remember, James Conn goes, I'm feeling a little punk. 
All right, another slow news um, day story right here. This one's terrific, though. Police say vandals use signs and businesses as their canvas for destruction. Ron Jones is in Stockton with who police are searching for tonight. Tonight. You know, we have noticed a greater police presence here on Pacific Avenue along with private security. But the one tool that may bring these vandals to justice is the city's surveillance cameras. Caught on tape, several young men in the middle of the night casing businesses with one thing in mind. What color? Vandalism. Several businesses on Pacific Avenue were hit hard with buckets of paint thrown on signs and windows. Oh, white. As you can see, after two men case the area, several others join in with spray paint. Most of the graffiti has been cleaned off, but some merchants still see remnants. Stockton police are hoping this video would lead them to the vandals so they can build a case. Yeah, that one isn't as good, but basically it's uh, the news reporting that graffiti happens. Yeah. <laughs> that graffiti happens. Don't worry, we'll bring, we'll come back strong here, Mike. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. We've been doing this a long time. We we always end with a laugh. Here it is. Have you noticed? Blue bonnets are beginning to blossom along the highways, but they may not be quite as spectacular as in years past. Experts say relatively dry weather over the past few months will make for just an average blue bonnet season at best. A little more rain in the weeks ahead could help strengthen the showing. We'll just have to wait and see on that. Peak blue bonnet season is hard to pinpoint, but it typically, typically comes during the first couple of weeks of April. <laughs> what? What is he talking about? What is that about? They did a story on blue bonnets. Is that a flower? What's he talking about? Is it a flower? I'm staring at, I'm listening to that story get mad, and I'm looking at Brian Poussain's ugly face and get even more angry. Glad I spent the grand on my headshots. I know. Jesus. Those, uh, is those little blue flowers, like little blue purple flowers that you see on the side of the highway? You know, it was butter. Driving into upstate. <laughs> <I thought it's laughs> butter. Butter season. Butter cups. I have this thing where I listen to a clip like that, and after like five <laughs> seconds, I'm gone. You zone out, right? It's, it's white noise, right? Yeah, it's completely gone. Because you got cancer. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I got ADD, which you, I think, have, probably, right? A little. A little? A little. A little? A <laughs> little? <laughs> I, I had a hard time. I was just thinking about this recently. I, I had a hard time reading when I was a kid. Yeah. And I, like, I, I think it was because hmm. like, when I, I would read these books, you know, it'd be like, there were four rabbits, Mopsy, Flopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. And I would think, like... If you're going to name your rabbit Mopsy, you really shouldn't name the second one Flopsy. It's like kind of obnoxious. And, like, Peter's, like, the only one who made it out okay in the naming process. He's, like, an investment banker now. He's doing real well. He's like, I do not know those other rabbits. And while I was thinking about all that, the other kids read the book. Three different hours, three nights in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Caroline's coming Thursday? Up. We're up Thursday? to Friday. Oh, is it Friday? <laughs> Speaking of I, that, that's a, that, that is a joke. Look it at is, Rich look, checking his calendar. Yes, yeah, looking at my rabbit fur. He that just is, did a rabbit bit. That, that is a joke, but I'd venture to say that's funnier than you gave it credit for. I don't know about that. No? You're not into it? No, no a lot of people are into Peter Cottontail humor. Uh, in Easter. <laughs> Peter, uh, Cotton, uh, Peter Cottontail humor. Right, so <laughs> you're telling jokes about it. I'm wearing it. Ooh. Rabbit yeah, you're wearing it, all right. You. Remember no. when I said we were going to end with a laugh? Yeah. Yeah. Well. You weren't talking about this hour. Right? <laughs> well. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well that was Cinema great. Arlington Cinema Draft House. That's huh? it. With April 18th and 19th. Arlington Cinema Draft House. Oh, you? Yeah, that's right. Or your I'm wife. On. Oh, both of you. Both of us. Yeah, Arlington Cinema Draft House. April 18th and 19th. And you're also going to be at uh, Bananas. That's this weekend. We already gave them enough clubs. You really don't want to promote them, do you? I did enough for them. You don't I did like radio them, do yesterday you? morning a call. You, you don't really them. like them, right? No, I do like him, but Arlington Cinema Draft House, April eighteenth and nineteenth, is you know. All right, it's a big, it's a big night. Mike Berbiglia? yeah, the big plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are, are you all right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm good. Car uh, Caroline's this weekend. Are you getting sad? You all right? No, I'm yeah. totally good. All I right. just flew here. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. You had a, you had a fire. You got cancer. Get my break. <laughs> <laughs> he sleepwalked. Oh, <laughs> no, we got blood, sleepwalks. Though. Blood in his stool when he stood off a plane. They, he 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 teased that for never. For never, yeah. Next time, next time we'll we'll rest that one. It's a it's a great story. It's not going anywhere. But uh, Caroline's tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Three different shows with Mike Birbiglia. Sunday, That's very cool. Sunday night, free DVDs to the first hundred people. Oh, that's Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday night. Nick, it's to you, my friend. The big plug. 
NickTip.com, and uh, I'll be carrying Lisa Lampanelli's luggage at LaGuardia tomorrow afternoon as she flies off to a theater in Tampa. <laughs> wow, you're really going Universal to Universal Amphitheater with Artie Lang next uh, April 5th in L.A. And I'm somewhere before that. I can't remember. It's not important at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, what, am I going to get an extra three hits on my website? Who gives a crap? I love you guys. You just don't know how to promote. I just, it just amazes me. No. Patrice finally decided to get a website like two months ago. I'm like, what? Get a website. Patrice's Leather Jackets had a website like five years ago. <laughs> show you a good market. I'll show you a crappy comic. <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here. We're off to the other place. Uh, that's called XM Satellite Radio. Thanks to everybody for uh, stopping by today. And you guys have a good weekend. Bye. Here we are at XM Satellite Radio. Don't let the coats fool uh, you guys. We really do want to be here. I was going to say. <laughs> I know. We, we, all, we have our coats on like we're ready to run out the goddamn <laughs> door. Don't let, don't let the coats fool you. Is that a coincidence? You have like 19 comedians in here yeah. and you guys have your coats on. <laughs> yeah, maybe one day we could do that. Just have a bunch of comedians and we'll slip out and right. see how long before anyone even realizes if they do. <laughs> be home. Though, if it was my show, yeah, like, screw it. Let, you guys have been doing it long enough. Let yeah, these assholes have me. Let's, uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, do it. I gotta go. I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think franchise. That's <laughs> franchise. I'm starting to think franchise. Yeah, the Dunkin' Donuts of comedy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's the Opie and Anthony show, but they're not there anymore. That's right. And we get a little paycheck as we're on a beach somewhere. Yeah. I'm get talking an, franchise, my friend. I just opened an O and A branch. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Really taking off. Yeah. Uh, Good thinking, fellas. <laughs> Who made the walk? We had, well, everybody did today. Nick DiPaolo, Rich Voss, Absolutely. Mike Birbiglia, all in studio. I'll take my coat off. All right, what the fuck? What were we talking about before uh, we got here? Because there was some good stuff going on. Uh, Mike, you were yeah. What was that story? His, uh, s uh, thing you about were sleepwalking. Oh, sleepwalking thing. Well, he did that over here last time. Well, so. you know, you know what I was actually thinking that on that audio intro, the ghost screw moment. Yeah. Ghost yeah. screw. Yeah. That reminds me, what's that movie about uh, when stand-up stood out? There's this great movie oh, yeah. about stand-up in, in the Boston comedy scene in yeah. the 80s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's, this, about that. there's yeah. this great moment where I, I think it's probably Lenny Clark or something just says to the audience, Fuck you, fuck your family. <laughs> <laughs> it was just good. Oh, fucking only in Boston is that a punchline. <laughs> right. That kills. That's true. <laughs> well man. done. Did you do comedy in Boston? Uh, not really. No. Yeah, wait a minute. You said you're from Worcester. Yeah, I grew up in Shrewsbury. So uh -huh. that line wouldn't work in Shrewsbury? <laughs> fuck you, fuck, that fuck you. In Shrewsbury, yeah, yeah. in Shrewsbury, it's like we're going to the city tonight, and they mean Worcester. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. like going to fucking That's Worcester. It. They go the other no direction. No shit. I had a, I actually had a fun. crazy Boston thing because I, you know, I grew up a Sox fan, and then a few years ago, they asked me to do perform. It's one of these things as a comedian. You know how you guys end up, you guys know this, you end up getting asked to do shit that you're like, yeah. you, what are you, why are you asking me to do this? They asked me to perform the MVP awards for Major League Baseball, yeah. and I'm like, oh, maybe they'd heard about my, my work as backup right fielder for Economy Paint <laughs> Supply when I was 11, but, uh, or maybe they couldn't get Regan. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what it is, you know. And so, uh, I show up, and they and I'm assuming I'm going to be a sideshow, pre-show. They have me seated on the stage in between Dennis Eckersley, Roger oh. Clemens, Alex Rodriguez, Dontrell Willis, and Josh Beckett. We have a lot to talk Great about. Great comics, by the way. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just <laughs> no, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, we're just hashing out our multi-million dollar contracts and paternity <laughs> suits. Just gab, gab, gab. <laughs> no, it was awful because you know I knew I shouldn't be there and they knew I shouldn't be there. <laughs> And uh, and the, the guy in charge came up to me and he goes, "We'd like you to tell a few jokes about baseball." I go, "I don't know if that's such a good idea because those people are here." <laughs> and uh, but I try, you know, I try my best. I, I got up, I said, "You know, it's I, it's exciting because I grew up in Boston. I remember going to a baseball card show and paying eight dollars for Roger Clemens' autograph, and I'm sitting next to him now, and he tried to charge me thirteen. I don't know, I was all right. Clemens didn't laugh at all. Wow, you know, wow. it's just. Just, uh, just like we cold. did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was not. It was not. It was not. Now you have four. It was. It was not, oh, not unlike. It was not unlike the reaction just now. But, but then I said about. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, boss! <laughs> <It's>, 
<laughs> He's brutal. He's just Austin's crazy. having fun today. Man. I like Mike though. We had to, <laughs> yeah, I can see you love him. Yeah, I'm beating I'm, the shit out of him. No, 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 I'm like, like stabbing a baby in the eye. I, know, but I, I really, I have affection for this kid. <laughs> yeah, because I was the hundredth and one person that came to a show and I couldn't get the DVD. I, strike three. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Right. Okay. Wow, I got greasy. You, you get caught <laughs> looking. But it's, it's, listen to the story. So I go. Uh, <laughs> So I, it's baseball writers who put on the event. I go, what's interesting about sports writers is they don't know how to play sports, and most of them don't know how to write. You know, it's people who don't laugh at that either. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I, and so I, I sit down. I'm like, ah, oh, it's fine, whatever. I realize I have to pee, but I can't just get up because I'm on the stage. There's a thousand people. It's like at that Hyatt over a few blocks from me here, and. So I I choose like the most boring part of the night, the lifetime achievement award for baseball writers. You were talking again? And I no. <laughs> oh fuck! What? I didn't even, I didn't even follow the logic. So choose the most boring part of the evening. He goes, "What? You were going to talk again?" Uh, See, that's that good. Very that's hysterical. good. That's got to give Rich's props that's, that's, when he that's hits the one. That's the, that's the largest leap that Rich's head has ever made. Keep going with this. Uh, some roast. Yeah, back up and back so, up and uh, what happened? So, so, you had so to then pee. I so I go to pee. <laughs> Why were you peeing again? Clemens you, offered you fourteen well, bucks. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to the story. Basically, I, I the reason I had to pee so badly is because I drank a lot. Yeah. Because I was like with I'm standing I'm sitting next to Roger Clemens. Now, do you have cancer this week? No. No blood. Were you peeing? Or just sleepwalking. Uh, yeah, what color was the thing? <laughs> so I, I sneak off to the bathroom. I come back. I'm, re, I'm coming back to the room. The recipient of the award ends his speech by saying, you know, some writers may not know how to write, but some comedians don't know how to tell jokes. Oh, yeah. That was a closer. You're kidding. And I'm not even on the stage. I'm just, everyone in the room looks up at my empty chair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like you were removed or yeah, something. Yeah. And so then I, I didn't know what to do. I'm off to the side. So in a split second decision, I decided to jog on stage and kind of wave like, hey, I'm a good sport. You know, it was awful. <laughs> and, and I even walked by the guys. He went to sit down. I went to shake his hand. And, oh. and he didn't. He just walked right by me. Oh, why would you? Oh, it was wow, awful. why would you even like do that? It, cause like it, to go to shake his hand. Because it was just, just one of those moments. Wow. I was like, I don't know what to do. Either hit him or shake his hand. Yeah. Or punch him. And, no, but you know, just I was, you know, because I was trying to think, you know, hey, you could, you know, trying to make jokes. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm a comedian. Yeah. I walk by him. He just walks right by me, and he was I look serious. over at Eckersley, and I go, Dennis, did you see that guy <laughs> on first name basis? Being Dennis Astor, <laughs> I have a cell phone. Uh, and uh, I go, Eckersley, did you see that guy? And he tried to snub me, and Eckersley goes. Uh, Ah, fuck him. And I was like, all right, chalk up another save for the app. Well, so here's where it gets bad. The event ends. When is this story going to end? Hey, people are laughing at this I know. story. I don't know what you're talking about. Mike. We're all jealous so, of you. Uh, <laughs> so, I like stories in real time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 It's like a guy with cancer in his history and I pick up the pace. <laughs> so, uh... Go ahead, Jack. Just snuck off the stage like they were going to miss you. Then Earl Weaver said what? Yeah. If, this, uh, if this were Voss's show, he'd be just glad that he bought ten minutes with the audience. He doesn't have to do it. Go the back here. Don't, 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 don't try to ad-lib through the story. Just go right through it. So, okay. so, right, so I'm taking Eckersley's side. <laughs> so I'm with uh, my brother Joe who came to the event with me, and he, and I go, Joe, did you see that guy try, snub me when I tried to shake his hand? I'm not making this up. Joe goes, Mike... Didn't you see his speech? He's blind. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Not only had I insulted the blind guy, I taunted him by trying to shake his hand. But the real evil one is Eckersley, because he knew he was yeah. blind. He still said fuck him. 
That's what makes him a closer. <laughs> so is that better than this bullshit you were talking about earlier? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. That was a good story. Yeah, good story. Yeah, I don't want him defending you. Good stuff. I don't like this part of the story. Yeah, it's just not entertaining I, enough. I don't like shut this up. six I, seconds I, of the story. I snuck off. <laughs> I I a, don't try to defend you. I have your attention in the span of a ferret, but it's all right because my wife is hotter than anyone that you can ever imagine. I snuck off the stage like they were going to miss you. Oh, where did that big headliner go? Shut up. All right, and take it. Okay, you did a dumb roast. You didn't get paid for. Okay, they couldn't get Sweeney, so they called you. Uh-oh. Right? <laughs> Look at wow. What's going? Uh, Excuse me. Look at I, these I just, three I, cunts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at them talking about egg salad recipes and fucking just useless. Show. If they're twat to a pelts, it'd be a dime a dozen. <laughs> like, uh, fucking, well, let's see what they're talking about today. Yeah, it's oh, the, yeah. yeah, pot them up. Let's see. I know, I just got this image. That's right, talk over really each other, you anyway. slits. Anyway, yeah. I'm sure he's happy you should. Yeah. Anyway, what's your weekend as right. that looking like? We're going to have the biggest common mistakes women make when it comes to spring and summer outfits. What's and that? Douching? Yeah. And so, jeans? Yeah, we got white, the white, white when you're bleeding? <laughs> Plus the right and wrong ways to battle those dreaded springtime allergies. They're really prevalent yeah. right now. Yeah, they are. They're really prevalent, prevalent here. Right right now. A nice load your ass and take your watery eyes. No, I have allergies. I do have allergies, but I want to be warm. I want to be warm. our radio show, this is... He was public enemy number one, but did Al Capone have a softer side? The last yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. He, he died of the clap, Uncle you dumb twat. Yeah. 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 He's, yeah. he's yeah. fucking yeah. everything yeah. that moves. Yes, yes, yes. Me guys in a warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. Valentine's Day. Yeah. 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 Anyway, me. You're gonna emasculate fucking Capone now. Can't leave a dead fucking angry giddy alone. His soft side. I mowed down a fucking garage full of guys. Yeah, let's the dog. Let's take them up and ask them. A lot of Fuck. years in their lives, so they finally can feel comfortable yeah. about their bodies and not worry about focusing on work, losing weight, but really happy, how to be happy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to find uh, out. Listen what to doing. this psycho uh, babble. Everybody hates it, and sometimes shit. it's hard to make it stop. It's when your kids are whining. Oh, we, we whine. and the toddlers <laughs> do it, the tweens do it, the teens oh do it. it you're doing kids it. Kids don't have them. <laughs> them. <laughs> don't fucking have them. What do you think yeah, they're going to do? They're babies. Turn down that volume. We are going to have some whining, huh? hints for harried parents. Give you examples how you can fix it. Okay. Also, we've got somebody here who. I'm going to show you how to declit some of the clamming knife. And in, a few minutes, in a few minutes, they're going to turn up the volume and, on our uh, show. So, <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> <laughs> translation, I think. But anyway, so sometimes, you know, um, we don't always get what they're saying. They don't always get what we're saying, right. so we need some... What are you talking about, anyway. black people? <laughs> First, let's get a check of the weather from Bill Kerr, who's filling in for Al all this week. Uh, Very well, man. Go to the I emasculated weather, man. Oh, yeah, there you go. The seating hairline, <laughs> small dick. <laughs> they make us right. sit in the cold. Right. Exactly. Going, right. Let's standing in the cold while they're just oh. yapping, yapping, yapping inside. Let's talk to the... Uh, really ugly little face. girl. Yeah. <laughs> I think the old diamond wrote a song about her. <laughs> Anthony beat me to it. I was trying to think of something vile to say. God. He just laid it out there beautifully. Jeez. Ugly little girl. Ugly little girl he went to. Let's pick out the little he-she in the hood. It's so hard to is. find an ugly little girl, too, <laughs> that age, you know? He's just like, usually there's something cute about him, but that, he picked the ugliest little fucking kid. Let's, <laughs> Let's see what the weather's like in this troll's neck of the woods. <laughs> Let's go to Chris, the trucker. Chris, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? Hey, you got a laugh for us or what? No, not really. I just want to see if we can get the word out about the uh, trucker strike that's going to happen April 1st through the 4th. Strike. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to shut. A lot of drivers are going to shut down about the fuel, about the rates, about everything that's going on in the trucking industry. And fuel? Just what the fuck do you want? How am I, I, I going to get my DVDs to the funny bone in Denver? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what's it supposed to do about the fuel? Well, you know, fuel prices are real high, and, you know, it affects everything from, you know, the grocery stores, the clothes, everything. And, you know, we're the ones that have to deliver it to everybody, and nobody, everybody takes that for granted. So No, we really don't. We kind of so know that trucks bring us shit. Yeah. If I'm driving down the highway, does that mean I'm crossing a picket line or something? Mm -hmm. What are they no, going to do this? Just, it's just, you know, a lot of people take us for granted. The government, you know, we're the ones that bring the stuff to y'all. To the general everybody, and just the fuel prices no. are killing the the independent operator and the company. So that's why everything is going up from milk, you know, to everything. Look, so we'll get you some more speed. It's on the way. <laughs> what I'm saying is just make your deliveries downhill. 
<laughs> Coast, brother. <laughs> Put it in neutral. Really? All right, we Put got your to... factory in a hill in Vermont. <laughs> you know, right, how about this? Go back to fucking college. <laughs> oh, okay, come come on. on. Oh, shut up. Fuck him. Right. All right. Fuck right. him. Right. You know what these okay. truckers make no. an hour, for Christ's right. sake? This guy's right. in fifth grade education. He's making more than all of us. Jesus, so give a Christ. fuck. Right, Delivering Chris. the suspenders they're wearing. Pass it on to the potato <laughs> factory. You know, fuck. Right. You fuck I got it. my own problems. Right. Right. Fuck you. Oh, really? Fuck your family. Right. Right. Oh, shit. I'm enjoying <laughs> confident boss, though. It's, it's, uh, this, is, this is different for you. Oh, yeah. no, He'll ruin it. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, let's say uh, hi to this guy. I don't know his name. Uh, sir, what do you have for the show? This is the trucker's mother. She's crying. Yeah. That was mean. Hello. Hey, guys, yeah. yeah, what's hey, up, buddy? What's happening, man? You guys kick your ass. Hey, but the dollar, you fucking make me laugh, man. You're awesome. Thank you. You need to talk to these guys into uh, letting you uh, do that hour uh, between uh, you guys and Ron and Fez again. I, I don't... But, uh, <laughs> Hey, my manager you know, he's pretending he's a caller. Mike Bahuski in there. Uh, last comedian they give this much of a hard time to is Richard Jennings, and y'all know where fucking he is. Oh, <laughs> wow, yeah. Splatterpuss man. <laughs> hey, he didn't Jesus jump. He, he hung like himself, Jenny. didn't he? No, he did. He blew his brains out. Shut up. Oh. Oh. Wow, oh, that's what What's the matter with these people? Oh, Why? Come on, Rich. He was a good oh, friend yeah. of mine. Oh, yeah. shut up. You're talking about my <laughs> sis like it's Brian Piccolo Sweat. <laughs> Right. He had everything I, uh, going for him. Did you give him a hard time when he was in well, here? Well, oh, I like to hit his story. Has, it, has <laughs> enough time gone by? Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Out, break out the Richard Jenny uh, disc. We were going to play it the uh, day after he died. We were so excited. We got something to play. Uh, and then we little... decided maybe we should let some time go All right, by. Yeah, let's Do you know what Bonnie said when he... Uh, I actually like Richard. It, there was a picture Not of Chris Rock, yeah. Jenny, and me. From the, when we did the Oscars. It was just us three. Yeah. And what? Bonnie goes, out of these three people... Which one would you thought would have killed himself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, you guys are the worst. <laughs> Don't say guys. That was Voss. Oh, yeah. well, well, that that was iconic. Bonnie's wife. That, I mean, Richard's wife. That yeah. We got Well, Richard Jenny tried to do our show, and we made him wait outside, and then... He yeah, was all then he had to pissed. Then he had to audition to like come in studio because he was phone, getting pissed off. Even though we could see him through the glass, so we made him do a prison <laughs> prison visit. We made him talk onto a, a cell phone through the glass door. It's legendary stuff. We cut Jesus. it up recently. He was so pissed. We'll find it. Uh, e Rock's not here, unfortunately, because he needed three days well, off from WrestleMania after we took a week and a half off. I, I, you know, this That's is the only radio show that important. has the staff behind the scenes takes more time off than we do. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> it's not like we've had everybody that's going to be in WrestleMania on. Yeah, right. You know, exactly. Might well, as well send the crew out. You got it. Hey, all right, This then. is brutal. What is it? It's oh, the Richard Jenny uh, stuff. Go we'll listen to a little of it. Well, I'm going to be a puss and step up. Well, you can say all the mean shit in a second. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what, what kind of fucking... No. What hey, the he's fuck? A, he was a, he's, he was probably in the top... Five best comics in the eighties, probably right. without well, any question. Act. All right, yeah. But he, still, uh, he was we, a dick. Fuck him. Right. Wow. Right. I think what I, but he was, huh? I think what I need like, to he was say. He's a bit of a diva, but you know, I think I, what he, I, just, he was hey, great. I think yeah. what I need to say is that we did uh, bury the old hatchet by the end of. Uh, yeah, right in his head. <laughs> Whoa. 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 I know, I'm trying to well, find the friend oh. representative in the room, and he's. Still yeah. a hard time. I know it's just the Mary very well. Mm -hmm. No, I, yeah, I know she used to work at Cat. Yeah, great, I know. great. Please, we had a, I, when we were a lot of people saying Oscars. a lot of people are saying we ran this last week, but did we? Well, they did worse stuff stuff. But well, we, just run a little of it and we'll comment. Yeah, and this will be, be completely different. different uh, wrapped really, up in a different package. It's our show, and we don't remember this. <laughs> Voss will insult a dead man. It'll be great. Oh, I'm the only one who's ever done that. You fucking no. trashed an old lady that was getting beat up in a fucking hallway. <laughs> by, by she wasn't getting out of the way of the black gentleman, so he had to punch her in the side of the fucking head, <laughs> knock her in a walker over. Stayed 15 minutes. 15. It was like a half hour of laughing hysterically at oh. some savage punching an old lady in the side of the head. Oh. <laughs> she reaches over to grab her pocketbook, and he clocks her one, and her hair goes flying. The walker falls over, and you just see the little walker wheel going. <laughs> Very recently, yeah, it was a few I months back. It. Yeah, it's on the news. Yes, guy just walks in, straight right. She's in. coming out of the elevator, and he pops her a couple of times in the face. What Gives her a few jabs. What color was that, gentleman? 
Oh, he was, uh, uh, I believe, an African American gentleman, and uh, the woman was an old like white woman. Yeah, it's a wonderful story. I would have wanted uh, Polish. Yeah. Then. Yeah, you never know. Well, here we go. You just don't know. We'll play some of the Richard Jenny stuff. You know, every time. This what? is. Uh, is this him getting angry with you guys? Well, it's That's it's. Involved. I want to hear. It's involved because then he he put out a nine uh, nine eleven like CD. Oh, he oh, played. All uh, right, well, we'll start with this. This is Richard Jenny coming to our show. He's hello. Who's this? Richard Jenny. Who's this? Richard Jenny. Hey, uh, yeah. Richard. It's Opie and Anthony. How are you? Opie and Anthony. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. I'm just peachy, thanks. Uh, when are you coming in? I was thinking about coming in uh, today. Today? Yeah, I'm. I'm really close by. Where are you? I'm actually staying in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> we made him call from the lobby. <laughs> Richard Jenny. I mean, this isn't like, uh. I know, it's not like Voss. <laughs> this isn't, it's, not, it's not like this was Voss. Thank you. It's not like it's an open mic or something. The top five comics of the 80s. This is probably. one of them. Top three. One a, man. They get that mean streak. Yeah, well. <laughs> You're outside the studio? Yeah, I've been, I've been staying in the lobby. I didn't want to miss you guys. <laughs> and you want to come in and do the show? Yeah. You want to do a prison visit? Do I want to do a what? A prison visit. No, why would I want to do a prison visit? Well, that's where you, you're on the phone like you are now, and then you step up to the glass on the door to the studio. Right. And uh, you talk that way. No, I'm not doing that. Come up to the glass. It'll be fun. It's like Oz. Why can't I just come in? I can't just come in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> are you worried about germs or something? <laughs> oh, we're going to have Ron Jeremy in. How that was really you... funny, that thing yesterday. It was really funny. What thing? The thing where you kept hanging up on me. Oh, yeah. It would be funny if we hung up on you right now. <laughs> no, I think it gets old. It gets old after a while. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> this, is a, this is our new game. You're 15 feet away, and we're making you call us on the telephone. <laughs> At first, I was pissed off, and then I just started cracking up. It was so juvenile. Was were you really me. mad? First, at first I was, what the hell was that? How could they do it? And then I just go, that is just so asinine, I have to laugh at but, it. But if you're going to get mad at something like that, maybe you shouldn't be on our show, because we're, we're juvenile. Well, it's up to you. I'm just hoping you put me on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on now. Are you serious? What? The gunshot sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I didn't. <laughs> like a Mother Teresa or anything. That was from outside, no, no, no. right? No, no, yeah, yeah. Why do you have to make the slippery slope argument that Mother Teresa wouldn't put the gunshot <laughs> after the Richard Jenny clip? She Mother would. Teresa would have, there would be a lot of degrees between <laughs> no putting the gunshot of... sound effect after that. She was kind of a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? But you. Uh, if you go on the road, like, you would. If, Oh. If you went on the road and was were doing a club and two and two radio hosts did that, you would never no. put up with it. Like no. you would ne nowhere. Why do people put it up with you two fucking jackasses? I don't know. <laughs> no. if You're I right. went, this is if just. I was a... in Buffalo and Shred and Reagan said, "Stand outside the window." Oh, really? Go fuck yourselves. Okay, yeah. one market douchebags. Well, God damn, I'm just using them. Well, that's because there's going to nobody be at your show anyways. What are you going on? Point. Right. By this point, oh. we were syndicated to at least 20 stations, so yeah. we, we had a little juice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, get, that's just the beginning. And now we play good to... cop, bad cop well. We've always done that where we kind of, uh, I'll kind of keep whoever it is on board a little bit, and I hope he'll just hammer away at them. And... Yeah, you're holding, he's, you're holding them down. He's yeah, I hold them down. <laughs> we're schoolyard bullies. Yeah. <laughs> We've had people leave the studio in the middle of stuff like this. They get so embarrassed and uncomfortable that they, they just walk off the show. <laughs> They're called are, are you be funny, Richard? <laughs> Especially when you do the gunshot thing that anticipates his future. <laughs> they always walk out during that. <laughs> oh, it's not like the first guy that offed himself. If I we did a Freddie Prinze uh, no, thing and then I played now. the gunshot. Yeah, you're doing yeah. that right now, right? Oh yeah, it would have been that ironic. That was the cause... joke, you fucking moron. <laughs> Was, you didn't get that I was I've kidding. I've been up since five, motherfucker. <laughs> I was defending you. Fuck you. you. Fuck your family. Fuck it. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I don't believe this. I fucking don't even like you, and I was defending you. You fucking cocksucker with your fucking comedy devices. You fucking... 
Let's <laughs> fucking hit the clubs of rock, Papiglia. <laughs> you <laughs> turned on me, who you invited me to your house. You turned on me to jump on his side. I defended oh this prick when he came in. I know. This fucking watered down Eddie F. You fucking go out to LA and do your faggy pilot, you fucking lack of charisma fucking whore. Right. Hold Sell on your DVDs Hold and your he's, he's got the guitar. <laughs> yeah, pull on your guitar, you fucking hat. <laughs> Nick, Nick's like fucking Siegfried and Roy's tiger. I'm trying to be nice to this fucking guy. Oh, Jesus God, am I fucking happy Christ. You, you turned on him and not me, thank I God. Was, well, I thought if we double teamed yeah. it too much. <laughs> well, I wanted to. Enough. Hey, you guys think I got no allies. My publicist is in the other yeah, room right now. Fuck too. He's the eye bastard with black shoes. <laughs> 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 Didn't he kill Mitch Hedberg? <laughs> oh, come on now. Fuck you. You're making fun of Jenny, my friend. Fuck him. Heroin addict. Shit. Fucking. Fucking. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fucking get blood all over your hands. <laughs> You're gonna end up dead in a red roof in too. Fucking drug oh. on you with it with ninety nine DVDs laying next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy uh, shit! Where does the one go? Yeah. Uh, I was doing the math. I'll never be I'm nice like... to anybody again the rest of my fucking life. That's oh, what you killed yourself with listening to it. <laughs> <Should> we, uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking we should continue with the Richard J. Oh, I don't give a fuck uh, at this point. This could be a good day. Oh. Oh, uh, I thought he actually thought that the fucking gunshots were recorded. <laughs> he is that stupid. Sorry. Nick's, like, Nick's like that fucking bear that was sitting next to that woman in that crazy animal clip. He was just kind of sitting there and all of a sudden wants to just rip her fucking head off. <laughs> Holy That's shit. That's one of my favorite clips. Oh, I love that one. He's sitting next to the big fucking bear, dummy. I feel like I'm at the San Francisco Zoo right now. Oh. <laughs> He's Oh. the trout between her legs and I'm, I'm fucking <laughs> all right i feel like we should continue what do you think? yeah why not let's give it a whirl and uh, all right, so last we left you fuck? richard jenny was outside uh the studio talking to us and we were trying to decide if he was uh, worthy Jesus. of uh being in the studio with uh the great <laughs> yes oh, of course the great <laughs> So, assholes we are. Then I think I start by asking him if he's ready to be funny now. <laughs> uh, are, are you going to be funny, Richard? Yeah, I'll be funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sold. I'm sold. <laughs> Not to put the pressure on you or anything. I'll be funny. Like, uh, what? what's the first joke you're going to tell on the air? Stop it. <laughs> you're totally putting them on the spot here. <laughs> Any riffs on uh, things in the news? There's lots of riffs on whatever you want to talk about. Yeah. But I gotta be in the studio to do them. I'm not funny in the lobby. Yeah. So you got any knock knock jokes? <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at the juvenile stuff again. <laughs> you knock laugh? knock. <laughs> knock knock. Uh, who's, who's there? there? Um. Uh oh. Richard Jenny. <laughs> Oh. Richard Jenny, <laughs> that's a great comic. <laughs> Richard Jenny, you're hearing knock knock because I'm pistol whipping Opie and Anthony. Oh, <laughs> pistol whipping. Uh, get it, Richard Jenny Ho? Oh, oh, sorry, gun reference. All right, Richard, can you give us a few minutes to think about it? <laughs> you're a prick, Opie. Yeah, think it over. Why am I a prick? You were you were you a guys prick must back have then. Been raking in some dough with that. Oh attitude. my God! <laughs> well, we fucking just rolling pretty much yeah, Donner yeah. motherfucker. This guy like an open mica from fucking Wildwood. Oh, <laughs> fucking twelve, <laughs> fucking 12 HBO specials. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking making them do we... dog tricks in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! We really needed to be fired to get. Uh, yeah, we humbled. needed humbled. We, we needed, needed to, to be, be humbled. humbled yeah. badly. Nah, you took it like you're supposed to do. Ooh. Push it to the edge. Wow. All right, and then I think he finally made it in the studio. There he is. He looks like he's going to kill Richard us. Richard Jenny. <laughs> Come here. Sit down, man. Are you doing this or not? Uh-oh. Oh, really, oh, come on. He's really pissed, by the it's way. It's all fun. Richard Jenny, how are you? Aren't you a good Very sport, good. Richard? That's Opie over there. I'm Anthony. Uh-oh. He looks all uptight. What's sit the matter? Down. You'd spend too much time. You're wasting time, right? It's like a waste of time. See, now you got to be funny. No. <laughs> After we just pissed oh, you off. Opie's true. It's all pissed. <laughs> Here, get on the get on the mic. It's just let's see how much we can screw with Richard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're doing on this show. We're, we're idiots. Understand. You want a shot of Jaeger? Oh man, a lot of people are uncomfortable out there. I now. know. You know what I did recently? I went on. Uh, oh, oh, here comes a joke. Wait. Wait. Holy shit! <laughs> Roll that back. I would have waited for you in the parking lot with a fucking bat. I don't know if you guys realize this might be courtroom evidence. 
that. We really? could be implicated. Yeah. Really? Oh my God! <laughs> this would... Wow, I lost the I lost a little edge because I I can't even imagine I would do that. I got to get my edge back. No, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> really? Shit. Wait till you get those markets back. Before you start yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. Before the edge. <laughs> so, we're idiots. You want to shout a Jaeger? Oh man, a lot of people are uncomfortable out there. I now. know. You know what I did recently? I went on. Uh, oh, oh, here comes a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 be. That was a joke. Come on, Richard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Richard, let me let me explain baby. something. Oh, my God. Baby. He, we, he's gonna he's gonna conform to our show. We're Don't not, say. We're not gonna do the show. He wants to be more funny. funny. Don't <laughs> say two because Opie Press is. Press button, you big loser. Press button. Be more now. funny. Opie's the biggest Let's cut prick. Him off. Let's cut him off. He's starting to sound like he's going on us, and we can't take it. I was listening and. Opie Come is on. a prick. You don't have a sense guess. of humor? Is that real silence? It's oh, oh, okay. I, was, I thought that was like a little... Well... <laughs> and then I was playing the Be oh, More oh, Funny Here Homer comes clip. a joke. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That's God. brutal. Oh, that's geez. just not like, even right. I had, his fucking, I had his marriage. I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I mean, I don't even like him as a comic, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. but man, uh, gee, that's but As rough, a human man. being... Just His treating manager someone like called that. me the next day because they knew I did the show. Yeah. What the fuck's going on with Owen? What was that? The fuck, what yeah. am I, their fucking publicist? I Honestly. Fucking... Jesus. That guy should oh, haunt my... your fucking house. No, something went down, though, which pissed, really <laughs> did us off. I can't remember. Anymore. I know I'm what serious. went down. I'm serious. Stern, he was on Stern trashing us. Saying, yeah, but yeah, then I now he's other... doing our show. It's like, what? Oh, was that what oh, happened? Was he trashing you guys? I don't think he was trashing us, no, but I think how he was... And he was kind of joining in or something, chiming in, not directly, but saying, you know. No, no. What happened was you were just Fate. You were fucking with him that day. Then he went on Stern to promote his 911 CD. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Then he left. He actually did a few uh, minutes with us, and he, he he was fine. He was good. And then um, <laughs> then he then he kind of trashed it? us on uh, Howard. And then he actually, after that, uh, was brave enough to give us his 9-11 CD, which was literally came out months after 9-11, which we found a little weird. So then uh, we started playing clips of uh, his 9-11 CD. That's where we're up to. It sounded like you fucked his girlfriend. Or <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he trashed you guys on another hmm. radio show after what you fucking did to him. <laughs> the nerve on that guy. Here's uh, his 9-11 stuff. Well, let's try the next one. Maybe the next uh, one's a little better. So now we decide we're going to like just uh, go through his uh, CD. And and uh, we're gonna review a CD live on the show. Well, let's try the next one. Maybe the next uh, one's a little better. You know, last night I turned on the television and Miss Cleo was wearing a fireman's helmet. <laughs> she had a helmet, you know. She was all <laughs> into the firehouse, man. <laughs> 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 There's nothing more evil than the fake laugh. There's nothing more evil. Well, you should know. <laughs> I don't remember this being as brutal as it was. Well, I think it's more brutal knowing this, the guy's not around anymore. This is horrible. Because he really pisses off. So, all right, we're tracking through your CD now, and we're going to pick it apart, I remember. Now I know why I stayed away from you guys. So. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Miss Cleo. And then I think we try to explain the funny. We we called the bit, we'll explain the funny. Oh, the dog's <laughs> in the water. <laughs> so, Miss Cleo. Why would Miss Cleo, who is a Jamaican. Oh, because she was showing her uh, support for uh, the. Oh, oh I got I you. Guess. I got you. Because it seems like a lot of people are wearing, like, uh, NYPD hats. And, yeah. And fire hats. And, uh, yeah. So, so, you take it to the. Uh, the nth degree, and then right. like someone like Miss Cleo would have one on TV, and and that's right. why that's funny because uh, uh, yeah. when you exaggerate stuff, there, yeah, it, then it's it becomes really funny. funny, and to she's some the most ridiculous people. person you could come up with. I so that's pull it. back the curtain. Oh, I'm, Dale from I'm Jersey. pulling back the comedy curtain. Yes, yes. When you when you over exaggerate and say like someone has like a five foot mule, it's funny. Cause yeah, five feet would just be ridiculous. Ridiculous. The point where that would be funny, right? <laughs> I think the problem. Was, I think the problem with his comedy was. I, I mean, he was. I think he was really good in his heyday. And I think what happened is he figured out the equation. Yeah, kind of. Formula. 
and then he and then he plugged in numbers to the equation, and then it's not as funny. Anyway, right. you can't wait. First, you cannot review mm. Richard Jenny. He was fucking brilliant. The guy had like three uh, specials. He, he was fucking a great. How did comic. you like his nine eleven album? I didn't listen to. I don't. I don't. All I know is when I've seen him or I worked with him. I worked with him on the Oscars. He's fucking brilliant. Oh, he okay, he was a no. He was a great. Notice comic. I was there too, and I haven't brought it up once. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's okay. I got two credits. Can I at least every now? And then? <laughs> I'm sorry. He also earlier he phrased it when I was, was on the Oscars. I said, yeah. I said, what, I said oh, really? I thought he Oscars. hosted the fucking. Said, I'm sorry. Yeah, when I was. When I'm I was wrong, and you're right. Okay. You're absolutely right. I apologize. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. You know. But all I'm saying is just nothing you can say negative about his stand-up. He, he was, was a, a monster. He was great a great comic. But I sort of, I mean, I know what he's saying. There's a lot of comedy devices. You know what I mean? But he was a fucking monster. There's no he doubt was, about I, it. I've never I, seen him know. have a bad set. I never saw him. Well, but that, neither has Carrot Talk ever okay. the best. <laughs> I've never had you, seen you have a good set. I, I think not, you're a funny guy. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> funny. That's good. That's See, because this after, is the fucking that's brave. because after you introduced me. Three comedians me. couldn't be nice to each other for more than two <laughs> hours. <laughs> I'm not what? All right. Hold on. He's going to the bag. Uh... I know. I just thought he was a great comic. All right, I, just mean I agree with that statement. You want no, another? I also sort of see where he's. You want another clip, or is it getting too uncomfortable? Uh, well, maybe one more. <laughs> Jeff from Jersey, Richard Jenny should turn up that laugh track. I could barely hear it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why was track. it so well, low? Well, why don't we try the third track that he sent us, Anthony? All right, Richard Jenny. This was uh, recorded at the Improv in L.A. I'm glad you're here. You're in a good mood. See. People are nicer in L.A. lately, have you noticed? People They're a little foster. bit nicer, a little more sense of community. Today I was on the 405, I cut a guy off, Here and he comes. fired his gun, like, over my car. Yeah. See? That's... You know, he could have hit me, he was like, eh, no problem. <laughs> oh. What a guy. Oh, okay. okay. See, see, that's because, like, they, they shoot at each other, or they did ten years ago there on the highway. Well, no, they have a lot of drive-by oh, shooting. So. But the guy's being nice, and he shot over him. But it's ridiculous because why would he shoot anyway? If, if it's that OP or nice. anything. Was that Weird funny? Man. Why doesn't Jim Norton want to participate I know, I remember in this that. segment of our radio show? Because <laughs> comics can't bash other comics unless they know each other and are good friends. <laughs> oh, I Then see. they could really bash them. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> good point. <laughs> You yeah, guys was... can shit on each other like Max on Cleveland because you don't work with oh, each yeah. other. That's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, Ron and Fez. Best you shit on that stuff? No, we'd love Ron and Fez. Oh, yeah. That's a good point, though, about the L.A. shootings that you guys made. Because it's like, guys come to New York all the time, they're like, yeah, what's it like in Brooklyn? And you're like, really? Nobody really talks like that in Brooklyn <laughs> anymore. It's very oh, gentrified. It's all black. <laughs> we got a Voss clip here. Voss comments on Jenny. Were you oh, in really? studio that day? Yeah. Oh, You were. Let's hear what so. the great yeah, defender think... says. Oh, no, I see where... Let's go to Rich Voss. Rich Voss. Hey, are you sure this isn't Norris doing Jenny? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Norris? that could be it. Now, now, who That's appreciates so my CD now, huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your your CD's great compared to this crap. Oh, <laughs> gee, there's a compliment. Oh, your thank CD you. is very funny. What's that? I your like CD the Voss CD. Yeah, it is very good. Since he thanked all his friends on it. Uh, you know what? You the one that's in the store now? Hey, Norton, the one that's in the store at Border Books? Has your name on it? Okay. Oh, it's a new one. Yeah. Well, no, it's the same one, but they just did like a new copy for the. Uh, the new you know. cover. What'd you run through the store with little stick-ons? <laughs> no, <laughs> stupid! I had it reprinted. Nah, <laughs> whatever. That was Norris. That was a good reference back then. Oh Christ! Remember? All right, yeah. let's go to this track. Norris, right, here you go. Well, I say nuke him. Nuke him, damn it! Yeah. If they're stupid enough to blow up the World Trade Center, we're dumb enough to Who's nuke them. I hate this. Fry them Who's up, the put some frosting on them, sell them in the mall. Uh, Dirty air. <laughs> Take out the cine bond, put in the tally bond. That's my attitude. Oh, I can't. Okay. Yeah, that's what it's Yeah. Fascist. Damn it. And look, I don't mean to be xenophobic or jingoistic, and I'm sure I'll feel those way even after I find out what those words mean. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why that was funny. Here's the thing, too. Do you win? Huh? See how he's It's just 15 more seconds. Uh, I don't know why that one's funny. Do you win? Do you no. Do you that one, possibly? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh, that was weird. You ever get that thing where you're just about dozing and your leg kicks? That just <laughs> happened to me. God, that's so weird when that happens. Are we in spots? No, no. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you mean I was the dick? <laughs> no, I was being a real dick, too, because uh, he wasn't there, first no, of all, so I got no, brave. No, here's, here's a little something about the show, too. When Anthony really starts going, you know the person really pissed us off. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, would start, the, the I would start problems cop. with people I liked. Yeah. I'm like, what, what's wrong with me? The good like cop just person. leans over and takes the phone book to the face of the perp. <laughs> yeah, you know? right. like, yeah, now it's just bad Too cop, bad, bad cop. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I get the point. This is how the public is, though. Back then, see, when he was trashing the Arabs, they were applauding and going crazy. Mm. You can't do it anymore. You can't even do an Arab joke without them getting uptight, going, well, they have rights, too. And, you know, the is audience, that right? No, no, they don't. But what I'm saying, the audiences just get, they're just babies, you know. Ugh, oh, fuck it, sorry. You don't understand what I'm trying to say, because I can't communicate. I don't have a good enough vocabulary to, to, to get my point across. What I'm saying a big is, crash. fuck this goddamn audience. Not in the kitchen, oh, He called in that day, didn't he call in after oh this? Oh, my God. All right. We'll take a break and I want to fuck Ann Curry. Huh? <laughs> want to see what they're babbling about now? For this reason, but one of the reasons is, is Ambush Makeover Friday. People make special trips here for that, that so name? we scour the crowd and found a couple cool people. We should introduce our, our special trips. Miss Caroline! Yes, around. yes. <laughs> this is off this morning, and Tamara's here <laughs> filling in this morning. Nice to see you, Tamara. Nice this is perfect. We have an Asian one in the street. middle, yeah. anyway, a few black one on the right, and maybe a mix on the left. We're talking about a little problem. We're going to get around and make your life a lot easier. Well, this morning... Uh, we're going to talk about the huge response we got to some of these ideas, and we wind up a few more simple topics. This is go. what women do when men aren't around. Right? That's what they do when we are around. <laughs> <laughs> they don't fucking pay attention to anything we say. Now, do you understand why I share a room with Bob? <laughs> 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 Out of Miami. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We got the guys in today. We got Rich Voss at Bananas and Poughkeepsie. What's that? Leslie Nielsen calling in? He's wow. down in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make him go the fucking bulletproof window. <laughs> I'm feeling good today. Maybe uh, we should sa have some old school fun with Leslie Nielsen. Oh, today. Christ. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Leslie Nielsen Hope killed himself <laughs> last night. <laughs> now his career has company. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> That's, that's, that's a good one. Oh, that's boy. a good joke. Did you just think uh, that one up? Yeah. That's a good line. <laughs> Someone's writing. Damian Thomas from Macrity writes, How dare Jenny trash you guys after you make him do a phoner from the other room? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mike Birbiglia, Caroline's uh, The Next Three Nights with three different shows, and yep. you got the DVD out, which, by the way, I brought over to XM. Oh, that's nice. And Thanks I didn't even know you were coming uh, to XM with us. That's nice of you. A lot of times these end up in the trash. <laughs> Not yours, my friend. I brought it over here. Wow. What I should have said was nothing. The new DVD by uh, Mike Birbiglia and uh, NickDip.com for Nick DiPaolo, right? Universal Amphitheater in L.A. too, with Artie Lang April 5th. Very, very cool. Yeah, that's so I can say that on this plugged. show. That, that thing sold out a minute ago. Oh, no, right? no, they told me I had to keep playing. Why can't you say that on this show? I don't know. Well, we, we don't I play think that there's way. tension between you and the... But we don't play that way with you guys. Oh, I, th I was thinking of We're Preston good. and Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and you got my plug wrong. I'm at the Arlington Cinema Draft House, April 18th and 19th. That's fucking years away. Nobody gives a shit. That's a good Way point. Too, that's too. Uh, yeah, Thank well, you. I'll be opening well, for Nick as he's opening for Artie. I'm not opening. It's co-headlining. Make the same money as he does. Stupid. As Artie Lang? Yes. Come on. Okay, I'm lying about that. Part. <laughs> it's, not, it's not opening. It's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going for it, which means it was fucking plausible. <laughs> yeah, Ain't that right? right. You all fucking got, you all turned white all four like, fuck. Yeah, like yeah, right. yeah. 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 We're, we're, we're privileged to have him. on the radio, believe me. You better start treating him better, man. I gotta have wow. you, you, you guys have to make calls for me. <laughs> <laughs> is there a program director at 92.3? No. They I don't, I really don't know. You know he is, Come on. No, I really don't know. You just that. revealed yourself in that last Jenny clip. They... <laughs> <laughs> I know they. I, I know this much. They moved the music guy to the programming spot, but I don't know what that really means. It's kind of weird because I've always I always knew who my boss was. I don't really. They don't really have a true PD, is what I'm saying. He's really? Got, he's wearing that hat too, but I don't know what that means. See that? Oh, to make it even easier to get in there. No he doesn't kidding. know what he's doing. No kidding. <laughs> five right. time. Give me a five o'clock. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> this is We're back. The music is so loud. I can't hear myself. We got Leslie uh, Nielsen on the phone. Yeah. 
Uh, Leslie Nielsen promoting superhero movie. What's this about, Ant? You know? Um, you know, one of those uh, parody movies. Okay. In the spirit of scary movie and airplane and whatnot, based on the superhero comic action movies that are out. I'd imagine they would go after Spider-Man a lot. Uh, Spider-Man, right? Superman, X-Men, uh, and that ilk. Fantastic Four. Yeah. Batman. You said Things that one. like right? that. Tracy Morgan's in this movie. Oh, very cool. Colored man. <laughs> Simon Rex is in this movie. Who's that? What are you doing, Rich? He's, he's fucking... Uh, he goes, he comes up to me and goes, what do you want to eat? I go, a turkey burger on holy toast. He goes, from where? I go, I don't know, a fucking restaurant. Well, what are you, what are you, what are you? <laughs> well, what I want it from? I don't know, go to Macy's, you fucking jackass. It's a turkey burger. Well, you know what, now I'm scared if you go get it, you're going to fuck it up and do something to it. It's a turkey burger. They are it's having a half-off sale on turkey burgers at Macy's. <laughs> <so> you're <laughs> you're, you're, you're fucking lucky I'm today, Rich. I don't know the place they're going to cook it. This, <laughs> this confidence. Well, here, you want me to get that? The yours. post it's office. So weird. <laughs> Give so me a Great salad. Get the post office. Right, so, uh, You're getting a little too cocky. We're going to have to knock you down a few notches. Oh, really? You just like another hour here. I'm sure it's going to happen. He really did get freed up when he came over here. Yeah, though. it's a little strange. <laughs> Seriously. No, you came yeah, alive when you, when you could uh, curse. Yeah. Holy so we Va Voss has that rim shot voice at the end of sentences sometimes. <laughs> 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 give, me, give me another hour here. Maybe it'll happen. <laughs> and then he just wait. He just waits on it. Why don't you sing that? Sing that bit. <laughs> <laughs> why would I say? Why would I? Shut say, up, guitar act. Why would I? <laughs> Let the comics introduce. You know, I haven't even guess. seen enough of Mike's act to make fun of him, though. Well, Seriously. of course. Who, who is going to do that that long? No, I don't know. I'm not saying. What? That. I don't oh, know. No. What? Yeah, every, all the career this man over here. Yeah, so, oh, no, he does. So He's a marketing Herman. genius. Okay. <laughs> every once, every <laughs> once in a while, I play a song on the guitar, and it's in, in the, yeah. I have a couple you, songs. When you're done, do you go da da? <laughs> no. <laughs> what happened to him? <laughs> done. Oh, uh, he's now calling back in 20 minutes? Yeah. Oh, fuck, fuck Leslie Nielsen. Oh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? <laughs> well, I'll be on the highway. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck Call yeah. Call me in my car. He might not be around for 20 minutes. <laughs> hey. Is I did it right for himself. He'll have a nicer casket at, than you. At the end of all my... Nicer <laughs> 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 casket. What the fuck that means? Look at all the beautiful fucking... Even the weather women, I'd fuck her. Nah, hey, she's you. ugly, that no, one. she's a skank. Fox You're News. Right. Yeah. Looks like a... Uh, uh, Janice Dean, right? Or Janice Dean, sorry. But you ever put on, like, the Weather Channel in the middle oh, of the yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, uh, what the, unbelievable. And then uh, they try to get also hot finance chicks. That yeah. seemed to be a thing, Dude, like. watch, I like Baratolo, whatever the fucking Yeah, Maria. yeah, Bar Maria Bartiromo was, yeah. like, the first one. Oh, they call her the, the money honey. Yeah. Like and then uh, they decided, well, if that worked, let's just, whatever finance uh, shit we get on whatever channel, we'll get a hot chick to do it. Dude, I like yeah, to make a deposit in her ass. I was just. <laughs> Greta Van Suskin that looks like Mary Jo Suskin. Yeah. Yeah. Suskin. Yeah. Suskin. Greta Van Suskin. I don't know fucking name. I don't <laughs> Sus what's her name? David Sus Suskin. What's Suskin. her name? All I know is she looks like fucking Mary yeah, Jo. Yes, yeah, she does. And the other one. Ah. Yes. And another kid was lost today. Great kid. Greta Van Suskin. Greta Van Suskin. Greta Van Suskin. Uh, who's the other one that looks like a piggy, uh, Miss Piggy? <laughs> what? Hey, no, what Miss like... Piggy? <laughs> no, Fox has a bunch of Nick. smoking blondes. Yeah. Two words, Spanish news. <laughs> hmm? For hot broads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have yeah. no idea what they're saying, but they look no, good saying it. No, it doesn't matter. It. Absolutely. I, I was just in Los Angeles. A lot of attractive women. Were you shooting a, a pilot there for CBS? <laughs> Yeah, I actually didn't mention that on the show yet, but yes, I was. No, on the other show you did. Yeah, I did. I but, brought it up. Uh... As <laughs> long as you come back here and announce when it's canceled. <laughs> During commercial. That's all I'm asking, Mike. That's all I ask. During commercial. I want to come back here and be smudge your name. Oh, my uh, God. For the damn. same. Yeah, you're right, man. We all brag about it. I mean, we get to play that game now. Brag about a pilot and hey. never mention, well, it was never picked up well. I, I'm not even bragging. No, I'm just saying I'm, I'm not busting your balls. I couldn't be happy if you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, um, why don't you look in the paper there? Well, well, I'm happy an Italian guy gets to go ahead. The, uh, Maybe I can get a party. A lot of attractive women in Los Angeles. <laughs> 
And this isn't a joke. I'm not looking for a fucking. Oh. You, you, I'm not looking for you to jump down my throat. Yeah, that it was yeah, funny. Yeah, leave me Rich. Uh, I'm not kind of comedy. It's just a story. I, I, I've yeah. never yeah. seen Rich Voss focus so much in my life. Every time Mike starts eye. talking, you, you stand. When someone looks you in the eye, you're looking right back in the eye. He's looking me yeah, in the eye. Yeah, but we can see the because hate. You're right. You're ready to pounce on him. I really don't. Are you kidding me? You're going to tell a nice story that you never can relate to. Pretty girls in Los Angeles. Yeah. You'll know it's a joke because at the end of it, I'll go. I don't know. He was a tough little prick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Gotcha. Getting back to Nick, uh, yeah. people are helping us out. John in Virginia, uh, OPI agree. Watch uh, uh, Premier or Primer Impacto for hot Spanish news chicks. Yeah. Primer? Primer? Premier? Uh, Premier? Did it spell it? All right. Premier Impacto. Fuck. Yeah, back but, but, Mike, well, back to you. LA. No, Los Angeles. I don't know if you in between are... shooting pilots. Well, what obviously happened? a lot. <laughs> <laughs> obviously a lot of attractive women. It's like everybody always says that, but a lot of used to be attractive women. That's right. A lot. Uh, it's kind of like uh, gray, like <laughs> like greyhounds left out <laughs> to pasture who don't run anymore, and they're like, I used to be fast. <laughs> you know, a lot of that. That's not a joke, I'll I wrote. That's just an observation. <laughs> no, you can't do that. <laughs> when, Sunday at Caroline's? Uh, yeah. Sunday at Caroline's. You see what he did there? This free DVD night. <laughs> He put out a disclaimer. This isn't a joke, but he no, really, he's really like, was. maybe I'll get a laugh on it anyway. No, but he yeah. kind of hedged your bets, motherfucker. That's true. He, he did. did. That Richard Jenny right? stuff got to it. That was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. He was disguising so it as a story. It wasn't a to joke. Save yourself in case. He just didn't want me to it, jump well, in. Well, it was an analogy about L.A. chicks. Please, don't tell me you didn't do that on stage when you were in L.A. once. Yeah. He didn't want me to huh? jump in and go, ooh, no. here comes the no. joke. All right, I'll do it. It's pretty good. You know, I'll tell you why it wasn't a joke. Because no one laughs. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was the first hand. I'm no detective. <laughs> but, uh, maybe there's 70,000 crickets in my fucking neck. Look, you guys, I got a cell phone. If, if we want to do this uh, any, a there. different way, that's fine with me. I don't know what that means, but go ahead. Uh, no, but you know it wasn't a written joke because I don't fucking uh, no, I don't greyhounds know. don't go out to pasture. Isn't that cows no, or pasture? I, I don't think. even know. No. Out to I would have thought it through. I, I write know, jokes. Yeah, I know Rich, you would have mislead. Rich doesn't understand this. Twenty five like, years. I'm a legend. Who would have on Google go fucking greyhounds to right, pasture? Twenty five years. Twenty five years. Of pure legends of what? Of me. Rich is one of the first guys I opened Wait, for. Wait, when we really? did where? Yeah. Rask Rascals, you don't get remember it. Yeah. Yeah, why wow. would I remember it? Hey, I people remember get ripped off now. that night. Rich Voss says he's a legend. Google Rich Voss. I want to see how many... <laughs> Where's this legend come Might up? as well Google <laughs> Jew cab driver. <laughs> Rich Voss, legend. But what do you mean Google? What does that mean? What are you Rich looking Voss, for? Rich Voss, Google. Just oh, Rich look at the little kids beating each other up. No, no, not even Wait, oh, look it. up Rich Voss Kevin and Kevin Maney's le watching this and jerking off. Look up Rich Voss and legend. All right, go back... I wrestles which one? Rich, Down uh, ocean. Rich Voss. Just, uh, Rich Voss. Every reference will be from the Opie and Anthony that's show, not by true. the way. <laughs> Rich Voss. Just that's not the legend. No, that's it. Oh, that is it. Okay. Yeah. That's all. Two hundred fifty-one thousand uh, mentions on the web. Let's go to Mike Berbiglia. See what we got. Yeah, let's go to Mike Berbiglia. Two hundred fifty what? But there's Rich Vosses that are like mechanics and stuff that well, you get confused isn't. with. They spell it with two S's. Oh, this is how we judge who's the best comic now? <laughs> <Yeah>. Fucking, <laughs> uh, I'm fucking believable. Put in fucking Lenny Bruce, you how, get 50 hits, so I much, guess he sucked. How much was, uh, how much was Voss? Voss apparently has 3,000 more hits. Look at these little kids beating the fuck out of each other. I you love 3, it. You have 3,000 more, um, links or whatever. Web views oh. rather than Mike Birbiglia. Oh, here's the thing. I'm not competing Break with Mike Birbiglia, neck. okay? Because I don't do that kind of stuff. That's how you guys act in here. I have no <laughs> I'm just so happy I I'm just so happy I won. You're you're like you're like English as a second language, boss. You're like that's how you act in act in here. <laughs> English as a second language. Yeah, he looks good for his age, though. Boss looks good for his fucking age. Oh, he does. That's how I was saying on the way over. I don't know how you stay so thin. You're a fit, I don't eat you're like a you. guy. I know. It's true. Yeah. I don't cover the pain with food. I agree. He's on the tumor. <laughs> 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 He's on the tumor. <laughs> He's on the tumor. He's on the tumor. I'm going to yeah. lose two more pounds. No, you're going to blow up. It's probably... Oh, look. This is fun. Should we go with Richard Jenny on the Google? What does uh, the Google say about uh, Richard Jenny? That's... I got a quarter million people. Fuck. I can't fucking sell out 20 seats. Oh. 
Richard Jenny's going down a little bit. Less than two hundred thousand. Oh. I'm doing that. Mm. Fucking, I'm doing that fucking free giveaway. I'm just going to do bumper stickers though. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> DVDs. The, I know the struggle bumper stickers I still have left over. Oh. Bonnie McFarlane keychains. Uh, <laughs> Rich Brian from St. Louis. He Googled your name, and uh, this is what came back: tight, short, wearing dick sucker for crack. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh my God! They were tight shorts. They were very loose, and you could see the tip. Uh, you could see like what a pocket. See the tip with a fifty dollar bill, and the tip of uh, your your penis. Where's Leslie Nielsen? What? Well, we're waiting for Leslie. We could do oh, some in the Arlene. lobby. Somebody's performing CPR on him in an elevator. <laughs> we could uh, do some Arnold uh, audio that's been sitting here. We could do a little cleanup here. Yeah. yeah, it is Friday. Do you guys ever get tempted to be really nice to your guests? No. Yeah. Tempted. <laughs> no, we used to be a dick to everybody, and then all of a sudden we're like, why isn't anyone coming on our yeah, we had show? No, yeah, and then we started having no guests. And, and yeah. it was starting to affect the radio show. So yeah. my audiences. We had to hey. kind of like rethink it. Thanks, well, now what do you think you lose quicker, guests or affiliates? Oh. Not <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. bad, Boss. Boss got a nice clean one. That would have worked over at the other station. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one hurts, actually. <laughs> Damn. Very good, Rich. Got a good comeback for that, but you floored us. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. The greatest feeling you can get. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that amazing? Uh, yeah, that's great. That's coming, coming. Oh, by the way, because Rich, you started this. Um, if you put in uh, Rich Voss legend, because you said that right, uh, forty six hundred uh, views come up on on the Google. Four thousand six hundred thirty. Mike Berbiglia legend. Fifty four thousand one hundred, my friend. But what is? Le I don't understand. What, what is legend? You said Rich Voss legend. That you're a legend. Yes, I am. So All of those are actually links for John Legend CDs. <laughs> 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 I am. I am legend. <laughs> and I think we have got one more uh, Arnold clip here somewhere. Is where? No, uh, I think it's, I put it away. I think it's the same one. Oh, it was the same one. All right. I killed a minute. God, this fucking burn. <laughs> killed a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Oh, we know, we know, we know this not. Is a lot of radio. We know, you guys do this every fucking day. Hey, we know not to fuck with Leslie Nielsen yeah. again. Well, we yeah, really. We, we paid the price. We penciled him in for this bit, and now we have to, you know, make it up. Well, let's clean up more stuff. Yeah, we There's got plenty of stuff to clean up. I like yeah. the Arnold coming clip. That was funny. <laughs> All right, it stood on its oh. own. <laughs> we we have. Uh, uh, is it raining? Did Did you hear what we did to Rich Voss? This is worth one more play. Yeah. yeah. We you, uh, made him a, you made him a name in the tri-state area. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Why are you giving me three? <laughs> You're nice. That's what I do. I'm nice to comics, so they turn on me. <laughs> Rich was talking about his acting chops, so we set up a oh, a a jazz parliamentary. Set up a, a a little bit where we were going to have Rich do an acting scene with who? Jim Norton, right? Yeah, but here's the thing too. And he was going to read from a Bronx Tale. It really hurt his but career. But we were right? saying how fucking hard it is to audition. It's the worst. Oh, you it's awful. It's fucking Fucking horrible. Yeah. Three fags looking at you. I know. Jesus. You never feel comfortable coming out of one. So go ahead. You can do it. But all I know is that you... It, can I? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you cleared that with Rich first, though. <laughs> the fuck are you, the GM of this shithole? Well, he doesn't right. know. He you got to do a live <laughs> read in five minutes. Shellish. <laughs> <laughs> he is way too cocky today, man. Oh, oh boss is feeling his oats. I'm gonna let you have your day because <laughs> it's gonna make the beating next time you're in that much better, man. Yeah, you're gonna be down in the lobby calling in. <laughs> what should... So, uh, so we set up a scene that you were gonna do it with, uh, with uh, Norton 
from a Bronx tale at the last minute we did a switcheroo, surprised you with uh, Chaz Momentary. That's he hilarious. walked right through that door and fucking Maz almost shit himself. That's <laughs> hilarious. Because I didn't even have to, you don't have time to fucking learn to sing. You know, they just hand you the paper and yeah, do the yeah. fucking scene, you know. Where's that fire? Please don't tell me in the sawmill. <laughs> yeah, you just start looking going, I got to get out of here. There's going to be traffic. <laughs> Tank explodes in Massachusetts. Is wow. it mass? My dad drives in all the track of Massachusetts. Wow, you talk about a strike. <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't that was. I have never heard silence like that. <laughs> and I've been in the woods camping. <laughs> fucking by myself in fucking Maine. Were you Holy shit. Were you, were you broadcasting? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? I miss that. You guys want more broadcasting? <laughs> yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> That is great. I'm trying to get <laughs> holy. Oh, he knocked him out. He's over there. That He's knocked out. <laughs> oh, that one hurt me. That hurt. That one hurt him a little bit, Rich. <laughs> this <laughs> is just fucking brutalization today. <laughs> I know. It's fucking fantastic. Uh, Rich Voss gay, by the way. Uh, 715,000 links on Google. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. All right, so, I don't know. The guys put this together, Derek and Steve, okay. from that, that fine bit we did where we surprised you. Megan Kendall. Robert De Niro. It's not what you say, it's what he sees. In his directorial debut. We can't accept that. Starring Chaz Palminteri. I didn't give it to you, I gave it to your son. And Rich Voss. Louie, fiends, I want my money. A Bronx <laughs> tale. Fiends, you can't dodge me forever. Come on, what are you doing about? What are you yelling about, huh? John, I got a problem with this guy over here, Louis Beans. This guy owes me 20, and it's been two weeks now, and every time he sees me, he keeps dodging me, John. Should I crack him one or what? The struggle of an idiotic <laughs> Jewish comedian stammering his way through a few lines of film dialogue with a genuine Hollywood actor. Listen, see, sometimes violence is not the answer. Is he a good friend of yours or not? Nah, John, I don't even like him. Well, there's your answer right there. Look at it this way. It costs you $20 to get rid of him. He's never going to ask you for money again. He's never going to bother you again. He's out of your life for $20. Come on, you got to have cheap. Uh, you're right, John. You're always right. A Bronx... How do you know the right answer all the time, Johnny? Well, I try to keep my eyes and ears open all the time, and I read. You read? Yeah, I read. Come on. Come on, let's go to Mario's next door and get something. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That's a fantasy. But you know what? It's kind of cool, I think. That's like yeah. doing, like, what, fantasy baseball down in... Yeah. But the old timers? <laughs> these, guys were, these guys were smashing me as we did it. We did it a couple times. And I fucking, like an idiot, look at... He's reading from the paper, and they're just smashing my bad acting. I go, he's not even looking at me. He's not connecting with me. So I'm basically calling him a bad actor <laughs> as he's fucking doing yeah, it. Chaz Palminteri. Oh. He's not giving me anything. Hey, I know. <laughs> really fast. The Google thing has a wonderful ending, by the way. Oh, I God. knew it couldn't be. Uh, I, I knew it couldn't work out in uh, Voss's favor. So what? Rich Voss has more Google hits or views, whatever, than Mike Birbiglia by what? 3,000? Yeah. Right? And, no, you, it's, and you were feeling good about that, right? I don't care about Google hits. Yeah, you do. No, I, I don't. saw it on your face, Rich. No, I didn't. No, I Secretly, don't. you were very happy his that people care about you. His brother works for him. Why I don't you, have anybody working for me. Squ why are you squashing what he's about to say yes, before he's, he's going to say it? He's going to smash me. I know. I <laughs> yeah, who cares? <laughs> take it. I, take it. I've taken it for Rich, six years. You've been here it. twice. Go fuck yourself. Rich, it doesn't matter if he's got someone working for him behind the scenes. This is just people trying to search you out. So it, it, it's it's based on everything you've done in your career, and you had three thousand more views than Mike Birbiglia, and this is the perfect ending. To but he's doing day. comedy forty years longer. <laughs> Listen to this, Peter from Canada. Yes, Peter. One of the co-founders of Amway is named Rich Voss. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, I knew that. Who knew that? Rich buy <laughs> soap. From, rich buy soap from that guy. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I want to invite you to a meeting, a business proposition tonight, but I can't tell you about it until you get there. 
<laughs> is that the best ending to that bit? Because oh, I know you were feeling cocky. First of all, you share a name with a pretty first, famous guy. First hundred people to a show get Tupperware. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, soap. let's welcome Leslie Nielsen to the Opie and Anthony show. Ah, Hi, Mr. Nielsen. How do you do? I didn't know where you'd gone. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hi, are Leslie. You, How are you, you sir? Uh, <laughs> are you? <laughs> well, you spell my name? <laughs> of course. L-E-S-L-I-E. L-E-S-L-I-E, right? Yes. M-I-E-L-S-E-M. Right. Of course. Oh, that's got rid of that. Oh, that's why we had to get that out of the way. And then... Uh, yeah. Well, now you you have another movie coming out. You've you you become like the king of these parody movies, uh, sir. Well, it seems to it seems to be, but as long as David Zucker is going to keep writing them and I uh, keep working with him, I'm going to keep doing them. And uh, I have a lot of fun. I, I love the, the the comedy. I love the way he does this comedy, and uh, I like being part of it. Did you play drunk or stroke? Uh, <laughs> superhero movie opens what uh, Friday, sir? Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm on a cell phone. Uh, I'm oh. drifting in and out, right? Oh, oh, sorry about that. Oh, you didn't hear what we said. Yeah, the no, uh, the, Anthony, new, the newest movie. Anthony, he didn't hear what you said. So why don't you tell him what you said? I there? was announcing the newest movie that you have out. No, no, no. We already did that, and I which is that. superhero movie, right? Starring yes, the great yes, Leslie yes. Nielsen. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm Paul Bacast. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know uh, how is it, Leslie, uh, that you had gotten into these after being such a serious actor for so many years? Uh, and, 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 and me and stuff to do comedy? Yes, I yes. Got, who discovered? Who discovered that you I, had a, I, a comedy edge to you? Well, I, 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 that's the way those things happen or come out. The, the thing is that I was always oh, cast as the young man, the serious young man mm -hmm. with background who has a problem. <sighs> yeah. And so that's the... You, you, Pretty sure that you're not going to have a comedic part, but uh, then Jerry and uh, uh, and David and Jim uh, Abrams came along, and they had the part of the doctor in the uh, airplane in mind for me, and I couldn't believe it. It was a chance to do comedy, something that I had wanted to do all my life. Was it, was it really hard to understand? The, was it well, really hard to understand the black guys in airplane where they where they had to do the writing? Under their talking. Oh, Jesus, Rich. I'm right. sorry, Leslie. That was Rich Voss. He's an awful, awful person. <laughs> and Fo founder of Amway. He, I think he meant comedian. <laughs> yes, yeah, awful, awful comedian. Yeah, they had the screening of, uh, 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 what is it, the hero, uh, uh uh, but last night, and it played very well. Uh, I think it'll probably. And uh, hopefully, the movie. people uh, will know the name that uh, aren't in the movie. You know, superhero uh, movie, uh, sir. Go. Exactly. Oh, you got it, superhero. Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stroke. Uh, drunk, drunk or Alzheimer's. <laughs> drunk. Do the first hundred people get something free when they go? No. Uh, get... I'm not too sure. A lot of people were leaving uh, through a little door in the back of the theater and coming back smiling. Kevin Hart's in that movie. Oh, and oh. Tracy Morgan. Oh yeah, do you, do you know Kevin Hart? He was in the movie. One of the no. actors. No. How no. about Jeffrey yeah, Tambor? I don't, I don't know Kevin. Uh, Jeffrey Tambor. No. Who? Uh, Jeffrey Tambor. Uh, no, I don't know him either. Look, you know, when you well, he's in the movie, too. Uh, Craig yeah. Bierko. Uh, the, how about Leslie, the great Craig Bierko? Uh, no. Don't know him. <laughs> this is Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> <Nielsen. laughs> uh, it's an ensemble cast, uh, uh, is what he's saying, Opie. Of course, you don't do all the scenes together. Yes. Well, yes. yes. <laughs> Oh, the ensemble you're a part of. I feel bad for this guy. He's going to die film. soon. He's just bad. <laughs> like a fucking idiot. Well, the, how about uh, Sarah Paxton? She's just terrific. How about who? Sarah Paxton. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, well, how about her? Well, she's in the movie, yeah. sir. Hubba, hubba. 
she's, <laughs> she's a hubba hubba, you know? Hubba hubba. And uh, what's... Uh, she, she, I, it's nice to have a hubba hubba every and, once And I see while. Simon Rex. He's a, he's a terrific actor. What does he do for uh, the movie? Nothing. Who, me? Yeah. I play the uncle. You're yeah. the uncle. I try, I try to lead the young uh, uh, actor whose mother and father were decimated in a terrible accident, and he has come to live with me and my wife, and we've been trying to raise him properly. Did you get to say it's our secret? And all of that stuff, and drinking, and carousing. Right, right. Well, that sounds great. Uh, <laughs> what, ha what happened to Priscilla Presley's face? <laughs> <laughs> How was it uh, working with O.J. Simpson, sir? Yes. I'm sure you asked that a lot. Oh. Well, you know, we had a great time when we were working, and uh, yeah. we were all together and ensemble, and uh, oh, that's... Then all of a sudden, he, he was no longer around right. to, uh, for us to continue yeah. any more uh, work. You ever kill anyone with him? I can cut a rug any human. He was a very good comedian, I thought. Oh, really? Yeah, that is some funny stuff, yeah. leaving two people with their throats open. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Found a friend, Harry. <laughs> Love that line. What? Uh, it's something you said in a movie. <laughs> what movie? Uh, creep Show. When you went, yeah, found a friend, it. Harry. When the crab comes up to um, uh, Ted Danson's face. Uh, a <laughs> lot. Yeah, this is about the rottenest connection I've been on in a long time. No, it's <laughs> yeah. the host. It's, the it's host. called a synapse. <laughs> That's the bad connection. <laughs> I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad to see that you're having a good time. That's well, we do. It's Friday, you know. We're all we're almost out of well, here, and I don't, I don't this is almost know. over. What, sir? Yeah. You should have a good time at this point in your life too. And I would just drive blindfolded down the <laughs> Pacific Coast Highway. <laughs> Watch out! It's gonna be. <laughs> They're having a great time. <laughs> if, 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 we love you. Leslie, 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 let me tell you something. The great Leslie Nielsen. Yes, can you uh, repeat after me, sir? We love you. We just want you to say, well, doggy. That's not his line. Uh, yes, what I, line do you want me to say? <laughs> Are you going to be in Arlington, Arlington, Virginia, April 18th? Yes, and 19th, yes, sir. <laughs> Under a white cross. <laughs> No. Uh, I, well, you know, I don't know if he was a military He man, served so. as a Royal Canadian Air Force. He was in the Royal Canadian Air ah. Force as a, uh, an, a gunner during World War II. Yes. He's from Canada? You from Canada? Well, well yeah, World War II, that's it. Yeah. My, my, my wife is from Cold Lake. You know where that is in Canada? Cold Lake, that's in Alberta. The yeah, yes. Alberta. North Are you kidding? Yeah. My father... My father was a Maori, and he was on detachment at one time in Cold Lake. Wow. Yeah, See, now I can talk, talk, talk it. about detachment. There you go. Maybe <laughs> can give you a let, gig. In let, loose. I knew we'd find something to talk about. I, that, yeah. This is Rich Voss, who you connected with, not the host, Rich Voss. Leslie, uh, how does this interview compare with interviews that you've been doing all morning? Is this better or worse than the other uh, interviews? I, I, I did a lot yesterday, and today we're John, I just rehearsed a sequence in the, the, that I'm going to be doing here, and so uh, John from Detroit. Uh, I've been writes, and did I Leslie just say he doesn't know Kevin Hart because he didn't do a scene? Ah, scene with him. The scene they show in the TV spot has them too. Oh, okay, that's all right. Well, this uh, sounds very funny. Uh, the parody of uh, all the superhero movies. Uh, are you are you a fan of the superhero movies yourself, there, uh, Mr. Nielsen? I beg your pardon. Oh, exactly. Never That's uh, you a I, actually we don't. Uh, <laughs> I beg your do, you like, do you like films about gladiators? Rich, what are you? Are the Tyra Banks sandwich? Oh, yeah, what a faggot! A lot of oh, burger. I didn't see any meat on them, sir. You <laughs> would have about them. Yes. You would have saw if it was on your uh, Le sir. Leslie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You uh you 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 also have a flatulence problem, I guess. I hear you're always hearing about you uh Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't come through too good on this uh, sterling telephone. Who do you think smells worse, Mickey Wark or Uma Thurman? What about nothing? Yes. Oh, Uma Thurman, I, I love her. Oh, do you like Uma Thurman? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I fucking. She, she's great. Uh, you ever, you ever work with... Mickey Rock, I don't know about. <laughs> well, you ever uh, work... I don't think about her. You ever work with Uma? A little what? Yeah, a little uh, Uma. You ever work... 
You ever work with Uma Thurman? I, I like her very much. Leslie, She's beautiful. I'll, let me I, let me po- yeah, ask you let me let me ask you point blank. Have you ever used lettuce as a knife? Ever used a what? <laughs> yeah. So uh, so now, but from they'll be, they'll be afraid. To... From well, your reaction, not Mr. Jenny. Nielsen, Mr. Hey. Nielsen, from right. your reaction, I would assume <laughs> you believe OJ uh, to be innocent of of those crimes. Uh, am well, I let correct? Me put it this way. Okay. Uh, you know, and, and 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 so that's the only way I look at it. He's a murdering shine. Oh. <laughs> no, that's that's uh. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a murdering scientist. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> don't don't try to plug your next movie. One plug at a time. <laughs> Leslie, is it? Starring Leslie. <laughs> I, I just want you to know I'm yes. having all of this written down. Oh, oh even no. better. That's what, that's what Bob Bigley did before, before he came in. Under the heading of a, 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 a police report. <laughs> I hear you. Leslie, is it true uh, your favorite I superhero is Al Zimmer? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nielsen, uh, it's been so. It, well, your your movies are very funny, and we're recounting uh, some of the your great scenes in uh, so many of those great movies, like uh, Naked Gun movies and uh, Airplane, uh, and of course Creep Show. I thought you were very funny in that. I can hold my breath for a long time. A long time. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. We got one. We got a connection. Wow. Wow. Something clicked. Something clicked. That <laughs> was it. This fucking thing is in cult. <laughs> what? Fuck. Fuck. Hey, watch your language with Leslie Nielsen on the phone. Yeah, I, I hope you get shit. salmonella. Yeah, why uh, are you cursing at the great Leslie salmonella. Nielsen? Salmonella. You ever work with Leslie Nielsen? <laughs> Every sandwich in Boss's hands looks like a large. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Nielsen, it is uh, it is a pleasure hold, hold on, talking hold on. to you. Uh, Bill Burr. Hello. Hi, we're talking to Leslie Nielsen. You all right? Uh, yeah, Jesus. You guys going to the show for that? All right, hold on a minute. I thought you might uh, want to get in on the abuse. All right, hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Leslie. Mr. Yeah. Nielsen. Mr. Nielsen. Oh, this is uh, when, let, him, let him go, please. <laughs> <laughs> please, let him go. Please. That's what I'm... This is like Mr. watching my hand being go. tortured. And I'm, that's what I'm begging God to do. <laughs> Mr. Nielsen. <laughs> Mr. Nielsen. I got somebody... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yes. Uh, when is the, when does the movie come out? Uh, superhero movie. It opened last night. Oh, so it should be in the video stores. What next week? <laughs> now it's in. No, it's it's out right now. Oh, it's, it's, it's in it's, the it's, theater. It's, 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 it's gonna be on the plane. It's, 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 home. It had a big opening. Oh, a big and, opening! Uh, now we're talking about Richard's yeah, wife. Well, was, <laughs> <laughs> now, you went to the ass. so you went to the big premiere party and everything. A big what? Did they have a big premiere? <laughs> what the? Fuck? <laughs> yeah, the yeah, laugh factory. Big, uh, Let's the, play deaf or retarded. A lot of people and all that stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, so, not, yeah. Did they have, like, a big oh, red red carpet? Oh, well, of course he is. He's not a legend. Wait, Warner? Steve yeah. is telling me that uh, the great Leslie Nielsen's uh, hearing impaired? Yeah, we just found out. Well, of course. He's we just found out. Oh, Leslie, <laughs> when does the movie open? <laughs> it opened last night, Opie. He's a fucking legend. What? Yeah. You don't have to swear. Leslie! Oh. Uh, <laughs> is there a cum on my chin? Yeah, it's a matter of articulation, I think. Yes. <laughs> oh, good gravy. <laughs> I picture him in a wheelchair going down a flight of stairs right now. <laughs> you will eat the pirate, eat me. Uh, well, we do a talk show, sorry. But uh, you were you were a DJ yourself in, uh, in Calgary, weren't you? Uh, is he by myself what? Yes, you were. <laughs> was this a silent movie that's coming up? <laughs> uh, well, uh, I'm running very fast. Yes, you. <laughs> How do you remember fucking lines? You were a DJ, uh, radio DJ. Was, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. Right. Uh, very early on in your career. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, what are you, and. What are you. Don't believe everything you read. Oh no! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, <laughs> good <laughs> gosh. Well, you know, Mr. Nielsen, um, it's it's been great talking to you. And uh, a, a continued success with uh, your your fantastic uh, career that you, you've had. Uh, and uh, uh, just keep putting out these movies until you're you're dead. You bet, absolutely. All right. I think I appreciate. I think after this phone call, Nick DePaul is going to hang himself. <laughs> he can't get. He can't get one. Yet. He can't get one. One person in Hollywood to look at him. I. I think that's it, sir. This shit's going on. Making a movie called Cunt. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Well, Mr. Nielsen, that's great. Say hi to uh, Richard Widmark for us, could you? Absolutely. I just asked him that by the other day. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. He he left his wallet he, and he, he left his wallet and he wants you to return it. I'm really enjoying this. I'm in the process of getting made up to go in and do my job. Oh, so a corpse. You, <laughs> my job. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Manic Nielsen. Mannequin. And I swear to God, you'll feel better. Oh. All Thank right, you, Leslie. There, Leslie. Have a good day. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why are you trying to get him off the phone, Dick? What, what, like what, 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 what is that, uh, Mr. Nielsen? Oh, oh, oh my my God. God. He didn't understand. His, dropped his phone under his wheelchair tire. <laughs> I think that went to crypt very keeper. well. Jesus Christ. What did he do? The scene to the blowhorn? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, he's deafer than a haddock. He's... What the fuck? <laughs> 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 yeah, your mother sucks cock, that's right. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that was fucking brutal. Oh, my God. The poor oh, prick. brutal. Poor Is guy. Is that shit happen when that's I'm fucking 82 people rape you in the ass and you laugh? <laughs> you know, yeah. That felt good. No, because you, you, you have to get a movie role first. Yeah. <laughs> you have to either die exactly. or that's what happens. This is, a, this is a wonderful show. I learned something today, that cancer isn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's an upside. He's got a survivor. He had it for a week. I, you this know, guy's as long gonna, as it hits you around 60 years. He's carrying 65. about an eight-pound tumor on his fucking kidney that he thinks benign. We're uh, all laughing. Uh, Bill Burr called in, in the middle of that. What's up, Bill? Jesus Christ. I, I don't know. I, I got nothing after that. Man. <laughs> Was that torture, Billy, or what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, once I found out the guy was hard of hearing... Because at first I was like, Jesus Christ, Leslie, defend yourself. And then I thought, <laughs> there's rules. Isn't well, there? Who the fuck? Sort of UFC, no eye gouging, no ball grabbing. <laughs> yeah, they still haven't made rules for our show. Maybe that would be a but good what thing. Person, no, what person? No, I'm kidding, man. That was great. Who said, uh, he said, when did your movie come out? He said, yesterday. Ah, uh, so it should be on DVD in about 40 minutes. That was, that was Rich Fox. <laughs> ah, goddamn Fox. <laughs> Well, I called in because I'm actually I'm out here in uh, Seattle, and usually me and Jim Norton are uh, friendly, but now we're sworn enemies monetarily for this weekend. But uh, he's he's out here too, so we're both. He's, I'm waiting for him to come out of this other radio station. He's tap dancing in there. Hold on, hold on. You guys are both doing uh, radio shows right now from the same building. In the same building, but trying to get people to spend money from the same pool. Of human beings. That was well thought of. Yeah, you guys should have just done the show <laughs> together, man. Bill, what shows are you doing as Mike? Well, Jim's at this huge theater, and <laughs> I, on the other hand, because I'm so modest, am over at Giggles. A nice uh, uh, yeah. theater. Sure. I'm going to try to fill that up a couple of times. I got in a fight there, Dude, Billy. Club. Seattle. Oh, is yeah. that the club, Nick? That's the club yeah. where I got in a fist fight, and they still want me to come back, so have fun. Oh, I did radio there, and the guy you had a fight with came into the fucking radio I know. station. I know. Now he thinks he's my pal on my I... fucking, he emails me every day and shit. He's crazy. Hmm. Where, your <laughs> giggles, where's Jimmy at, uh, the more? Yeah, Jimmy's playing like the Space Needle. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a 1200 seater the guy said that at the last radio station i went to the guy's like uh he goes you're really funny he goes uh, he goes no offense you know uh jim's playing the theater and you're just over there playing kiggles you know uh, i don't know you need to get like a better agent or something like that or give out a hundred free dvds on sunday night hey bob last time i was here you you were here uh, when you, you were at when you were at giggles i was I was at the worst club. Seattle hit the muddle out that weekend. Rich, way yeah. to call back the shit that he has no idea what you're talking about. You think I did sweet. it for him, dummy? I did it for the fucking audience. Shut up, stupid. Let the headliners talk now. Uh, <laughs> 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 fucking boat act. I'm getting seasick looking at him. I name and it had blown off and was sort of twisting in the wind when I went yes. down there. I'm not even joking. That's true. 
But I went back to giggles. You're right. I went back to giggles. Is DeRosa call in the show? Is DeRosa working with you? No, I uh, know it's it's what's his face Terry over at Giggle. So he doesn't want to pay anybody. So I'll have like eighteen open micers all doing five minutes yes, for that... an hour and a half before they bring me up. Yeah, that's always fun when that happens. Put it in your writer. No guest sets. Oh really? Is that that's Nick. Yes, yeah, Nick DePaul's mm. in today too. Nick, what's wow. up, man? Jesus, what do you mean? What's up? I just carried the last segment for twenty minutes. <laughs> you fucking, and you point out a mediocre thing, Voss said. I'm <laughs> what's up, Billy boy? Oh, that's right. Who said come on the chin? Was that you? No. <laughs> oh, that was Mike Birbiglia. He's turning over in no, the leaf. Didn't. Mike didn't talk during Leslie. Yeah. Mike, Mike it, bowed it, out of that one. It was too cruel for Mike. That was too yeah. We might as well have we, we might as well have fucking waterboarded him. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, hey, it was like Guantanamo Bay for 20 minutes. Hey, hey Bill, lucky uh, you're not here today, because it would be one of those days where we hit the streets of New York feeling really guilty about ourselves. Yeah, but you know what? Having not been a part of it and just listened to it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> All right, good. Mm. Bill, Bill called me this week. Bill, can I mention this? What? All these guys call each other. Bill, Open your mouth. It's, 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 it's Mike for Biglia. Biglia. He's very tired. He just shot a pilot this morning, flew in here. <laughs> oh, well, all right. Jesus, Mike. Yeah, hey, what's up, man? Do you want him to play guitar you? so you know it's him? <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Bill. Oh, I, I can't hear you guys. What did you say? What do you got, Leslie Nielsen's phone? <laughs> <laughs> You get the same carrier, Horizon for deaf people, <laughs> friends, family, and fucking haddock. <laughs> what the fuck? I did think we didn't want to talk to Leslie oh, Nielsen. Oh, of course. Did Behind the scenes, we're like, ah, I don't know. I'm not feeling the Leslie uh, Nielsen interview. That poor person. Fucking radio poor gold bastard. today. We're going to be there tomorrow. You wake up your eyes and you... Hold on. Mike's got a phone call to talk yeah, about. Right. Oh, yeah, Bill, Bill called me earlier this week because he's going to Philadelphia and he's making T-shirts based on that incident <laughs> that what went down in Philadelphia. You guys know him. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the Bill YouTube thing. clip, which I love. So it's the only time that Bill ever calls me is because I'm the fucking T-shirt manufacturer <laughs> in the business. <laughs> <laughs> what's that, Bill, what's the T-shirt? You know, I was talking about that too much. I thought that when I, uh, when I was calling you, thinking, like, I never called this guy. What is the T-shirt? It's one of those zillion ideas that I have that I'm never going to follow through with. I got inspired for five minutes, and I was like, I can't sell a fucking T-shirt. <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill calls me, like, once every six months, and he asks, like, really broad questions about the business. Like, hey, uh, how do you do a website? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, hey, Biglia, how do you do? Uh, how do you do T-shirts and uh, and coasters? I don't even know. Uh, where do you get mic? Where do you get microphones? Anybody know any of this stuff? How do you do? That's right. He, you know what happened? He's finally turned him. I love that. Oh, Billy Burke gets so lonely in L.A. He's got a so fucking and a damn good burn impression yeah. to oh, boot. You're saying I get lonely? <laughs> no, hey, Bill, I'm not smashing oh you. God. You should bring your wife, Billy. <laughs> Wait, listen, I'm, I'm not smashing you. I'm saying in L.A. you get lonely and you want to call back going? home. Oh, did, did he hang up? You really pissed him off. No. No, he, I'm no. kidding. I didn't. <laughs> that was funny. How do you do it? <laughs> no, he's in the middle of talking. No, he'll call. That was fucking hilarious. What the oh, fuck was that? that? got me. How do you how do you ever give him? I, 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 I want to do shot glasses. How do I get a... how By the way, you're getting a little abuse, Mike. G Baby writes, "Yeah, they know that incident, Mike. It was their fucking show. <laughs> that was our comedy show." Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, they can be mean on the internet, you know. Yeah, you know. How come Billy's not calling back? I don't know what happened. He'll call back. Give him the shot. Well, he's going to think we hung up. Norton just slapped the phone out of his hand. <laughs> oh, he's probably going in to do the other radio show. Yeah, he could have told you that. Leslie though. Nielsen. Wow. <laughs> wow. That goes down. Uh, that can go one. in the same category as some of our other interviews, like LeBeau from Hogan's Heroes. Or the Broad. Oh, I uh, heard that one. That was a bad one. Yeah, that little. F uh, uh, Robert Clary. Yeah. The Broad yeah. from Laverne and Shirley. Yes, Shirley Feeney there from Laverne and Shirley. Um, Cindy Williams, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Cindy Williams. Uh, Linda Blair. Yeah, that, that's a, a Linda whole Blair, line huh? of. Yes, all we did was uh, yell, here, here's The here's Power that. of Christ Compels You. And wouldn't say anything else to Bill. her, and she got so pissed off. Hey, Bill, we didn't hang up on you, by the way. Uh, I, I, I laughed. I thought you did. I was saying that was actually great timing. No, I, I wish I had timing like that. Hey, tell Mike I like his hooded sweatshirt. 
I don't get it. <laughs> She's not wearing one. <laughs> no, oh, no. A coat and a t-shirt. Wow. Yeah. No. Uh, no hoodie. No. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, that would have been awesome, though, dude. Nobody's got a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> what a. Took a shot. Oh. <laughs> All right, Phil, we're wrapping up this show so we can get out of here. It's like a fucking radio marathon. Holy shit. When the fuck are you coming back to New York? Uh, not until, like, the end of May. Hey, Mike, what's my, what's my space? My what is this stuff? Uh, what's like, this you, know, you, you go on stage, you sort of meander through an hour of material, and you've done Letterman 58 times. I think you know something. <laughs> That's why I do it. You go on stage with a dirty, hooded fucking sweatshirt, and your hair's all messed up, and you're doing great. So I figure you know what you're doing. All right. Jesus, Mike, then you trash me, and then it's fine. <laughs> 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 like I meant it. Ah, fucking Bill. Oh, my God. This is painful today. Just fucking yeah. painful. This, really, this was a... Uh, this is a bloodbath. I'm really glad I this got This was up. a bloodbath today, oh, Billy. Yeah. I have no idea. The fucking level of mean... Sp I, uh, first time I've ever been the fucking least mean guy in the world. Yeah, right? Yeah. Holy well, he was shit. supposed to be mean, then he just went like, all right. Yeah, yeah. there like a starving child. Defend hey. yourself, Mike. I think we're just really tired at this point. We all took a beating. Hey, hey Billy, nickdip.com tonight. <laughs> Nine o'clock. You can see Nick's basement. No, it's fucking uh, April 2nd. Oh, oh fuck. I'm sorry. I fucked your plug up. my eight people. I'm trying to... Why don't you do it every night if you're living there? Huh? Why don't no, you I do the show every night? Because I get paid per show, and they don't have enough ah. of a fucking budget to let me do it every night. Otherwise, I'd be fucking, you know, whatever. Sorry. I do it for fun. It's like fucking eBay. Let's not make it act like it's a career move here, folks. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. I, I can wander down my basement and pick up a fucking... Then why are you here to fucking coasters that say... I'm not, douchebag. I'm the only one that's not selling shit. You're the fucking Amway expert. You Thank you. <laughs> you should be peddling soap with your wife's ass on it. <laughs> you know what that smell? <laughs> <laughs> with my wife's ass on. Hey, Bill, we're going to oh, let you go. Me. Giggles, hey, right? right? Guys, thanks for the abuse. I'll talk to you no, later. No, no, no. Hey, it's giggles. giggles this weekend, right? Oh, that's too far that's to do right. comedy. Right, What's Bill? that? Come, come, uh, yeah. come see us soon, there, will you? Yeah. <laughs> Bill Burr, everyone. Wow. Love Billy. I was going to ask him what the shirt's in. I can't get fucking Mike Clark to call me back. <laughs> to do his fucking room. <laughs> Did you, just, I, I Did you just go real inside on us? Uh, why are oh, yeah. you doing that? There's a you just made clubs. five people laugh <laughs> on hard. the East Coast. No, I was doing that for Nick. I wasn't even. I know. On the radio. I know. You went, no, sorry. you were on the radio though. You, oh, this right. is still I, on. I, yeah. <laughs> Line of the day is brought to you by <laughs> BodogFantasySports.net. If you're a fantasy baseball player, then make sure to log on to Bodog to get the edge uh, this year free. They offer public and private leagues and a variety of ways to play. You know, it's the fastest growing fantasy experience in the country. Huh? I don't know. It is. That's what I heard from Bodog the Fantasy Sports .net. Here is a runner-up line of the day. I'm glad, I'm glad to see that you're having a good time. That's well, we did. It's Friday, you know. We're all we're almost out of here, and well, well, this is almost over. What, sir? Yeah. You should have a good time at this point in your life too. And I would just drive blindfolded uh. down the Pacific Coast uh. Highway. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do, though, man. My when I know it's it's time to start doing the crazy shit. What do you guys do when De Niro's on? <laughs> I mean, what? Yeah. That's where's why. The, that's where, why we don't get. De Niro where's the on, line? By the way. Right. They pinch each other. <laughs> we're feeling like we want to go old school today. What can I tell you? It's fucking beautiful. Here's another runner-up line of the day. And uh, what they are doing, I guess, March bracket brawl. Very clever. Is is is. Putting bands, they're pitting bands against each other, and I believe they are now uh, down to the elite eight. I have canned heat and country Joe in the final. <laughs> Why don't they? Oh, uh, you're out. <laughs> Nick DiPaolo, nickdip.com, for what he's up to. Oh yeah. All right, another runner-up line of the day. How do you make it? It was horrible. <laughs> but I did bring up Pereno to give you the story. I did lead you into it. 
Okay. <laughs> so maybe I was. Hey. So you get an assist. Hey. I get an assist, <laughs> and then I got picked off. To an assist on his kidney. <laughs> Going back to this. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice quiet. Uh, <laughs> A little, a little side note. That was really good. Rich Voss Jab. at Bananas and uh, po- <clears throat> Poughkeepsie this weekend. This oh, weekend. God. I feel Bust sorry for Ron and Fez. Fucking ass off today. They're going to have to hose down the fucking studio after this bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fun show. God oh damn. God. I was going to suggest you do 11 to 12, but you you got to be tired by now. And Nick looks like the fucking oh, nice I don't guy know if today. I'm me. You're I, right. How the fuck did that happen? You came off as the nice guy. Not really. If you go back over the material. But uh, I, listen to the replay. I wish cancer on three women. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a half hour in. <laughs> But you guys took apart Leslie Nelson oh. at the joint. <laughs> Poor old oh my bastard. god! That poor son of a bitch. Uh, he has got blood in his fucking urine <laughs> after that interview. He doesn't know what happened. So oh, he no. has no idea. Right just now. smiling. Someone's guiding him to the next place he's got to be. Right that's now, how, that's how I'll sleep tonight. Ugh. You know, knowing that he just didn't. He didn't know. He, he didn't know. Somebody's wiping his butt with a wet nap right now and he's giggling. <laughs> Let me tell you about airplane. <laughs> All right, great. I will be listening to that on the replay tonight. I can't oh, wait yeah. to hear how that sounded. A horror. Another runner up. Another runner up. <laughs> People are laughing at us. I, know. I don't know what he's talking about. about. We're all jealous so, of you. Uh, <laughs> so, I like stories in real time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 It's like a guy with cancer in his hips and I pick up the pace. <laughs> so much for Nick uh, uh, yeah, holding back. Exactly. Holy shit. Mike Birbiglia, Caroline's tonight, tomorrow, and Sundays. The Sunday show, the first hundred get the new DVD. Yeah. Three right. different shows for three different nights. Very nice. I like how you came in here like the uh, new recruit coming into the NOM. <laughs> uh, you know, a little wet behind the ears, and then by the end, you're just mowing down groups really? yeah, with like the rest of the guys. <laughs> I was trying matter. to protect him for a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Turns out he's like fucking, fucking, you know, Berenger. Fucking <laughs> 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 fucking platoon. <laughs> Bonds! <laughs> Crippled albino uh, thinks I, I took a line from him. I, I, I just didn't crippled albino. Sorry about that. Mm. Bloodbath. I mean, there was a bloodbath. Hey, come on, so sometimes we can't fucking give everyone that's credit. We've got to steal a line or two from you bastards. Bloodbath is going to, you know. It's a term that's been around forever. Sure. <laughs> but we'll give you, <laughs> but we'll really? give you a little uh, publicity yeah. today. Crippled Obviously, albino and whack. You said the word from, you stole it. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, never fucked a broad on a. What? Arlington what? Uh, Cinema Draft House, April 18th and 19th. Are you drinking that? Jesus, Rich. <laughs> I got I to gotta sell it out. <laughs> You're more desperate than that hat. <laughs> See, but it, here's the thing. Oh, okay. Oh, what, down. what, here's nothing, the thing, and then there's no thing. Yeah. Well, right. There's, there's like, never a thing after thing. And there's, thing. Here's and the there's thing. never a second or a third of all, either. Fucking <laughs> 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 boss. I like the confident boss. You gotta, you gotta stick good. with this character for a while. <laughs> uh, someone's bringing it up, and it should be brought up. We took apart Leslie Nielsen by the joints, you said, mm. Nick, or something yeah. like that? Uh, notice we didn't do that when uh, when Mayweather was in this week. Of course not. Why would we? Notice He's a we a huge black guy you know, that would disassemble notice we us. we were like choir boys when Rampage Jackson uh, who's, who's was in. Right? Yes. Is that Nick Carter? Yeah. Fucking right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were eight gorillas behind him that weighed six hundred pounds apiece. Yeah, you got to pick your spots. <laughs> you know, they all had ankle bracelets. Fucking idiots. <laughs> like old deaf gentlemen with Alzheimer's. <laughs> yeah, that's fair game. Spot. That's our. Spot, that's right. about our speed. To the guys we saw with the other him. day, that would be uh, you know RPGs would have to be in their face yeah. for them exactly. to back it's down. Fun. He's silly. Uh, here's your line of the day. Here comes line of the day. Line of the day. Tank explodes in Massachusetts. Is wow. it mass? My dad drives an old track of Massachusetts. Wow, you talk about a strike. That's the fucking line? Like, that wasn't that was I have never heard Hold on, like stop. That. Stop. And I've been stop. Hold on. Here comes the Fuck line. Fuck up the line of the day. I How stupid it. are you? Jesus. Calm down. You I... were the setup. Yeah, and you know oh, that. You were, you were the pins in this 
This guy over here got a strike. Right, knocked the ball down. down. I'm not confident anymore. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> Before we yeah, replay re- line of the day, that, will you? we're going to. Uh, uh, Greg and out uh, somewhere says, "Where were the balls in attitude with Floyd Mayweather or Rampage Jackson?" We said that obviously. Yeah. Yeah. You would have blown them to get out of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, true is true, my friends. Uh, we never claimed to be. Uh, yeah, let's pick on brave. the boxing champions. Yeah. The fuck? All right, the line of the day. I'm turning your fucking mic off, Rich. You had a good day. Leave uh, now. Thank don't, you. Don't ruin your appearance. <laughs> You're out. All right, here's your line of the day. Here <laughs> comes line of the day. Line of the day. Tanker explodes in Massachusetts. Is wow. it mass? My dad drives an auto tank in Massachusetts. Oh, wow! You talk about a strike. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, that wasn't that was. I have never heard silence like that. <laughs> and I've been in the woods camping, fucking <laughs> by myself in fucking Maine. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Were you, were you broadcasting? Oh my god! Fudgy, <laughs> <laughs> fudgy <Wudgie> buzz. Fudgy, <laughs> fudgy buzz. Nice tag. Oh my god! Just brutal, and I fucking loved it. This show's not in every market all over the fucking world. I, I, I know. On. Come on. Are you fucking kidding today, me? Today, we well, give you a show like today. We could give you shit all next week, and we probably will. Yeah. So remember this show. Remember this show for a while, please. Holy fuck. Just, this was our Seinfeld today. Then, you know, <laughs> see, Seinfeld gets a week to do another one. So, you know, sometime next week we'll try to do another one of these. <laughs> Fucking Safe to say damn. that it was too late for uh, the end of the show to get in line of the day stuff. The Leslie Nielsen. It should have been just all Leslie well, Nielsen lines. I think, well, believe me, they'll hear that more. They'll they'll hear more of that interview. <laughs> That'll be on Hollywood Access. Now. <laughs> 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 Leslie Nielsen batted to fucking death on a radio show in New York. <laughs> Nancy O'Dell. All just happy, even though he, it's a tragic story. He left the nursing home crying like a baby after he was fucking beaten up by two bullies on the East Coast. <laughs> You know what? That just felt really good. <laughs> oh, it felt no, really good. There it is. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. He's got a hearing problem. Yeah, he's 96. <laughs> yeah. I've never met somebody over 80 that can hear shit. They can, they can never How old hear. is he really? 82? 82. Uh, he's, he's done more movies in his oh. 80s than I'll do in my career. It's always good to go out on a high note, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> my mic is off. Ah, uh, no. That's, that's uh, what you sound like all the time, Rich. <laughs> I'm glad you woke up again. Oh, he, he's not gonna sleep. Kid's got a. He's working hard, did, man. He came from the coast. And why are you making uh, sleep jokes? You know it's a serious problem, with Mike. <laughs> oh, what's, I what's the name of the show gonna be, Mike? Do you know you? Oh, uh, the sitcom. I don't know. Not sure. Mm. Mike Birbiglia project Look, right you, now. You got him all depressed now, Rich. He's not depressed. The wake Mike up thing happy. got to him. I thought he has a sleeping, sleeping problem. Well, I don't know his problems. I don't know Mike's sleeping problems. He has problem. to sleep in a, uh, in a sleeping bag with, what, uh, uh, mittens, mittens on? Mittens, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. What are the mittens <laughs> for? <laughs> oh, yeah, he walks in his sleep. Yeah. Walks I heard if you go to Bloomingdale City, the first 100 mittens are given away to oh, sleep. Oh, you're really banging that first 100 into the ground. Because I'm going to use I'm huh? going to do Is it next what? week. <laughs> you going to give shit away to get people to eat you? No. <laughs> Every Please. time I get a turkey sandwich at Bloomingdale, I, I pick up the mittens. <laughs> So you really have to sleep in a sleeping bag? You don't have to sleep in a sleeping bag. He ran out of a second-story window. Yeah, it's true. Well, while he was sleeping. Get an apartment on the first floor. What the fuck? He was at a hotel. He was at a hotel. Oh, were you? Now he gets ground floor rooms. See, I remember, Mike. No yeah. shit. I felt, the, I felt your story. Yeah. Get the fuck Maybe out. you can get one by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to wrap it up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not even funny. It's just me now. <laughs> uh, so what are the mittens for? So you can't, open, can't the open the sleeping bag. So oh, how do you get really? Out? How do you get out in the morning? How do you jerk off? <laughs> Take them off. I know. And, you know. Get the fuck out! I, you know, I now I I look at you in a whole nother light. Yeah, that's fucking weird. I got problems. Like I I sleep in a sleeping bag. You do crack. I you did know, crack. You know. No, I recovered. I don't know if you could ever recover from Mittens? what you're going through. I'm not trashing you. <laughs> I'm in recovery. I go to meetings. I've never cer- seen anybody at a meeting raise their mitten and go. Oh, I'm sleeping. <laughs> That's all. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Walk out on that. 
Yeah, That's the best here, the right? medical world can do for that condition is fucking mittens. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I take, I take a pretty heavy pill, actually. Do you? Yeah. Mm. yeah. What is I'm it? I'm diagnosed. Is Con it dangerous, Clonopin. the pill? Clonopin. Oh, I have in my pocket. Yeah? Guys, oh, on Clonopin. You have it for what? For anxiety? Yeah, anxiety. You do yeah. Clonopin too? I don't take them. I keep them just in case of emergency. What I kind of doses are that? Look at this. Well, these, are yeah, these are Clonopin. These are suppository. These are like Clonopin. One of them is kicking ass, and the other one is like Percocet. Clonopin's right here. Holy shit. Wow. Well, no, this is a bunch of different Tylenol. It's all different ones. You wonder why you get a cyst on your fucking liver. I don't take any. The only ones I take is Tylenols. But they're, I have them. They're just horse in case. Just in case. What are you waiting for? In case you want to put a in a sleeping bag? What are you fucking... <laughs> yeah, what's going to happen? Medicine. You, huh? you never had an anxiety attack? Y yes, I have. I took Paxil for a summer. Yeah. It gave me diarrhea and a heart out at the same time. <laughs> fucking trying to jerk that's off that's as I'm painting the ball. That's, shooting from that's both that's ends. That's, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's, <laughs> looks like you were churning fudge. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Holy it's like I'm a country in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was erections and diarrhea. I'm never going to see anything bad to that? him again in my life. I got uh, this. Would have been perfect if I was in Norton's bed with him. <laughs> <laughs> You want to make more fun of Mike? No, I, no I didn't know that he had that fucking ailment. We're trying to become friends with this guy. No, You're not fucking very interesting. Is that worked into the pilot? It has to be, right? Uh, it's not in the pilot, but it's in my show that I'm doing at Caroline's on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> he tells the whole story, uh, right? Yeah, I tell the whole story. That, that, that'll, <laughs> that'll be, it's a that'll be Saturday's show. show. Yeah, it's called Sleepwalk With Me. Oh, fuck. I got a wedding. I got a story about date rape. Maybe I got a wedding to tonight. Oh, man. I, I'm going to try to go tomorrow, but I don't know, because I got this wedding to, tonight. What time's the show tomorrow? 8 and 10.30. You got to go to a fucking wedding? Today. <laughs> Long Island. So basically, your pajamas are made by Coleman? So, I mean, that's a joke uh -oh. that you could write. I mean, there's a lot of jokes you could throw out there, but I mean, that's not one of the funnier ones. I know, but... <laughs> Holy shit, it's like a fight that spilled into the street. <laughs> the show's been over for 10 minutes, and they're still pounding each other. It's like Rocky, the bell rang. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I don't want to rewrite the show. <laughs> you two are just oh fucking going God. at it. Fucking, what a combination. Piggly has fucking got some chops too oh, with yeah, the, in, this, in this atmosphere. It's nice amazing. to see. He figured out this atmosphere quickly. Oh, fuck he was yeah. so polite. Yeah. Bunch of scumbags. Let me just in dive in. So polite. Oh, when he was sitting on the couch over there at K Rock, yeah, he's just sitting there all nice. Hey, nice. how you I'm doing? I'm trying to protect him. And all of a sudden, he sucker punches him. <laughs> <laughs> That's when all the fun started, if I remember. Right. Jesus fucking Christ! What am I thinking? <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fuck him. Fuck you, fuck your family. <laughs> fuck you, fuck your family. All right, well, boss is on the phone. Yes, Bonnie. Oh, yes, I'm home All right, Schnookums. No, no, I'm almost, I won't you. be they home soon. What? Say to you. No, Nick, happy birthday. I'll call you in a second. Happy birthday to Bonnie? Happy birthday, Bonnie. What's that? One more year. One more year closer to Voss getting a younger chick. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm not. She used to I, date Mark Cohen. Second. She likes unfunny juice. <laughs> Hold on, I'll call you in a second. That's <laughs> scum. This fucking scumbag, fucking Dago, just destroyed me. <laughs> hold on. Dago. Hold on. Nick, hold What's on. This, 1928? <laughs> hey, you, uh, you want to talk, you'll get it's him. It's been updated. Don't I don't care how many of you get any grease you ball whops we'll, come out of the woodwork. It's been, up, we'll it's been updated him. garlic breath, for real. Uh, yes! I, yeah. I saw that. Reverend Wright, that fucking... Yep. Yep. Oh, garlic oh, breath? Hold on, she said, yeah. you don't say anything about my man. I love uh, Hello, I think you're on Here goes Bonnie. There's two comics in Babiglia. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks, Rich. <laughs> hey, um, who's the other comics? It's me, Nick, uh, ONA, and Mike. Mike Babiglia. And you, you, you got. You, Has so, Mike Babiglia slammed you? No, not Mike Babiglia. A couple times. He has some oh, yeah. Mike's yeah. Got some fucking, Mike got some chops now that he's yeah. giving away free DVDs. He broke his cherry. Did he hire a writer? <laughs> oh, She's zinging you through a fucking phone. Yeah. Well, you, Get his number for Rich. <laughs> I gotta go. I, I'll call you back. Bye. <laughs> You're hoping to open for fucking Mike Birbiglia. That's fucking, why I don't open for nobody. Rich Voss doesn't open for nobody. Mm, uh, that's, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Your wife is a nobody. <laughs> it's just going to be like Nick DiPaolo and Artie. We're going to co-headline. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Wow, he's got confidence. A callback <laughs> fucking punch. <laughs> Holy shit. I got nothing. That was the only... That was the only shot we could take in, Nick. That was the only exactly. thing we could figure out today. Is on my worst night. <laughs> <laughs> my worst night. Put the guitar down. We'll see who's fucking captain here. We couldn't figure out your weak spot today. Who's? 
Nick's. I don't have he one, mother. No, he was no. pretty protected today. <laughs> <laughs> Got to see what's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, my what? I'm going. On, I'm fucking doing a gig with Artie for you know, fucking whatever. <laughs> I get paid for a week to do a club for one night. That makes me an asshole. Honey, forever. honey, turn turn off the vacuum. I'm on the air. <laughs> oh, fuck. He was making fun of your blog uh, TV show. <laughs> I, I got, see, I got to... Oh, okay. See, now I it's got, funny. See, I got to explain something. The vacuum's stuff. upstairs. I know, but it would have <laughs> been funny if you guys would have fucking right, got it. Good. Let's, go, let's right? go back after I, my... I, I did that for fun. What the fuck, I, man? for fun. I, I do clubs. Fun. I'm going to... Pee on my ass if I. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, we gotta I, get I, out I, of here. I know, I've been out. Out. Let's not push it. We had a great show. Don't fuck it up now. Uh, oh, Super shit. Green from Calgary. I'm a new fan of Nick Dip. He's cool and funny. Goddamn right. And from people Calgary, are, people are begging you to stay until noon, but I think uh, I think we uh, got a lot out of Nick today. But you'll come back soon and do 11 to the noon. Absolutely for free though. Of course. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll co-headlining with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> co-headliner. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's thanks to uh, Leslie Nielsen <laughs> yeah. oh, being Jesus. insane. He's still and... alive. <laughs> Poor still prank. alive. That's amazing. That was just... all right. And we we weren't going to take that call. I know. Well, behind the scenes, like have. fuck no yeah. to Leslie Nielsen. Fuck what are we going to ask that guy? All right.